island a lot easier. And you still have prep space over there, so you, know, you can kind of work back and forth. And then again, residential refrigerator. I'm telling you, we're seeing trends. Um, you know, some manufacturers do have options for the, um, the gas electric. When I say gas, I'm talking propane gas or electric or what's known as an RV refrigerator. And they have gotten those to where they're quite large. I mean, you can get them up to 18 cubic foot. Um, so if you don't want the residential, if you plan on doing something where you're going to be, uh, you know, boondocking or camping without shore power or a generator, then you'll probably want an RV fridge instead of the, um, the residential. But again, folks, that's something we can help you out with. If that's something you want, you still want the full profile fifth wheel, but you want a gas electric fridge, you want to know which ones have it, no problem. Text easy RV to 32094, get you in touch with our show specialist. They'll get you uh, to, the, to be able to help you narrow that search down down. Plenty of space right there, folks. Nice and big. Open it up, kind of like we've seen before. Pull this open. We have our drawer freezer, and right there again is the ice maker. When I close that back up, a little bit different style pantry again. You know, this one was in the same place as it was in the Montana, but what do you notice? Rather than having a glass insert, we have a wood insert. So again, that way people aren't looking in, seeing what is in your pantry. Still plenty of space in there and it is still lit up. It's just some of those differentiations between separate floor plans. Right over here, you know, you'll see that they did cover up your control panel. Um, this control panel, although it is not uh, a, like a touch screen, it is still super simple. I love that they have just put it all in one. You can see here your awning lights, your porch lights, you know, your slide rooms, everything is right there. You can see what's on and what's not with the light. Very, very simple and easy to use, a clean look as well. So, uh, solid surface over here. Sometimes manufacturers won't put solid surface um, outside of your, your main prep spaces, but I like that they did. And of course, again, the electrical outlet uh, so you're able to make that a bar space. When you walk up the stairs, look at this. Built-in handrail, folks. That might be important to you. You know, I know I like to use it, If you have, especially if you have bad knees. Um, you know, that's one of the things with the fifth wheel. Every fifth wheel is going to have steps inside. So if, if you don't want to do steps, then maybe a fifth wheel isn't for you. Maybe you want to look at a travel trailer. Maybe you want to look at a motorhome. But they, if, you know, if you just need a little bit of help, some of them do have handrails. But folks, that's what we're here for. We can help walk you through it. Text EZRV to 32094. When we get inside the shower, plenty of space, folks. Again, I'm six foot tall, 200 pounds, just to kind of give you an idea of frame size. I can turn around like this. I have zero issues when the door is closed. Whoops. Step right, I was gonna step back, but just to show you that it has plenty of room. Now, the reason I tripped is because there is a seat down here. And if I, uh, you know, again, can put the leg up there to shave the legs, you can sit down. Uh, if you need to shower, you know, need to sit down while you shower. Right over to this side, you're, uh, what they, this is what they call a seamless countertop. So it's not a true solid surface in here, but it is a little bit lighter and still allows, allows you to undermount the sink. And of course, mirror there, storage here, storage up above the toilet. You also have your towel bar there. And then of course the toilet itself. And as you would expect, this one is a porcelain bowl. Let's come up front and take a look in the bedroom here. So as we step into the bedroom, you will see the slide out king bed. Again, you're starting to see these in a lot of the full profile. You have the shelves on the side. You also see some storage over here. So, you know, you have a couple places you can store those items. Your, you know, your phone, or if you have a bottle of water, like I like to have a bottle of water by my bedside when I drink, that gives you a place to do it. Second AC right in here. You have the big uh, wardrobe right up front. You have the sliding rod here. You can see uh, storage for your shoes there. And then you will also see over to the side, you have space for washer dryer prep. And then at the foot of the bed right there is uh, where your TV will be, as well as storage. You have the dresser right down below. So folks, again, text easy RV to 32094. You can lock in the pricing. Let's head right outside, take a look at some of the outside features. And again, some recurring themes, some things that we're seeing. You have these solid steps with the grab handle. Why are we seeing that on so many? Because folks, people like them, right? If, if you haven't had them before, I'm telling you, Check them out. That's another cool thing, folks. If you text that easy RV to 32094, do you know what we can do? Not only can we help walk you through and make that decision, but we can also help you find the closest dealership that's going to have the things you are interested in. So that way, if you do want to go to the dealership, we have safety precautions in place to make sure you're going to stay safe, but we can help you actually physically get inside the units, be able to walk up the stacks, check it out, make sure you're going to have enough space in the bathroom and have everything that you want. 
Outside speakers, I talked about that with the multimedia center, right? So here you go, there they are. You have a couple different zones to be able to turn that on. Propane tank. I'll open this up for you just because I haven't on any of the others. And if you haven't seen it, I guess it's worth taking a look at. So they can do some different things with propane. A lot of manufacturers will put one on this side, another one on the other side. These uh, on this particular unit in the Sierra, they have two right over here. Uh, and so those are 30 pound tanks there. So 60 pounds of propane that they're giving you. Now we'll open this up, take a look at the storage. Again, big storage there. You'll also see that you have the spare tire in there. So, um, you know, if, if the cool thing about that is it's very easy to access. Sometimes on fifth wheels, they'll put them underneath the unit. It can be a little bit harder to get to, but you can see there that there's actually a mounting bracket. It is intended to go in that pass-through so that in the rare event, and hopefully I hope it never happens to you, but in the event you have a blowout, you know where the tire is. You don't have to get underneath the fifth wheel to access it. It is right there. And again, if that's something that's important to you, we can certainly help you out. Electrical outlet out there, spray port. Of course, this one also has auto level, folks. And again, when we're talking full profile fifth wheels, that a lot of times can be that differentiator. When you're looking at mid profile, it may have auto level, it may not. Full profile, most of them will have auto level because they know that you're looking for the higher end amenities. They know that you want to set up camp as easy as possible. And speaking of camp, look at that awning, folks. You have the big power awning. This whole space right here, look, I'll close this door. This whole space right here is, is perfect camp space. This is where you're gonna set up your chairs. This is where you're gonna set up your table. You have all this awning coverage. Something else that I really like, folks, and I think this is super cool. We talk about full timing. You see that little black box up there? Do you know what that is? That is camera prep. So what you can do is you can put a camera right there, and if someone comes up and knocks on your door at the campground, that can be a little startling if you're not expecting someone. With that camera, you can see who it is. It's kind of like having like the, the ring or Nest doorbell cam that you may have at home. You have a camera right here for your fifth wheel because maybe this is your home. Folks, I hope you enjoyed what we've seen. Again, these are full profile fifth wheels. Simply text EZRV to 32094 and that will lock in your pricing. Do you know what else that's gonna do for you? It'll also make it so we're able to help you out and get you through, find everything that you're gonna need. We'll be able to do it for you. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. We have a ton of great stuff coming up. We'll have Chris Young with the first look with the Hideout 250. See you soon. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With all plans currently 50% off, you can't afford to get stuck without it. Introducing Camco's Taste Pure KDF Carbon Water Filter with Flexible Hose Protector. This point of use filter is made with activated carbon and KDF to improve the smell and taste of your drinking water. The 20 micron fiber barrier helps to keep sediment out of your RV tank. And the included flexible hose protector helps prevent the hose from kinking while in use. Camco's Taste Pure KDF Carbon Water Filter with Flexible Hose Protector. Get yours today. Camco. Dot net. Dot net. Dot net. Oh my goodness. Look at those beautiful fifth wheels. Wow. They're like, amazing. I'm I'm impressed. I think I need one. <laughs> we should give one away. Are we, Ooh, are we, are we allowed, allowed to do, do that? that? I don't oh. think we're allowed to do that. Let's do it. Let's do it anyway. Oh, I think Sorry. we were supposed to wait till tonight, but I think we're going to do it now. Yeah, we were actually supposed to give away an RV tonight, but we're going to do it right now. I, it's the ultimate RV show. I don't think show. we're supposed to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Go big or go home. So what are we giving away, Elise? We are giving away a brand new Coleman 17B trailer. Like a whole like a whole trailer? A whole trailer. Like not just like a hitch, like the whole trailer. Nope, the whole thing. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so who's our winner? I got the winner here. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. And, it, and, and cut to commercial. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. Our winner is Angela Bird. You're my new best friend. Angela Bird. Congratulations. You need, you need friends to go camping with? We got you. We got, we got you. you. No problem. Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> We're having such a fun time here we at are. the Ultimate RV Show, aren't we, Bria? Oh, we just gave away an RV. We just gave away an RV. I, I still don't think we're supposed to do that. I don't, I don't think we're supposed to do that. No, but, but we that's did okay. anyway. It's okay. And if you want, would like to register to win an RV, please sign up on the website, ultimatervshow.com. Make sure you're signed up. Yes. I mean, we already gave an R away an RV. Who knows what's next? So we've got giveaways, exclusive pricing, and first looks. Oh, my gosh. First looks. Yes. 
that hideout. Oh, we, we just snuck into the hideout. I don't know if we're allowed to do that either, but we did. We just got a first look. It's amazing. <laughs> we're the troublemakers here. Totally. The countertops. I'm just going to talk about countertop space for a minute. That's what impressed me the most. I mean, there's a fireplace and a TV. Yeah, that's great. But the countertops, I couldn't believe how much counter. It's more than my and house. And had a fireplace. Did you see that? I saw the fireplace. It was amazing. Can't so much it. room. So light and airy. Yes. My favorite features open. of these brand new models is the light and bright feel inside. Cannot yes. wait for you guys to see this hideout. Yes. So let's get ready for uh, Chris to take it away. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. What's up? It's Chris Young. I'm about to give you a first look at the brand spanking new Keystone Hideout 250BH. Great floor plan for the family. Entry-level travel trailer that I think you're going to find a lot of amenities. You're going to say, hey, I want that in my travel trailer. How do I get it? It's simple. Easy RV is here. With Easy RV, all you got to do is text four letters, E Z R V, to 32094. Or drop me a comment down below, Easy RV. Want to give us a call? It's 866 853 3510. We have people standing by right now that if you see this floor plan, Chris, I want a bunkhouse model like that with a big slide that gives me a lot of space. Chris, I want this specific model. Then you need to text Easy RV to 32094 right now. But trust me, we have people with a layout like this near you that are ready to go. They're going to be able to walk you through the unit virtually, let you see every little thing, answer all the questions that you're going to have that I'm not going to be able to get to in this short overview session. Then they're going to let you talk to a financial specialist. That person's going to walk you through the process, get you the best options, send you the paperwork in the mail with the envelopes pre-stamped and ready to go so you don't even have to worry about buying a stamp. And on top of that, they're going to deliver that camper to you, to your campsite or to your home, walk you through as if you were at Camping World and let you enjoy camping. That's what Easy RV is all about. If we have technology that can cook a meal in 30 seconds, we have the technology to get you an RV so that you don't even have to get up off your couch or your camp chair. So with that said, let's take a first look at the all new Keystone Hideout 250BH. Right away, you're going to see we have over 70 inches in height here on the ceilings. In a travel trailer, that's a big thing because roominess really goes not only left to right, but also up and down. So having this is a great feature. We have a campsite kitchen with the L-shaped counter that runs almost the entire length of the trailer, if you take a look at. Plenty of prep space. You got a countertop here with the molded, rounded edges, so you're not going to worry about bumping into those corners. One of the things I used to always hate was catching my pocket on those hard corners, or the kids as they're running in and out, one of them hitting it. So, small creature comforts, that's the things you want to check out. Got my power control center right here, so I can run out my slide, I can run out my awning, check my tanks, how's my battery, how's the fresh tank looking, the gray tanks, cut on my water heaters and my pumps. Plus, I have a campsite window and another campsite window split on both sides of my flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover and grill style grate. I'm a big fan of these because it makes the pots and pans, it just makes it so much easier to move around than when they were just the little single silos over the burners. Oh, it's off? Oh, sure. So moving things around just makes life so much easier. And if you need a uh, little accent light, you got the LED light here on the controls, right here on the burners. That is a great night light. So if you need to get up and go to the bathroom, you don't have to worry about cutting on the overhead lights. You can just cut that on. You got your Furion oven right there. Solid construction on Keystone too. You're gonna notice like right here with the graphite style fixtures, solid wood on the full extension ball bearing drives, just good, solid construction. More prep space as I come up over here. I got my power port if I want to make a coffee station. I got my 70-30 split sink that's deep well. Brush nickel high-rise faucet with the angled sprayer there. And you always got to have space because the space is a premium when you're talking about an RV. So this could be for a trash can. This could be for your grab and go bag. It can really be for whatever you want because the, the great thing about RVs is it's your RV. So sure, this is a kitchen. This could be the place where you prep. And this could be the drawer where I put my utensils. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's, it's your RV. You're buying it. You're the one that's going to use it for whatever you want. And if you want to set this up 
as a hunting cabin or as a fishing cabin or or you just want to put it at the beach and, and come live in it when you when, when you're down at the beach this is where you put your fishing lures put your fishing lures there it's your rv you can do with it what you want shaker style cabinets up here on the top plus we've got the frosted glass inlay that are backlit and just take a look at the shelf space that we have right there good spot for the cans the stackable dishes your cups pantry items if you wanted to put your you know whatever your boxes of cereal or your toolbox why not it's your rv have fun with it that's what it's all about coming back more towards uh the the entrance i, I wanted to kind of start with the kitchen first and then go to the entertainment center so you could see how everything kind of flows now if i'm right here and i'm doing my prep and i'm doing my stuff i have plenty of space behind me so if somebody wants to walk to the fridge or if they want to come just hang out with me they got a spot set your drink down tell me about how everything's going out at the beach how to go with the fishing trip what's it looking like you got a huge space for a tv right here with its own mounting bracket power port plus you got your cable connection right here as well as your connections there so plenty of space to put a large tv and right underneath we have our furion AM FM command center. Now this is also dual zone. So for the speakers outside, you can control it here, but you'll notice you got USB and HDMI. Got your connections there. Lift this up so you can see the storage that comes out right behind the fireplace. That's a good hideaway spot. So if you're looking for a place to put those Girl Scout cookies, you don't want somebody else to have, they're your favorites. We got you right there. Cause the kids won't know they look, you had the Christmas presents right there. They won't know. It's behind the fireplace. And having these fireplaces, now sure, you got great AC. You got a wonderful heater inside this unit. And the duct system that they have, the way that Keystone does their ducting, the joints are reinforced with these tough locks. The tough locks makes it so not only do you not have any soft spots in the floor, but it, it distributes the air evenly and more efficiently. So... You sit there and you think, okay, well, I got a great heater. What do I need a fireplace for? When you sit back on a cold night, maybe you're at the beach, at the mountains, get the breeze blowing, get a little chill in the air. This here has multiple flame settings and multiple temperature settings, plus a blower. And you got the backlit crystals down there. You got the blues, the reds, the oranges, whatever color you want to put on there. And that nice little warm air is blowing. You're sitting over here on the couch. Before you know it, it's morning time. You didn't even realize that you knocked out. Great feature to have inside any camper is going to be a fireplace. Trust me on that. Walk back over here. We got slip resistant residential style flooring. On the campsite here in the rear, probably my favorite part of this camper are these double over double bunks. You're going to notice you got large window right there on the back. Plus you got a charging port. These are 300 pound capacity bunks right here. And you got the thick three inch fuzzy mattress. These are comfortable. You could easily get two adults up there, fluffy and comfortable. And down here on the bottom, you're gonna see you have another power port. You even have storage under here. So if you needed a good spot for fishing rods, maybe your bags, hunting gear, cases, whatever, look at the space that you have down there to store your stuff. Or the kids' toys, the games, the beach chairs, the beach towels. Whatever you may need, you got space there. And to help you get up and down on this unit, we got the solid mounted ladder right here. And beside that, your GE control system for your air conditioning and your heat. Now, the only thing I will say about that, because you know how kids are, you got to make sure and tell them, don't touch the controls when you're on the bunks. I'm going to set the temperature when I go to bed. You touch it, I'm going to take your bike away. They will end up eventually coming over and messing with it to do their own thing. But at the end of the day, it's, it's fine. It's all about having fun. Graphite style decor inside this camper too. So a good combination of the dark on light. Solid door walking in here to the rear off campsite bathroom where I have my angled bowl, which is porcelain, solid with the foot flush. And right away, I mean, with me, I'm, I'm six foot two. So I have plenty of room right here, not only for my legs, but I'm not cramped up top either. Got countertop space here, plus a power port if I needed to plug anything in. Single basin sink with the brush nickel fixtures there. 
Got me a little storage down underneath. And another great feature, I don't know if you can see that or not, the, you see how the pipes are color-coded red and blue? Keystone color codes everything inside all of their campers. So even the wires are color-coded. Why do they do that? Well, it's easier to fix if something breaks, but easier to find if you need to find something. And speaking of finding, we're gonna talk about key TV when I get outside here in just a few minutes. Single surround shower, plenty of headroom here. I have the powered vent fan right here. If I needed to open that up and cut that on, absolutely could to help get the steam out of there in the shower. I have the curved shower curtain bar, which when you close the curtain, just gives you more room. You're not cramped left and right. You're not cramped up and down. I got my little corner notches over here to make sure if I need to put my soaps, my shampoos, whatever. I got the space for that right there. And I got my shower nozzle and handle right here. So if I wanted to move around a little bit, do my thing, I absolutely could. But good space here, both up and down and left to right. I'm not cramped at all. And, you know, that's, that's really one of the key features about RVs. It's the little things. And we have a lot of people who are seeing RVs for the first time. They're experiencing how great the lifestyle is. And let me touch on that real quick. Look for one that has creature comforts that you want from your home. We have people standing by right now that are going to walk you through RVs and answer questions for you. I wish that I could talk to you individually to answer your questions because you probably have some about a bunk model. Well, what happens if, you know, what, you know, what about the bunks here? What if we do you know, are these good for dogs? Bobby? Yes, absolutely they are. But you have questions I can't hear. So Easy RV is going to help you with that. You have something you want to see. Hey, Chris, what about this? Well, what about, can I change? Can I do this? The questions, we will answer them. All you got to do is text Easy RV to 32094. Leave a comment down below, Easy RV. Or just give us a call, 866-853-853. 3510. We have people standing by right now that can walk you through virtually, let you see every little nook and cranny of any RV that we have that you want to see. They're going to answer your questions. You say, all right, what about financing? What, what's the rates look like right now? How long can I finance? What are my options? We have people standing by to help you with that as well. They're going to answer all of that for you. Then they're going to mail you the documentation. Stuff's going to be the prepaid envelopes are included, so you don't even have to pay for a stamp to get it back to us. Stuff's already in there. We got you covered on that. Going to make sure that it's as easy as possible. When you pick out the one you want, go through the financing. We got somebody who's going to bring it to you, set it up for you, and give you that same walkthrough that you would get at Camping World or at Gander RV and Outdoors. Same professional way. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your couch or your camp chair. So if you got the questions, now's the time to ask them. Don't wait. Don't delay. So many people are getting on RVs right now. So many people are exploring the country. They're seeing how great it is to get out there and reconnect with each other inside of an RV. It's the safest and greatest way to travel. You get to take your home with you. I mean, come on, man. You've been paying for hotel rooms and flights and all this other stuff. Forget that noise. Get yourself an RV. You're going to thank me later. You're going to say, you know what? We went to the beach and it was nice coming back to our own stuff as opposed to somebody else's stuff. That's just me though. We got ourselves a solid shaker style cabinet right here for our pantry slash ward storage. You're gonna see we got it set up right here with the ward hanger there. Got our circuit box down below. But Keystone is great for innovations. They're always thinking, they're always changing. They're listening to what people say and they say, okay, we'll try to implement those changes. One of the things that they implemented that I liked over here on the off camp slide is our jackknife sofa. Plush, comfortable, puffy, just soft. I feel like I'm being hugged by grandma right now. This is a great spot to sleep. But what about some storage? You think, you know, usually we put a couple of things under the sofa if we can get them. I got you. They have underneath the jackknife sofa, pull out storage, that has its own hinges. So if you say, you know what, we need some good spaces to put some good stuff. Guess what? This is a good spot for you to put your good stuff. Is that good enough? It should be. This was a really cool idea. It's vented. 
So if you needed to put something in there that needed ventilation, you have that option. I don't know what that might be, but somewhere somebody's sitting there and going, I could put the maters in there. Yeah, yeah, why not? Go for it. You absolutely could. When you're done, slide that back away. This kicks out into a bed. You can sleep. And if you notice, we have the holes right here in the floor because you're looking around and you're saying, well, where's the table? Where's the dinette? Do you need it? Do you really need it? Some people do. Some people don't. That's the great thing about RVs too, is you have options on the floor plan. These holes are for the poles that hold the table. So the table you can take out and move away, but when you're ready to sit down, enjoy the fireplace and watch some TV, you got a spot that you could put your table right here. When not, you can just store it away underneath the camper. It just gives you the option. That's a great thing about RVing, you have some options. Got to watch your head a little bit because if you notice the, the slides, they're not quite six feet. Um, so another option to think about when you're looking at travel trailers, you know, ask the specialist who's going to give you that walkthrough. Hey, how tall is that? Am I going to hit my head? Come over here to the 10 cubic foot fridge and you're going to see good space for those long trips. You're going to have plenty of space. Put the drinks, put the food. It's a good spot. Norcold is a good fridge too. <clears throat> Make our way to the master bedroom. Got myself a solid pocket door right here. This is a walk around. So when you're getting up, you don't have to worry about, you know, climbing over somebody to get up and out. Plus, if you notice over here, we got the mirrored ward storage on both sides. Plus, I have my nightstand space. I have a power port there. So if I need a reading light or a CPAP machine, I could easily plug that in there. I have my raised shelf here so I can get some storage. A little push button LED reading light. So if I want to do some reading at night, I could. Large, comfy bed. I have storage underneath there here as well. And if you see, there's a mesh bag with a hose in it. I'm going to show you what that goes to here in just a minute. Oh, and there's the poles for the table too. Walk around over here to the campsite. Large window. Got another power port. Some more ward storage. And if you notice, I got a little, got a little pull tab right there. What is that for? Oh, look, it's a laundry chute. So you come back from the beach or whatever, you got the dirty clothes and your wife says, you are not putting that in here. There's no way those are staying inside this room. Put your laundry basket through the pass through storage, throw your stuff in there. Boom. She might be happy with that. It's a beautiful thing to have. Good option to have. So you want to mount a TV inside this unit right here behind us is the LCD mounting bracket plus our connections there. And for me, I'm, I'm not a fan of having a TV in the bedroom. I'm, I'm just not. Uh, do we have it? Do I have to have it? Sure. Take that as you want it. it having the option though, especially when you need, you know, you're out and about, maybe you want to check the local weather, the local news, having that option is a really good thing. And with Keystone having the key TV, the multi-source connection all into one, if you have, you know, cable or if you have, you know, the, the local or satellite or cable, you're not going to be chasing those wires throughout the camper to hook it up. You pretty much just got one spot, plug it in and boom, that goes to all the outlets inside the camper. So good night sleep in here. Plus the solid door is going to give us some good sound absorption. We're not going to have to worry about, uh, you know, hearing the kids rustle, uh, rustle all about while they're running around. I showed you that little mesh bag in the storage. That's a vacuum hose and the vacuum attachments because this unit comes with its own central vac system called road vac. There's a collection point underneath in the storage area where when you vacuum, you got a 25 foot hose that comes with this unit and it'll pretty much reach every corner of the camper, allow you to get this thing clean and keep it clean, a vacuum cleaner in your camper. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to make our way outside and you're going to see as we walk through the friction hinge door, we got the solid Morai steps coming down and the mounted handle too. Having this mounted and solid, great option, solid steps as well. You got the furry friends that are going to join you on the camping trip. We got you covered there too. You got the Keystone doggy latch right there. Put your leash around, make sure they're not going to run off of the campsite because you might be at a spot where you know, you don't know the safety of the area. Having that, great feature. Now, 
you saw how beautiful and big that kitchen was inside this 250BH. You got to have the external kitchen as well. Because let's say you get finished hunting, get finished fishing. You think, oh man, I got myself a great catch. Do your prep work right here. Slide this out. This little capital grill with the two burner right here slides out. These arms fold out to give you some support. And boom. Do your grilling, do your cooking right there. You got your pots and pans. You're good to go. When you're all said and done, let's close it up. Slide it in. You're going to notice right here. For an entry-level travel trailer, this one comes with powered front and rear leveling jacks. That, at this price point, is great. Trust me, because setting up is a pain if you do not have power tongue jack and power leveling jacks. Now, we got the external kitchen, which is a good space to entertain. You see, I got my dual zone speakers out here with the blue LED lights behind them. We got the large awning, which is a Solera arm, which is adjustable. You can adjust the pitch, but it's got the long LED running light, the beautiful light and dark graphics. Got our freshwater connection right here, just past our 15 inch aluminum wheels with the Dexter Easy Lube axles on them. You're gonna notice that extra wide berth right there in the suspension. That's going to help you, you know, with the rocking back and forth, the, the shifting of the trailer. Having that, if you've never towed before, having that is a great feature. Because um, Keystone knows they're going to put that good suspension in there and good tires, good axles, so that A, your weight's going to be easier to pull. You want to set up a TV outside, got your connection right there, as well as your power port. Front portion of the powered leveling jacks. Once again, just such a great feature to have. You got your finished off pass-through storage right here. Now, when we had the little push tab open in the master bedroom. This is where that area came to. I don't know if you can see up there. I got that opened up. But this is where that little laundry chute would come to. But good spot for your fishing gear, your hunting gear. If you needed to put your stuff away, boom, you got it right there. This one is also set up for the side cameras. And we have backup camera too, which I'll show you that on the back. But this is set up if you wanted to get the side camera, you could. And what that does is when you're driving down the road, you hit the blinker, you can see that side of the road. Great feature to have. Aluminum travel trailer. Got that super flex roof going all the way over the top. Diamond plated rock guard right here on the bottom. Twin 20 pound LP tanks up front. Powered tongue jack. This to me is a must. Whatever travel trailer you get, when you ask your specialist uh, at Gander, at Camping World, say, hey, I texted Easy RV to 32094. Show me that travel trailer. Does it have a power tongue jack? Ask it. Make sure you ask it. Other side of the pass through trailer right here. One of the most important parts of any travel trailer is going to be this info panel right here because you're going to see unloaded vehicle weight for this one 6,130 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,800 pounds. Ask your specialist when you get them through Easy RV. What does that mean? Here's what my truck can tow, but what does that mean for me? Is my vehicle right for this? More importantly, is this one right for me? Got my terminations down here, AKA our dumps. You know, see right there. Got our gray handle here. The pull. Got the true fit slide right here. This is where that jackknife sofa is. We have our 30 amp retractable power cord right here. When you're done, that just rolls back in. City water connection, as well as our other terminations right here, the black tank, the gray tank. We come around to the rear. There's our cable input. Got a spare tire mounted, a four by four sewer hose storage back here on the back too. Just those little things, those little features that'll help out when you're talking about coming around to your camper. And you remember I mentioned the, the backup camera? That's it right there. This is prepped for backup camera. So just talk to your specialist too about how do I get that. And you're going to notice those arch ceilings and those three inch rubber nozzles on both sides. That's going to help keep the elements, the rain, the snow off of the camper. And those nozzles are going to make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slide. But for a camper that is entry level for, I don't, see, I don't even like saying entry level because it has so many amenities, has so many features. Um, in a travel trailer that's lightweight, it's a bunkhouse, can sleep the family, can feed the family and entertain the family. This is one that if you're looking to sleep six people or more, 
If you say, you know what, Chris, we just need something to set up as a cabin, hunt somewhere. I just need something that, you know, the ladies want to take for the weekend getaways. We want to go to the beach. We want to enjoy. We want to have some fun. And we need some of those amenities at home. I got to tell you, when you take a look at a bunkhouse model, Hideout is a great brand. We've given you a chance to take a look for the first time ever at the 2021 Keystone Hideout 250BH. You say, I got to have this one. How do I get my hands on it? How do I do it? You got to text it right now because it is limited supply. First look at a brand new travel trailer? Yeah, it's limited. Text Easy RV, very simple, to 32094 or drop us a comment, Easy RV. Give us a call, 866 853 3510. Now you say, okay, that's great, Chris, but you know, we love the bunkhouse layout. I love it when they're on the campsite. I got the bathroom on the off campsite, the big L shaped kitchen with the living room slide with the couch in it. Man, how do I get one of those? That was great for me and my family. Easy. Easy as Easy RV, which is easy as Sunday morning in the summer with apple pie on your lap. Easy RV 32094. Text it right now. Our specialists are standing by. They're gonna walk you through that bunkhouse. They're gonna show you those features. They're gonna answer those questions. They're gonna make sure you get everything you need. They're specialists, they've been doing it forever and they're ready to go right now just for you with one in your backyard. Then they're gonna put you with a finance person. They're gonna walk you through the process. Make sure you're good to go. We got all your questions answered. Are you okay? Here's the best rate we can get. Paperwork's gonna be sent to you. Return envelopes are gonna be stamped and ready to go. You don't have to pay for a stamp. Then a Somebody's gonna show up with that camper, ready to show you how it works, set it up for you, give you the walkthrough as if you were standing inside a camping world, but you're actually at your home or at your campsite in your fuzzy slippers, and then you can enjoy camping. Easy RV, it's the best thing to happen. Trust me. Ultimate RV Show is gonna be right back. We'll see you in a minute. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at campingworld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Sean Parr, piece of history here. Kalen Hicks, so good to have you on stage with us. You have been so busy because so many people have checked in online. They've been texting Easy RV to the number, of course, 32094. And also they've been calling the 800 number, 866-853-3510. We have so many people our uh, customer service representatives that are taking care, our specialists that are ready on the phones, aren't they? That is correct. So I am assisting with getting these customers to the specialist that's going to show them that unit that they've been dying to see. And uh, yeah, I will say it's a lot more calm and happy up here. You see all the RVs and um, we are so excited to get these customers in front of our specialists. Yeah, we just had Chris in the hideout. I was in the hideout earlier. And one of the things I loved was the electronic tow jack. You've got to have an electric tow jack if you're going to get that. And Chris, thanks for the cameras. But let's move on to Class C motorhomes. Yeah. So actually, now that you mentioned that, so we have had so many customers chatting in and calling in and saying, are we going to get to see some motorhomes? And now I get to say, yeah, you get to see your <laughs> motorhomes. So we are super excited to uh, present that to our customers. And uh, I have been with the, the dealership for quite some time. And I'll say, I was like, ooh, intimidated a little bit because it's a big RV and I was unsure about it. But the first time I got it and drove it, I was like, yes, I can PCK. do this. Anybody yeah. can drive the Class Cs and that's what it's all about. And you're right. We've had so many people wanting to get to that segment of the program. Listen, we're going to be here for the next several days through Sunday. We're making history here with the first largest virtual RV show ever and the fact that we have so many units on this property, so many uh, of our partners and our manufacturers that are involved are ready to go. Let's get to some Class Cs, and why don't you introduce our host, our specialist, and they're ready to go. Good old Ian Baker's out there waiting for <laughs> us to show us the uh, Thor Motorhome. Ian, do we, do we have you out there? We have you out there. Go ahead. 
Sean, Kalen, thank you so much, guys. And what you said is absolutely right. One of the beauty of Class C is that they're easy to drive. Uh, a lot of people kind of refer to it as driving like a U-Haul box truck. And if you've ever moved, you've probably driven one. They drive very similar, only much nicer, right? You don't have all the, the clinks and the clunks as you're going down the road. But, you know, I know a lot of people, when you start getting into motorhomes, at first it seems very intimidating, right? They're long, they're big. It's a little bit different when you're up front. But here's the thing is after you're going down the road, what you'll notice is that you still have a nose right out in the front. So you can still line it up with the lanes. It's easy to turn. Uh, you know, you generally don't have to do as big of wide turns as you do in like a Class A. And so that's the big appeal. In fact, Class C motorhomes, just for your general knowledge, are the number one selling class of motorhome for multiple reasons. One is going to be price point. So folks, if you're looking to get into motorhome and you're talking price and you want something that's a little bit bigger, you know, large, this is a larger class C's, all of them we'll be looking at today are close to or over 30 feet. Uh, that price point is a big one. Also though, they offer a ton of features and they are easy to drive. Now what you'll see as we go through these, a lot of them are going to be very different, not only in floor plan, but in functionality. The one we're in right now is the Thor Outlaw 29J. And the cool thing about the Outlaw is that this is a toy hauler. And so you'll see a garage when we go in the back in a little bit. And the other cool thing about the Outlaw, folks, is that you can kind of transition. You have options. This is a Class C. There are Thor Outlaw Class A's as well. And if you're curious as to what the difference is or why would you would want one over another, as much as I would love to sit here and talk to you about it, I just don't have the time. But what you can do is text Easy RV to 32094. And we have show specialists standing by. We can make sure that we get all of your questions answered and help you find the right motorhomes. If you're not ready to buy today, we completely understand but we're here to help you out. If you are ready to buy today, you're still going to want to text that Easy RV because that will lock in the show pricing. And folks, this one starts at $633 a month. You get a drivable toy hauler. Let's get after it. So right over here, you will see your sofa. This one has two sofas, a little bit shorter on this side, but the cool thing is both of these are jackknife. So while an adult can't sleep here, you can fold it out. If you have any kids, small ones, it's a great bed for them. Over across the way, you'll see this one is a little bit bigger. Why I really like this though, is that this is a slide. So this right here will actually slide in as you're going down the road. And what that does is it puts two sofas right across from each other. Each other. Both sofas have two sofas seatbelt. So you have two riders over here, two riders over here. Everyone's hanging out and having a good time. That's one of the beauties of motorhomes is when you're traveling, that travel experience is so much fun. You know, you get, you get to have the stories, you get to entertain. If you get hungry, you know, you have a refrigerator right next to your sofa. Look at that. You can just go right in there, you know, make yourself a sandwich. Now, I always recommend pulling over, right? I, I, you know, to be safe. You don't want to generally get up and walk around in a motorhome in case of a tragic event. You know, it, you want to make sure you're safe. But pull over, you can get up, you can get a sandwich, you can still get to the bathroom, you can access everything in here uh, without having to open up that slide. Right behind me, this is really great too. So, you know, we talked about having six people in here. Well, if you're riding with six people, you probably need to sleep six people. We saw each one of the couches will sleep one. And then right up here, you have a bed that can sleep too. And folks, one of the really cool things about this is this has a eight 100 pound weight capacity. I say that because that is not very common in the RV industry. Uh, you know, we'll see some 500 pounds, uh, excuse me, 500 pound ones, sometimes as low as 350. And that's a concern for me because if I need to sleep up here with my wife, as I said, I'm over 200 pounds, you know, we're, we're really pushing that weight limit at 350. So um, the fact it's 800, you know it is safe, you know it is secure. Another thing I really like is this right here. If you do have smaller ones that are riding with you, they're sleeping up here, Take a look at this. You can take this right here. That will just go right there. It's a seatbelt, clips into place. This one, whoop, I have it buried. Well, just know that this one will do the same thing on the other side right here. But what that does is it creates a safety net, right? So that way people aren't going to roll out. So if you have little ones up here, you don't have to worry about it. You know they'll be safe. You can leave that up there, just unbuckle it like so. Very simple and easy to use, as long as you don't shove it underneath the cushion like I did right here. Um, also, you can take this out, so that and that's how it got pinned, but you can take it out and put it up front. And what that does is give you more head space to be able to get 
down into the cab. And let's take a look at the cab real quick. So this one is on the Ford E450 series. You can see the nice big dash right in the center um, so that it's very visible. You'll see over on the, on the side, you have some cruise control options there. And you have cup holders in the center as well as the really nice, uh, the seats here, kind of that, that black leatherette with the red stitching, you know, that two-tone kind of helped to, to blend in that outlaw look with the sofas and pillows. While you're back here sitting on the sofas, hanging out, you can swing that TV out. You can watch TV right there. Now, if we open up this cabinet, what you'll see is a little HDMI router. And what this does allows you to um, connect something to here and that will play on all TVs. So if you wanna put in, you know, like your satellite or if you have, um, you know, I don't know, PlayStation, you know, again, if you have the kiddos with you, that gives you the capability to do it. Of course, we have storage next to that. Uh, on our other side, storage all the way across. Big window there as well. A couple LED lights, speakers in here, USB ports. Now, this is one of those things that people often don't think about. We're sitting here, we're going down the road. With the USB ports, you can be on your phone or your tablet. You can plug it in right here. This is 12 volt. So even as you're going down the road, the battery will be powering those so you can still charge your devices while you travel, which is pretty cool. Uh, as we make our way down a little bit further, you'll see this one actually has a second TV on this wall right over here. So there's that. So you have a couple different TVs that you're able to watch. And then let's take a look at the kitchen over to this side right here. So here's our kitchen. It has a pop-up countertop extension right there. You'll see a beautiful kitchen countertop, sink top covers, pull-down faucet, window, recessed cooktop. If you're one that plans on doing a little bit of boondocking, because you know sometimes when you're taking toys out, that's the game plan. You do have solar prep. You can, I'm sorry, you have solar. You can see the controller right down there. Uh, your inverter here, and then your battery disconnect is right above that. So that way you can get out, be able to uh, you know power those uh, devices, convection microwave. Open this up. You'll see this is uh, kind of wardrobe storage. So that way you have a spot to hang your clothes. Because when we go into the garage in just a second, you'll see that that is going to be your main bedroom. Now, before we do that, you know, as I said, you can have, you have full access to the bathroom. So if you want to come right in here with me, just to give you an idea, folks, I am six foot tall. As I said, a little over 200 pounds. And you can see right here that I fit here no problem. Now, one of the things I actually kind of like about this is what's what I like to call a comfort height toilet. Uh, it's something they have in the residential industry where the toilet's just a little bit higher. And what makes it nice is it's easier to sit down on and get off of. And I'm telling you folks, if you just hammered leg day, you know what I'm talking about, right? You start to sit down and you just fall to the toilet. Not going to be a problem here. Uh, over to this side, you will see your countertops. You have the stainless steel sink right there. This is, you may not be able to see it because it's hard to get the camera on here, but I'll just talk about it. Uh, this one does have a on-demand water heater control right there. So um, what that does for you is there's a little tank. It's like a three gallon tank of hot water that it stores. So that way, as soon as you turn it on, you have instant hot water and then it continuously heats the water so you never run out. So it's just unlimited hot water, which is awesome. You also see, of course, your mirrored medicine cabinets up top, and I wouldn't be complete without showing you the size of the shower. So as I step in here, as I said, folks, I'm six foot tall, have the skylight, plenty of space. Now, uh, one of the things I want to talk about, right, is the fact that this is a Class C, and this one has a garage. So as you can definitely tell, there are a lot of options when it comes to Class Cs. And folks, we're here to help you out. That is what we do. And what you're going to want to do is text EZRV to 32094, put EZRV in the comment section, or call 866-853-3510 so we can help you pick the perfect RV for you. You'll see your TV right over here. AC unit back here, that's awesome. Far too often these bedrooms, uh, the garages in the back, right? they don't have uh, a great AC system, but here, because this is your main bedroom, when you drop that bed down, you have the AC. You'll see storage underneath the bed. This right here, folks, is a patio system. You'll see when we go outside, I'll drop the party deck. That's what we have right here. This ramp you can drive right up on. And this, this is an eight by eight garage, okay? You can see right here, you know, it's right about six foot height because I'm, I'm touching the ceiling. Um, but what this is really good for is if you have uh, like a golf cart without a topper on it, or if you have motorcycles, this is a great unit for that. You can see the D-rings right here in the floor, the nice tough floor, the diamond plate uh, tough to see it because I have this here, but the diamond plating comes up pretty high. So that way, you know, if you're, it's uh, rubbing up against it, it's not leaving marks. You have a toolbox here, excellent stereo system. And again, folks, that this just gives you that ability to haul your toys with you. Uh, one thing I do want to hit before we go outside is you will see the little um, the pedestal 
uh, receivers right here in the floor. There are two tables that come with this unit if you're wondering where you would eat at. Uh, if you don't want to be outside or you can't be outside because of rain, you just twist those pedestals right in there, put the tables on top, and it gives you a spot to eat. Let's go take a look outside at the beautiful Thor Outlaw. So again, folks, text EZRV to 32094 so that way you can lock in the price on this beauty as well as uh, you know have us help you through. Our show specialists are here to help you find the perfect Class C. Now what denotes a Class C, right? I probably should have started with that, but this is basically it right here. If you take a look, right, because you have three basic classes of motorhomes, A, B, and C, and this is what does it. This big cab over right here, that's how you know it's a Class C, and that's that sleeping space we saw while we were in there. If we take a look at the side, you will see the big storage rotocast bins. So if you want to throw wood in there or something else that's dirty, it's super easy to clean out. You can just take a hose, wash it right out. Uh, coming over a little bit further, frameless windows, beautiful windows, helps protect the seals in there because they're tucked behind the glass. It also, you can have them open while it's raining so you can get airflow in there but not have rain come in. Outside entertainment system. This is a big one for me. I love that they put this in here because, you know, especially if you're uh, one that loves to be outdoors, which with that garage, you can throw kayaks in there, you can throw bikes in there. There's a ton of space in that 8x8 garage. Another reason people love toy haulers. And right here, you can set up all your chairs. You're able to hang out outside and enjoy the outdoors, but maybe, you know, uh, my lions are playing and I have to watch them lose in the fourth quarter again. Um, I can do it right here and uh, then go inside and have a beer to feel a little bit better about myself, right? No, just kidding. Maybe. Uh, you'll also see that you have your sound bar down below. Um, that way you can, you know, listen to music out here as well. If you just want to jam out to some music, it gives you the ability to do that. Great storage, propane quick connect. And finally, before I run out of time, let's see if I can open this up. There we go. Got to be quick here, folks. This is your back ramp gate, and this is the party deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop this down. You can see I can remove both of those. That will lock it. Uh, those are lockable. Then as I bring this down, boom, just like that. And this is where it's at. You have the cables there. You can set up that patio system all the way around. You want to talk about a party, folks? Patio life is the party when it comes to RVing. Thanks for watching. You guys ready for the next one? I sure hope so. Text easy RV 32094. This is Dave, welcome back. We are at the ultimate campsite at the ultimate RV show and this time we have GPS systems. So yes. tell me, explain these three G GPS systems to me. Well, Ram McNally uh, made these for us actually for the RV and campers. Okay. All right, so each one of these models has their own little features, uh, little add-ons, um, but again, the key thing is they're for RVers. So you're like, how, how so? Well, right. <laughs> height, number one is a big, big, big problem yeah. when you're traveling in your RV. You don't want to use just a little phone GPS right? because uh, that may cause you into some bad problems when you're thinking of low bridges. And most right. of us RVers, we like to go into uh, back roads and exactly. really get the scenic route, you know, yes. so you definitely don't want to go to those ones in the Blue Mountains, yep. uh, Blue Ridge Mountains and have those low bridges. So this will kind of steer you around those. So we have a seven inch RV ND. Okay. Um, this one right here. I love it, the fact that Ram McNally has lifetime maps in their, in their RV. So when oh, you buy awesome. this, so when you're buying this for $219.99, uh, it's going to take you for the lifetime. As long as you have this, this GPS, you got lifetime maps. Wow, that's awesome. Right? Yeah. So then you have to go up a little bit more and you go, hey, I want an RV tablet. So a lot of times you're always going to be traveling with somebody else nine times out of ten. Well, they love to have a little tablet and they can help you be their the co-pilot. Yep. So this one right here, uh, you, they can have in their, their hands, use it for stuff. But again, other features that it has besides just lifetime maps and, and mapping an RV to get through places, you have the camera. So okay. an onboard camera, you can film what's going on. So in case an accident or something's happening in front of you, you have it filmed. Wow. Uh, you can actually stream your music and everything and entertainment through it as well. Um, you, have, you can connect your phone to it uh, and view your messages and texting through it. Wow. So it is exactly what it is, a tablet, okay. but it's designed with the GPS platform on it. Tell about the price real quick though, this one's $349.99. And if you are interested in any of these three, by the way, uh, you can get, uh, you can, uh, I'm sorry, comment camp <laughs> down below. You can text camp at 32094, uh, or you can call 866-235-8751. So again, any one, of the, any one of those options right there, you can pick an item that you need. Uh, but the big big one here, 
the Overdrive 7 R RV. It has the tablet inside wow. with all the other kit that makes it kind of like a GPS. It has the mount, it has a, it's a powered mount in fact. Uh, it has the cabling, it has a dash mount if you want it as well. So it has all these other extra components to it. Um, again, Android platform, Ram McNally, lifetime maps, la lifetime traffic on both of these as well. So, wow. you know, you're always going to, it's always going to be able to up update you with any current issues on the road. So this one is pretty much these two combined. Correct. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So okay. that bad boy right there is $449.99. Nice. So 219 349 449 Right. Okay. And again, if you guys are interested in any of these, you can comment camp below. You can text camp, uh, C-A-M-P, at uh, 32094, or you can call 866-235-8751. Thanks for being with us at the ultimate RV show. Thanks, guys. And here we are in the Omni SV34. Now, folks, technically this one is not a Class C. This is actually what's classified as a Super C. And we're going to see exactly why it's super in just a bit. But basically what that means is that you have a big diesel engine in here. Okay, this is if you're looking to uh, do a, have something that has a lot of towability, this is it. This will have about the same horsepower as what you're looking at on the like the Ford F450, but your torque is almost double. You're looking at over 800 foot-pounds of torque on here. Looking to do a lot of hill climbing, looking to do some towing. This is something that you want to take a look at. And Super Cs are beautiful. As you can see inside, they're very well appointed. Something I want to show you real quick, folks, I absolutely love this. So one of them is the control panel. Your control panel is very minimal. Rather than having this big, huge one we're used to seeing with a million and a half buttons, again, they went to a, multipl a multiplex system, and you can see that you have you know, your tank monitoring on here, you can do uh, your lights, you can do all your electric, but take a look at this. Right up front, if uh, you want to spin around, I'll show you here. What we have is you see that big pad right there with a touch of a button. There we go. Look at that. You want to talk about cool, you want to talk about impressing friends, that right there will do it, folks. You roll that sucker up, there's a big, gorgeous window, lets in a ton of natural light, and again, just makes you look cool with everyone else. Um, over to this side, though, you have the dinette. So this is a campsite dinette, which I really like when manufacturers do this, because when you're at your campsite, right, this is the view that I want. You'll also see, again, that the, this has uh, the, the leather seats, and the thing I like about that is it's easy to clean, right? If you spill something on here, no problem, and then this, look at that, hidden storage. Super easy to access, dream style dinette that does drop down into a bed, storage all across the top. Across on the other side are your theater seats, that way you can hang out right here. So when we saw that, uh, that window open up, I don't know if you noticed there was a TV up there, but that way you have a good viewing angle here from the TV, you can also watch it from the dinette. Something else to note is that there are seat belts in the theater seating. So you can sit right here in absolute comfort and luxury and ride down the road. So you have four extra seats right here. We're actually gonna hit the back first, then I'm gonna come up and talk a little bit more about the cab, because the cab is very important in a Super C, because that's why a lot of people get it. Uh, but again, I do wanna hit on some of the amenities we have in the living space. So you'll see here these solid surface countertops. We'll open that up, show you the double bowl stainless steel sink, the high rise faucet there, you can pull that one out nice and easy. Hey, storage across the top, at the end you have the microwave um, underneath. You will have uh, additional storage, a couple of drawers. It is a convection microwave that is worth adding, but something else I think is really cool is this right here, and that is the dual purpose cooktop. Now, the reason I like this is because you have options based upon where you're at and what you're doing. If you're at the campsite, you have shore power, or if you're running your generator, perfect. You can use the induction cooktop. I like induction. It heats up quick, it cools down quick, and it just works very well. If you don't have those options, maybe you're at somewhere you can't run the generator, no problem. You can just fire up the, uh, the propane right here and you have your gas burner. Speaking of generator, folks, we'll see it when we go outside, but the thing I really like about this one is it is a diesel powered generator. As I said, this one is a diesel engine. You have two fuel tanks in here. I believe the main tank is like 26 gallons. Your secondary tank is 40 gallons, and that feeds both the coach and the generator. So what's really cool is that as it starts getting low in that main tank, that auxiliary one just automatically fills it up for you. You're looking at 66 gallons and you know this gets about 9 to 10 miles a gallon. So you're looking at, you know, 650 or so miles before you have to fill up. 
That's pretty darn great. In the bathroom, as far as shower height, I like to get in here, six foot, boom, plenty of space. You have the door that shuts, the hand wand. You have, the, again, your uh, nice countertops over here with the stainless steel faucet. Now, this is the control. If we didn't see it in the other one, I want to be able to show it in this one. This right here is what I was talking about when I said the tankless water heater system. That is the control. You're able to actually set the temperature on there to what you want, so that way you have nice, comfortable showers. I showed you the touchscreen panel. You will also see these throughout, so that way if you don't want to you know, go right up to the touchscreen, you don't have to. Um, something else that's really cool about these that a lot of people don't know, it does have the electronics on the back but you can actually take this off and you can control it right here so you know if you want to take it somewhere and sit down and just have the remote at the theater seats to be able to turn your lights off you can do that uh, beautiful backsplash by the way this is a real tile that is worth adding I just want to I just want to say that a lot of manufacturers you know it, it uh, will put like a stick on tile on there but this is a true tile backsplash now folks if you love what you're seeing so far we haven't even got to the chassis I know you're gonna be blown away but remember, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094. That will lock in your pricing of $9.92 a month. That's what we're starting at on this one, folks, and that is a great price. I mean, that's uh, like under $170,000 for a starting price for a Super C. Oh, baby. Open this up. Residential fridge, right? Plenty of cold storage. Got to love that. We'll take a look at the bedroom real quick here right over to the side. So you have your bed, what you'll notice is it's a tilt-a-view bed so that it can tilt up just like that. That does a couple things for you. One, if you're sick, right, you want to need to sleep elevated, that's one way to do it. It also allows you to read a book and as you can see, it puts a ton of space in here. I mean, look at all these activities. If I want to sit down, start doing some push-ups, oh baby. I got all the space in the world, right? You got a TV right up top here. You have wardrobe over to the side. You can see the hanging rod right there. Got a window in back, storage all down below and across the top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come back out, we're gonna spin around and we're gonna go up to the cab because I wanna talk about the cab. There's some really cool things on here. Um, this is the, the all new chassis from Ford, uh, the 550, and they have made some excellent changes. Now, one of them is with this particular floor plan, you know what, I'm actually gonna drop down in here a second. So with this particular floor plan, what you'll notice is this little button right here. And what that is, is four wheel drive. And folks, you can do that on the fly. So you can just shift it from two, boom, pop it into four. You wanna talk about getting somewhere? That's how you do it. Four wheel drive in this huge class C is awesome. It also has a 10 speed transmission this year and that's unheard of in the industry. Uh, so you get the nice smooth ride while going down the road. Plenty of cup holders right here. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of space, you have some auxiliary switches right up there. And again, folks, just the, the chassis itself, the power that you're getting from the Ford is great. Um, it has some safety features like uh, lane assist, right? So if you're driving this, you get a little tired, start swerving out of the lane, it'll start beeping at you and put you right back in line. Let's head right on out. Solar panel right here, folks. So you do have the solar panel, that's uh, the controller rather, that comes on here. So if you want solar, you're good to go. Take a look at this, this is awesome. Look how big this storage space is. It's a double door storage. Now to swing this open, I do wanna show you this. It's a little tricky at first. So when this one is shut, there's actually a cable right here, this cable, and when you pull that, that will unlock both of these. So that way it opens up. But I like that they put one on the top and bottom so that way it's even. Uh, but this huge storage space, if you come in here real quick. So this is Rotocast. I wanna show you a couple things. One, if you look right there, you will see you have storage up top. Some of your bigger items, you know, fishing poles or whatever, you can slide them right up there. You also have lights in here. I don't currently have them on, but they do have lights and you have a drain. So again, if you want to, you know, wash this out, you can drain it out right there. Over in the corner is our 2000 watt inverter. I do want to show that just so you're able to see that is a 2000 watt inverter there. Now the side of this obviously has beautiful full body paint as you would expect folks. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. You have your um, your horizontal uh, awning arms right there instead of the vertical. So you can see how those are up top so they don't impede the campsite. They have lights all the way on the arms and it has a wind sensor. So it's a seismic sensor. So if it starts shaking too much, it rolls right up for you. Take a look back a little bit further, or rather right here. This is what I wanted. Take a look at that, folks. Again, outside entertainment center. You can sit around right here, perfectly underneath that awning. All this is great camp space. Watch TV. You're able to listen to some music. And then right back here, you're able to, uh, you know, grab a few beverages right there. 
nice and convenient. You have a sink outside, you have storage, a light, electrical outlet. I mean, really everything you need. You even have some storage under here. You know, if you want to put some paper plates or cups or something like that out there, you can. And then when we pop this guy down, take a look at that. Propane Quick Connect, you want to set up your grill, boom, good to go. One other thing I really like that they do very well here is everything is seamless. And what I mean by that is if I put this down, You'll see how you know the, the paint goes all the way across, right? And then right here, they actually painted this as well, right? The, the, um, the, all the covers, you know, when we start looking at some of the covers like that, some manufacturers don't paint them. It could just be black. They threw paint on it. Don't know what we got here. This, guys, I'm not sure what this is, but we're just going to move this. Oh, it's a Just Dance statue. RV decorations blow me away. That one is that one is special. Here we go. Here's a ladder to climb up on the root roof. You have a fully walkable roof there. Backup camera so you can see what's behind you. This though, we talked about towing. Folks, right here, this is a true 10,000 pound hitch. And what I mean by that is not only do you have a monster hitch on there, that 10,000 pounds, but this truly has a 10,000 pound towing capacity. So you're able to tow that entire RV. Come around to the off door side with me real quick here, folks. I opened everything up. Look at the size of that slide. You're wondering why it was so spacious inside? That is a full wall slide right there. Up top, you have the topper across the whole thing. So when you park, you don't have to worry about sticks and pine cones and crap falling on there. It just rolls right up, everything falls off, you're good to go. Again, storage, storage, storage. You want to talk about storage? We have a ton all the way up. Your diesel fill will be on the off door side near the back. It's always good to know where that is located. Right over here is your, uh, your wet bay, your dump station. And the last thing I want to hit that I talked about, folks, is right here. And as I mentioned, that is the Cummins Onan 6,000 watt diesel generator. A lot of people really like that because, again, the diesel generator just, you're using the fuel that you already have in the vehicle in 66 gallons. So, folks, I hope you love this one. Remember, text Easy RV to 32094 so we can show you more Super C's, Class C's, Class A's, and help navigate you through the world of motorhomes. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Tell you what, folks, there's nothing like telling you you're out of shape than when you sprint from one RV to another to try to make it halfway across the show in a minute. But we did it. Here we are. So we are in the Freedom Elite 27FE. Now, if you've been watching this and you've been like, Ian, I love the Class C's. I love the fact that we had a toy hauler. I love the Super C. But I'm just looking for something a little more traditional. Then this is, this is one that you definitely want to pay attention to, folks. Freedom Elite is one of the top selling brands of Class C motorhomes, and for great reason. You get a ton of amenities, high-end construction, excellent build, and at a amazing price. And speaking of amazing price, folks, for the Ultimate RV Show, this one is starting at $505 a month. So if you're interested, if you're like, yes, that is more my price point, you're going to want to pay attention. Even better, text EZRV to 32094 because that will lock in your price. Even if you're just starting to look, you know, you're just starting into the process, do it, text it. You want to know why? Because that, again, will lock in your price. And when someone reaches out and they show you some options and you say, no, I still have the 27FE, great. You just got it for one of the best prices we've ever offered it for. Let's take a look right up front, guys. We're going to start up here, again, as I mentioned, the cab over, right? This is what makes it a Class C, and there you have it. So uh, in one of the other ones, I showed you how you could pull or kind of push the bed up and move it over. That's what we got right here. You can just pull that, drop it right back down to create the bed. Um, you'll see the ladder up there as well, so you can climb up in there. And this one has a 500-pound weight capacity. We talked about weight capacity. 500 pounds is pretty good, right? That's, that's kind of my, my gold standard, at least for me. It has to be at least 500, and I think they nailed it right here. You also see the big TV on the swing arm mount. 
Now, if you're up in here, right, you're up in the bed, you just leave it against the wall. Otherwise, you drop this down, swing the arm out. You can watch TV everywhere in this main living area. Charging station, USB ports, just put your phone right in there, plug it in, good to go. What you'll notice is it is very close to the sofa right here, so that if you're sitting here, excuse me, riding down the road, you can plug it in right there, have your cell phone charging. You wanna jam out to some music, we have speakers there too. You'll also see cup holders right back here, and we have the power tower. Tower of power, there it is. So. Three, uh, three electrical outlets, couple USB ports there as well. Storage all across the top. Now, we saw the full wall slide in the other one. That's what this is too, folks. If you're new to RVing, you kind of see this, this header right here and see how it comes down. So that's kind of where the wall is. So this whole thing is pushed out, which is what makes this so incredibly wide open. This right here is a jackknife sofa. It has removable arms, so you can take the arms out, drop it down. Pretty simple and easy to drop it down. Of course, it's not going to lift without removing these holds, please. Let me take these out. Can't start a demonstration and not finish it, right? There we go. All right. There. So now you lift it up, drop down. What I wanted to show you, though, is all the storage you get underneath. So when you were talking about RVing, hidden storage sometimes is the best storage because um, you know, I have some things I take with me that I don't want people to see. Like I have extra bedding, pillows, sheets. They're large, they're bulky, and I just don't want them hanging out. So you can throw them right underneath there. You will also see seat belts. So you have a couple seat belts here. Plus, right across the way, you have additional seat belts. And like I talked about a little bit ago, what do you, what do you notice right over here? Campside dinette. So we're sitting here. I'm enjoying my, my morning cup of coffee right here. I'm in my wrong seat. There we go. Right? Enjoying my morning cup of coffee, taking a sip, eating my breakfast, staring out at my campsite, watching little girls run around, making memories. And let's be honest, that's what camping's all about. You'll see storage right up top, USB ports down right underneath, and then storage here as well. I just want to open this up. We talk about kind of tucked away storage, hidden storage. There you go, easy to access the pull-out drawer. And there's an electrical outlet underneath here too. Now, the reason I bring that up is because more and more people today are working on the road, working from home. And if you want this to be your desk, you want to sit here and do some work, you can do it. Now, you know, obviously I want you to relax because for me, that's what camping's about, but I get it. Sometimes we got to work. So, you know, you get, the, uh, you get the ability to do it. Here in the kitchen, pretty good sized kitchen. You'll see this here, sink top covers, boom, pull them off big undermount stainless steel bowl. Now, if you just tuned in, you haven't seen me talk about it before. Why do I love undermount sinks? One, looks a lot nicer. Two, when you're prepping your food, you know, you're, you, you have the prep space right here. Get this pan out of here. So you have your prep space right here. You'll have your cutting board cutting everything up. You can just go whoop, just shove it all right in there. You got crumbs and stuff in here. Great. Just do that. Boom, done, right? It's easy, it's efficient, rather than having the rim where everything gets stuck. Now you did see the three burner cooktop. I'll put my fancy RV pan right back on here. There you go, right? You're cooking, the three burner, open that up, and you have the oven underneath with pull-out space. There you are, got a bunch of remotes in there, operate the TVs, uh, microwave up top, and then you have some additional storage as well as storage right down here below, plus the countertop extension. So again, if you need some more prep space, you certainly have it. As we walk into the bedroom, what you'll notice is the slide out bed. Again, you have big slide out bed here. You have windows all the way around, storage over to the side, whoops. Sorry guys, I don't know if you know this, don't know if you saw it on camera, but I have a big butt. So when I sneak through spaces like this, I start turning off switches. When you go right up here, you will see the hanging rod. Got to have a place for clothes. There it is. And if you want a TV in the bedroom, this is where it'll go. So they do have a space for it. Because, you know, if you have guests out there, you can close the curtain off. You can have people sleeping up there watching TV. You can be back here watching TV. Everything is good. I do want to show the fridge as well as the pantry right next door. So uh, let me open this up for you, right? So you can take a look at the size. Good size. This right here is your privacy curtain. It does come with one. Um, all Class C's will have some sort of curtain, but what that does is close off the front end. Now again, some of them will close off the entire front end, the seats and everything. Some of them will just close off the windshield because some Class C's you can get seats that flip around so they are still part of the RV. 
But again, folks, that is what we're here for. That's something we can help you determine. All you have to do is text EZRV to 32094, drop EZRV in the comments section, or call 866-853-3510. And that will not only lock in the price for this unit if you love it, but also it will get you in touch with our show specialist so we can help find the perfect RV for you from over 25,000 pieces we have in inventory. As I was mentioning though, folks, in the pantry, adjustable shelves, and take a look at that. Boom, can fit some Pop-Tarts in there, you know what I mean? Maybe some uh, cans of soup. Open this up, more uh, adjustable space. So you can kind of adjust this to whatever you want. This, uh, you know, I would probably put foldable clothes in here, but maybe you're a hungry person, you wanna fill all that with food too. I'm not here to judge, guys, go to town. Come on in, we're in the bathroom. You'll see, once again, I have that comfort height toilet. Kind of got an armrest here. You know, they, I get this too, right? We're at home. My wife's like, Ian, you're spending way too much time in the bathroom. Well, you know, it's comfortable. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, no, but realistically, folks, I, again, I do like the height. You can stand up and off. You got the countertop. I do like the extension, all honesty, just because it does give you some countertop space. So if you have like uh, curling iron, flat iron, something like that, you can put it right here. Stainless steel bowl, all the storage in the world. And when we step in the shower, six foot tall. Boom, look at that, plenty of headspace. I could be 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 you'd still be able to stand in here, shower, and I can fully spin around even when the, uh, the shower door here is shut. So we're gonna take a look outside, folks, again. Text EZRV to 32094. I know, that's a killer step, I'm so sorry. I probably should have said something, but here we go. So just text EZRV 32094, that way we're able to help you out and get the perfect RV for you, and maybe it's a 27 FE. I hope it is, it's beautiful. There's no reason it can't be. And you know what's great, folks, is with that, you lock in the ultimate RV show pricing. All right, taking a look up front, as I mentioned, this one is on the E450 chassis. That has the new uh, Ford V8 in there. If you haven't seen anything on it, uh, you know, I, I highly recommend doing a little bit of research on it or even easier, because that's what we're all about is being easy. Just text EZRV, folks. We'll walk you through it. We'll tell you what's new about the V8. We'll tell you if you're gonna love it or hate it. Spoiler alert, you're gonna love it. Uh, but if you take a look right down here, you'll see your Rotocast storage right up front. Easy, easily washable. We've seen this a time or two, right? Coming, making our way back a little bit, you have the TV. You'll also see that you have the sound bar. And you might be thinking, Ian, some of this looks familiar. Well, you're right. Do you want to know why? Because all three of them that we've seen, even though they're different, we saw the vast differences, all three of these are from Thor, uh, Thor Industries. And so they have a lot of things that they do that are similar. But again, I know that. You might not. We can help you. We can teach you. Text EZRV to 32094. How did she come back? This lady, I'm telling you, man, I'm just going to take her with me. Here we go, guys. She obviously wants to be with me or else she wouldn't just keep coming back. I'm sorry, honey. I love you. You've been replaced. Um, you will also see right here, propane quick connect, guys. Hook up a grill, plug it in, good to go. Take a look at the size of that power awning. I mean, it is stretching the entire thing. You wanna talk about great camp space, lots of shade. It's gonna provide shade right here for the TV when you're sitting out watching the game in an LED light strip along the entire thing. So that way you don't have to worry about hooking up lights. Unless, of course, you have cool party lights you wanna hook up. Right here is your square tubular bumper. You can store your sewer hose in there right down underneath. Hitch, let's talk about towing. Folks, this is an 8,000 pound hitch. You'll see your seven way connector right there so you can plug it in, good to go. You wanna tow a trailer behind you, a boat, whatever it may be, you have the capability to do it. What I always tell people, we saw on the Omni, right? It had the 10,000 pound hitch. I said that was a true 10,000 pound tow. The reason I say that is because even though this has an 8,000 pound hitch, uh, if you fully load this to the gills, you probably won't be able to tow 8,000 pounds. Now it has the capability to do it, but you just gotta make sure you pack a little bit lighter to help make up for it so that way you have the tow ability. So again, folks, the Thor Freedom Elite 27 FE, a great option. If you're looking to get into RVing, you have the, the, the E450, you have the big giant full wall slide, great amenities, text EZRV to 32094 to be able to lock in that pricing. You can call 866-853-3510 or put EZRV in the comment section. And folks, we'll help you out. We'll find the RV just for you. Thanks, Ian. 
We are so excited to have walked through those Thor manufacturer uh, class C's today. I know you guys are so excited. Our uh, phone lines are blowing up. I know you guys are calling into that 866-853-3510 and texting in the easy RV to 32094. So um, we just walked through three of the Thor class C's and those are really awesome. So awesome. Did you see Ian make a run for it? Ian is so funny. You you know he's on the road. We've got him working so hard today, and uh, you're so right about Thor. I've been a Thor fan for years and years and years. Kalen Hicks, Sean Parr, it's so great to be with you today. Listen, we have so many incredible sessions lined up, and I mean a lot. So we don't expect you to watch for 24 hours a day for the next five days. I mean, but- we could. Uh, we could. I mean, that wouldn't, that wouldn't hurt. Pop yourself up on the couch there, or if you're on the road right now watching in the RV, no problem at all. We're going to archive every single one of our sessions just for you, and you can find those. Just go to ultimatervcom and all you have to do starting tomorrow is go on the uh, Demand tab, and it's right there. Uh, where you can find every session. If you want a Class C, if you want a toy box, whatever you want, uh, some of the the new manufacturers that we're going to feature during this show. You want to see some of those show specials again? And wait, what was that one he was talking about that was on sale that we're going to throw the show special? We've got it archived for you. Or you just go to Easy RV, you text Easy RV 32094 or call 866. We've got uh, 853-3510, 866-853-3510. We've got some amazing people that will talk to you right now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, and I was just thinking too, like maybe you caught it today, but your your spouse didn't, or um, you guys are going to want to review it after you watch a couple more. Maybe this isn't the one for us. And then you're like, no, no, it's definitely that one. So reviewing that on the on-demand tab is definitely an option for you guys starting tomorrow. I love the fact that Kaylin is over here keeping tabs on everything that's happening. She's been with Camping World forever and also keeping tabs not only on the phone line, but the texting, making sure that you are being taken care of. So if somebody hasn't gotten back to you yet, stand by. It's been the greatest day. It's only Wednesday. It's day one of a little history here uh, at the Ultimate RV Show, and we're going to continue this through Sunday, so we've got a lot to get to, and some things that we're going to surprise you with, and a lot of giveaways, too. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited for the giveaway. <laughs> I like Giveaways make people like you, and I love to be the favorite, so I know you probably thought you were the favorite, but it's not going to it's not gonna stick. So. Well, we have been keeping him <laughs> busy all day long, and we're going to keep him busy for the next five days. You've seen him running around. He even grabbed the doll that went with him. I'm not sure what that's oh, about. Man. We'll uh, check that on the news later. But <laughs> we're going to send it back to Ian and see what adventures he's up to now. What do you got for us, Ian? Go ahead. Sean, Kalen, you got it. Uh, definitely running around again. Been sprinting from one to the other, but we are making it happen, and we have made it to the Jayco Greyhawk 30X. Now, folks, again, this is another one of your uh, kind of classic style Class C motorhomes. What you'll notice as we look around, though, you can see it real quick is how bright this one is. It has a little bit lighter wood than what we saw in the Freedom Elite. So, you know, if you're kind of looking into that, uh, the kind of the cottage, the farmhouse white, 30X may be right for you. If you'll start right over here again, you have storage up top, the beautiful oil rub bronze handles electric outlet underneath, LED lights all the way throughout, and then right down below, I again, I love when we're able to do this. So uh, while this one certainly can sleep a family because you have sleeping up here, you have sleeping in the back, you have the dinette, and this uh, can be a sofa, looks like we opted in the theater seats. And I personally really enjoy theater seats because that way I can kick back, relax. If you notice, the TV is up on that side in this one, you see that? And then, uh, what is that right underneath? Is that, a, is that a Sony Blu-ray player? Oh my goodness. Look at that, folks. That way you can watch the movies. Nice and easy, pop them in, and uh, you are good to go. Now, when we take a look right up here, again, this is the bed. This just folds right down. You have the ladder storage up there too. And then, of course, a window at the foot of the bed, a couple LED lights and a curtain that you can just swing, um, sling right across. Now this one, again, we talk about weight capacity, folks. What are you thinking, huh? 300, 500, 800? Close, we're at 750 pounds is what you can sleep up here. Plenty of weight, folks, no problem at all there. 
Um, when we saw in the other one, we have a curtain, a privacy curtain. So you can see these right here, and that's where your privacy curtain goes in this one. So you can just stretch it right across. That way all the windows here are blocked out, especially if you fold this down, there's no one that's gonna be uh, creeping in, which is always a good thing. Uh, but also the theater seats, as I mentioned previously, both of these do recline and you have seat belts. So you can have two additional riders. You have the storage right here in the center and cup holders. And of course, directly across from me is the dinette. So when you're riding down the road, that dinette, of course, will be slid in. Again, this one has that full wall slide that we're seeing in these because it's super popular because it makes them so open and spacious. But when this is in, you can have amazing conversation right here. All the seats, again, folks, the great thing about motorhomes, about class C's, is that you have super comfortable seating. I get to, I get to sit here, kick back and relax, take a nap, ride down the road. Yeah, I, I'm in, 100%. And we get to sit here and have a conversation, play games, whatever it may be. Um, again, there is an electrical outlet underneath plus USB port so you can charge your devices. Uh, it's gonna be on this one right over here, uh, but it is down there, but um, electrical outlets, USB port so you can charge your devices. And uh, if you have like a laptop or something you need to plug in, need to do some work on the road, you have the capability to do it. Uh, as I previously mentioned, this is a location to sleep. So this does drop down uh, and that can become a sleeping area. You have some cup holders there. These are, are something that, again, it seems so small and simple, uh, but there's a reason you find them in motorhomes and you don't find them in travel trailers. And that reason is when you're driving down the road, maybe you want to pull over and stop in a, uh, you know, so maybe see the big golden arches, right? We're not going to say any names here, not doing any free sponsors, just kidding. Uh, but let's say you see a, see a McDonald's, you're going to pull over, grab something to drink. You have your soda pop. You can put it right in here. That way it's not going to fall over, right? Because otherwise it's just sat on a table. This is a, a moving table, right? Something that you know, normally doesn't happen. In a travel trailer, you're not riding back there because it's not safe. But here it absolutely is, which is why we have the seat belts for additional riders. And you can fit two additional people here in each seat. Uh, big window right there, roller shades. This is something you know we saw in some of the uh, fifth wheels earlier, but this is where it originated, was your motor homes. Um, and again, you'll see that they framed this one out. They're kind of going for that residential look in a lot of these. And speaking of residential look, oh my gosh, guys, look at this kitchen. Absolutely beautiful, huge countertop space in here. Um, this is big for me, right? Because again, if you want to do a lot of cooking, you want to do a lot of prep work, you have so much prep space here. You have the pop-up power tower. We saw those in a couple others. Again, starting to gain some pop popularity. High-rise faucet right there, storage all across the top, beautiful woodwork, and you'll see that they have lighting above the valance here. Uh, you know, and again, that, that slide goes the full wall of this entire thing. Uh, remember folks, you're just gonna wanna text DZRV to 32094. If this is the one, then we have the pricing. You're gonna wanna lock that pricing in, text that number. Text that word to that number. You also see the microwave up top, the backsplash right here, kind of almost like a gray subway tile look. You have the recessed cooktop oven underneath. There you go, take a look at that. Not huge, but you know what, it works. It, it's, it's all you really need. You can throw a pizza in there. And then you will see uh, the drawer space here. Good storage space underneath, kind of running the whole length of the kitchen. When we flip it around, nor cold fridge, freezer right there, open it up, you'll see plenty of pantry storage. Uh, you will also see that you have your thermostat here, so that way you can turn the AC on or off. For the record, we do have the AC on. If you can't hear it, there's the AC unit right there, it's running. You'll see that we this one has a quick dump option. So what I can do is I can open it up, get some air, then if I want to, I can close it back off just like that and then it goes to the rest of the unit I'm gonna be honest I actually just showed that because it's really hot and I wanted to cool down and it worked perfect when we come right in here folks this is the bathroom so when you take a look you'll see the uh, foot flush lever toilet you have the shower over to the side I'll take a step in here again just to kind of give you uh, a reference now what you'll also notice is this bar the reason this is here is because a lot of people the, in their RVs, they don't necessarily use their shower because they use the campground facilities or the hotel or whatever they may be, wherever they're going. And so this allows you to use this as hanging space. And that's what a lot of RVers do. But with this, it automatically comes with it. You don't have to go and retrofit anything just straight from the manufacturer because they're trying to be able, they're trying to let you use the RV however you want. And again, you have that arm in there so you're able to adjust the height of that shower wand. Right over here, we'll open this up. Look at this, folks. You got some space right there. You'll see your, your sink. Again, big countertop space here. And of course, storage underneath. We make our way into the back bedroom. 
That bed, one more time, is in that slide out. You can see that. Look at the two-tone wood, folks. You'll see the uh, kind of the, the darker wood that's in here, but then they have the, uh, the shiplap for the headboard that's nice and light, as well as the valance. So, you know, again, giving you um, a little bit of color differ uh, differentiation just to help kind of bring the unit together and just make it look absolutely gorgeous. TV right up top and wardrobe space. You want to talk about wardrobe space? I know we had the shower that was available, but look at that, folks. Both sides, you have huge wardrobe space right there. And as you guys just saw on the bottom, this one does come with a cutting board as well as your drying rack. That's for the microwave there. Um, but so you do have those options as well, just again to make cooking and stuff a little bit easier. So again, folks, you may be thinking, Ian, you know what? Why would I want the Jayco? Why would I want the Thor Freedom Elite? Folks, I can go on and on about some of the differences besides just the aesthetics, but I don't have time to do it. So what you're gonna wanna do is text EZRV to 32094. Put EZRV in the comment section because that will get you in touch with one of our show specialists. We'll be able to walk you through the process. I understand that you know, you're watching this and you may not be ready to buy today. I get it, we all do, but that's what we're here for. We're here to help you be able to find the perfect RV. Whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, doesn't matter guys, we're gonna make it through and we can show you all the different options. Easy RV to 32094. And we take a look at the outside of the Greyhawk. So let's come up front real quick because there is something I want to show you right up here. A couple things actually. So again, it's on the Ford E450 chassis. You'll see the mirrors right here. Now, these mirrors do extend out, and what that does is it allows you to see beyond the cab, but what you'll, or rather the, the body, the, the home portion. What you'll also see is this right here, and that is your side view camera. So you will have that on both sides, plus you have a rear view camera that we'll see in just a little bit. The other thing I wanna show you is actually right up front. So one is this right here. The fact that this wraps around. So if you take a look up front with me, Take a look at this, folks, because this is, this is really important. We talk about front caps. Look at this thing. This whole thing comes all the way down and around, okay? Sometimes on the front end, you will have a seam that runs right through here. The problem with that is when water and everything hits it when you're driving down the road, that seam is what the water is just driving right into, right? It hits here, the wind blows it around. It keeps going into that seam. With this giant one-piece cap, it comes around and down so that water can't get in. You can see right here is where that seal is. So that way it helps keep everything dry. And if you notice, they do the same thing right here. They bring this over and around. And folks, again, when you're talking about differences, that's one of those big differences to be able to tell you about the Jayco Greyhawk. There's so many other things that I'd love to tell you. I just don't have the time. That's why I want to text EZRV to 32094. Also, you see the running boards, right? Fiberglass running boards on there. They're beautiful, they blend in. It helps you obviously get up into the cab. Storage, propane fill right here. We have outside speakers. Uh, you'll see the frameless windows as well as the power awning right up top. And the frameless windows, again, folks, great feature. If you're just tuning in, you haven't seen me talk about them earlier. Uh, one of the, the things that people really love them, the reasons besides just looking nicer, is because the seals are better protected and you can have them open as long as it's not like a sideways rain. You'll get the ventilation without having um, all, the, um, all the water come in the RV. You know what, I was gonna shut the door, but I wanna show you this too. Again, people that are new to uh, the RV world, one of the things that you may not know, gosh, if I can, you know, I was gonna do this and maybe I'm not going to. There we go, all right. Sorry guys, that's my bad. Shouldn't have been that complicated. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Anyway, so apparently I, I can't do this one, but that is where your battery is located. Uh, so for your class C's, you can just undo that, pop it up. Normally I could lift that right up. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'll find out later. Um, but that's where your battery's located on your class C's. And also right in there was a little light so you can climb up in there. The other thing I wanted to show you was this power step right here. So you see that come right out, go right back in. Now, uh, that is operated with the door. You can turn that off if you want. So if you're close to a curb, you can shut that step off so when you open it up, it doesn't come out and hit the curb. Again, more storage all the way down the side. You can see that right down here too. And then in the back, you can see the big storage area. So uh, when we talk about Class Cs, you know, sometimes they have big storage areas just like this one. And we come around the other side, of course, rear mounted ladder. You will also see right up top your backup camera. And then we're gonna have to get a little low here because we have that full wall slide with the topper, but if you drop down, 
I do want to show you this. So this will be your wet bay right down here. You have your low point drains. All of your connections are right in the back. And I really like that uh, because it makes it easy to hook up because generally when you're hooking up at a campground, your post will be right in the back. So again, folks, this has been the large Class C section. And as you saw, we had a whole number of different Class Cs. We had a toy hauler, we had a Super C, we had a couple different Class Cs here. If you're a family and you want a bunk model, we have a ton of those too. Again, we have over 25,000 pieces of inventory on the ground. Text EZRV to 32094, lock in any of the prices we saw or find the right one for you. Welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite. I am Lauren here with Dave and I grew up a farm girl so I'm actually really excited to hear about these water hose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please tell me how do they work? What's special about these water hose? Well okay we have the Technor Apex Zero G uh, water hoses in 25 okay. foot and 50. As 50 you can, foot. Wow 50 that's foot, awesome. 50 foot in that box right there. That's great. And the funny thing is you're like oh once you get it out it's gonna wow. be all over the place but it's even loose inside the box right now and it will go right back into the same box it's not when you're even done. Heavy at all. No, they're very lightweight. The material is a uh, G-force fabric that they use on the outside, so it's very very durable, very strong. Um, there are some other competitors out there that try to do this yeah. and um, if anybody's bought one they kind of fail so they may look at this and go, mm. "Trust me, the the Zero G's by Technor, no joke. Uh, five-year warranty." So they're standing behind the fact they're no joke. Okay. okay, you don't have people, most of them are like, oh, we got 90 days and you got to return it. No, right. these guys, five-year five warranty. Year warranty. Wow. No, yeah, definitely. They are drinking water safe, so great for RVers in that, in that instance. And we always like, in an RV, as much space as possible. So we yeah. get the smallest, tightest thing that can fit in any, any nook. These hoses will do that for you. You don't have this bulky hose that gets old and hard to roll up and, and all that. Right. So, so here we are with So the material makes it easy to roll is the, is oh, the idea. Oh, most definitely, yep. Interesting, yep. that's awesome. Sure does. Puncture I resistant. Uh, I mean, you just can't beat it. I mean, uh, lead free. It has all the things that you need for it that you won't expect from a um, from something that could be drink water safe. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, guess who makes it? America. It's an American brand, so I know that's great with RVers. A lot of the RVers love that. Love that. So yeah. American brand made item that has a five year warranty on it. Can't beat that. Okay. Um, over here, are you wondering what this is? Um, does it hold the hose? The bucket no, it's, my, it's my sun hat. It's been oh. bothering me out here all this time. So this is, this is perfect. No, it but really. It's perfect actually. Very shady. <laughs> yeah, it actually was pretty good. <laughs> um, so we have a hose or co cord caddy. Okay. Uh, just a very simple item, but when it comes back to storage and you're trying to put things all bulked into these RVs, yep. you want something to kind of keep it all neat and together. So you, you can put the Zero G hose in it, uh, or you can put, if you have one of the regular hoses, you may have something for the black tank, great tank that you want to yep. put in there. But again, even your, your large bulky uh, shore cord, when you're going to store it away, can be rolled up in here or any extension cords. Nice. Okay, so it's just an easy little thing to, to get uh, and to have on get hand. Get it out of the way, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. So um, pricing wise, you know, the caddy here is actually uh, $22.99, but we're running a promo nice. for the ultimate <laughs> RV show. Ultimate and, RV show. And Tell the us ultimate the promo price. I uh, know, the <laughs> ultimate campsite. We're going to have this for $17.86. Nice. All right. Uh, but we always take care of a good Sam members. Mm -hmm. $16.97. That's a great deal. All right. 25 foot hose. Mm -hmm. We're going to have this for $28.99. We're going to run a promo for. Twenty-three forty-eight. Nice. Good Sam members can come in at twenty-two ninety-seven. All right. That's actually really exciting. <laughs> you know, you really want it now, <laughs> yeah. don't you? All right. Well, maybe you want the fifty foot because we run that at forty-one ninety-nine. But okay. Promo-wise, we're gonna have thirty-three ninety-eight with a good Sam price at thirty-two ninety-seven. Wow. Yeah. So that's that's a pretty big hose. Great price. Yeah. Leading, Definitely leading in that's design when it comes to water hoses out of any other brands and other styles that I've seen. Right. And you can get it for thirty-two ninety-seven. Right. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, get on it for all. This is awesome. <laughs> if you guys are interested, you can text below or comment below camp. Um, text camp to thirty-two zero ninety-four, or you can also call eight six six two three five eighty seven fifty one for any of these items.
an RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. We want something newer and a better fit for our lifestyle. We've got solar and satellite internet. We have five boys and we live full time in our RV. We work out of our RV every single day and so Having it be white and bright makes it feel a million times bigger. It's an amazing feeling that you can't replace. Honestly, we now feel like we're really home. Discover your home away from home at Camping World. No, I, I am like so excited. I'm like the kid at Disneyland. I mentioned this earlier because Ian has been so great at explaining the Class C's. We love and get so excited about these units that are brand new for 2021. I mean, some of these, we talked about uh, coming off the line just a few days ago, some even just a day ago. They came here specifically for the Ultimate RV Show, which is uh, truly amazing. Sean Parr, Kalen Hicks, and uh, Kalen, when we talk about registrations for this particular show, for those of you that are familiar with the Hershey Show, we already have over 125,000 registrations in the last couple of weeks, it's been amazing. That is two and a half times uh, the amount of people that have uh, signed up for the Hershey, uh, Hershey Show. So listen, uh, Easy RV 32094, that's the number you texted to, or that 800 number, 866-853-3510, whatever your questions could be. Uh, if you miss a segment, don't worry about it. We're going to go to ultimatervcom and right there on the On Demand uh, button, you click right there because we're going to start archiving every single session, exciting session that we're doing right now. Oh, I'm so excited about the one that we're moving into. It's the fuel and it's a first look. So no one's yes. ever seen this before. And uh, you had mentioned us pulling in units at the last minute. I was here through setup and we would get a unit in. It's like, oh my gosh, this has to be in the Ultimate RV Show. We got to find a way. Let's move some stuff around. We're getting this in the show. Yeah. So this was definitely one of the pieces. We're excited about it. Um, I know you were excited about the your party deck. <laughs> <laughs> Because around here, we spell party with two R's. It's P-A-R-R-T-Y. No, seriously, this this first look is truly going to be an exceptional treat for those of you that are watching right now because we have not seen one available with a party deck. This is the first one, and I can't wait to see. We've had a chance to get a sneak peek a little bit at some of the units out there. But this is the first time and this particular unit that we're going to get that first look of the Fuel 260. And I can't wait for you to see this. So I know that Ian's uh, making another run for it. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's excited to get in there too. But uh, yeah, I think um, I'm, I'm really excited for, for everyone to get to partake. You know what? I like the way you said party and I, partake yeah, now. So there you, you go. Take it. <laughs> Ian, what do you got for us, my friend? Let's get that first look going. Hi, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and I'm joined by Matt with Fuel. We have the Fuel 260 to talk to you about today here at the Ultimate RV Show, where it is truly the easiest way to shop for an RV. Folks, with the Easy RV, all you have to do is text Easy RV to 32094 or call 866 853 3510. He'll take advantage of the amazing price that we're going to have for you today. And with that, someone will be able to reach out. They'll take care of everything right over the phone, and we can deliver the unit to your door. So if you never want to leave your the comfort of your home, you don't have to. Of course, if you always want to come to the dealership and pick it up, you can do that as well. But again, we have amazing pricing for the Ultimate RV Show. So, Matt, if you will, my friend, kind of take me through the fuel line. Talk to you about the Fuel 260, the floor plan we have what kind of toys we can fit in here. Let's hear it, my friend. Absolutely. Thanks, Ian. So, Absolutely. So Fuel is a great product. It's a Camping World exclusive product. And today I get to debut the, the F260. It's a brand new floor plan. Absolutely stellar. Um, before we actually dive into the, the, the different features and whatnot, I do want to focus on this is a Camping World exclusive product. The only place you can buy this at is at a Camping World dealership. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and look at the back here, we can kind of dive into the different features and whatnot that we have here. So the first thing that I like to notice here is our Happy Jack bed system. 
So right now we have it totally down. Mm -hmm. This is a queen size bed up top, huge. Extra sleeping area if you're camping with your young kids or if you need an extra place to sleep, awesome for that. This does go all the way up to the ceiling as well for to fit your toys and whatever else you have back here. Um, another really cool feature about this too is it does have the drop down um, folding sofas. Mm -hmm. So these do fold in and create another sleeping surface. So whether that be for dogs or even another human, it is comfortable, it's very cushioned. Um, it allows for more sleeping and a lot more um, space. Yep. Yeah, so, so uh, a couple of things that, that I do like uh, here, Matt, and one is you talked about having people sleep up top. And if you notice, you have electrical outlets up there as well. So it's kind of already designed for that. Cause that's something that, you know, you just, uh, a lot of people don't think about is you have somewhere to sleep, but you have to have a place to charge cell phones and do things like that. So I do appreciate that there is a uh, electrical outlet up top and you'll see that you have that on both sides as well as a light up top in case you need to see and then you know your vent fan too because you will be up a little bit higher and if it's a warmer day like today, sure. you can open the vent up and, and get some yeah. ventilation. So I, I really appreciate that. Uh, also, when we talk about the sofas, I like the pattern that you guys uh, have on here. It's kind of almost like a, like a diamond etched pattern that you put in there and I think that's pretty cool. And the size of the table is yeah. something I really enjoy. I mean, if, if we sit down here, I mean, Shoot, oh, you're, a, you're a tall guy, Matt. How tall are you? I'm 6'5". 6'5", so, six, six yeah. yeah. and you can still sit here, I mean, Easily. you know, very comfortably with the bed down. Mm -hmm. You know, and like you said, of course, we can take that back up, but I like all the, the space you have. So right. you have plenty of space here to, you know, play games, eat. Uh, if you're having a party, you know, a lot of times a toy hauler, because you have so much space, kind of becomes like Hangout Central. And so this allows you to do that. Definitely. And I mean, it, toy haulers are great for toys, but it can also be converted with this lifting up. You can use it for an office, kids' yep. playroom. Um, I mean, doghouse, anything that you want. I mean, it's just more storage, more space. Well, that's and that and that to, to your point. That's a, another good thing that a lot of people don't talk about is while you know they people think toy hauler and think, right. oh well, I don't have motorcycles, I don't have ATVs. Why would I want one? But what they don't think about is the fact that you can fit all of your bicycles in here, all of your coolers. I mean, you know, if if you uh, plan on you know, doing some more remote camping and you have something that's going to stay in a tent, you know, I mean, you can bring all that stuff in here and you have plenty of room for it. Plus. You know, like you said, the sleeping for four more people right back here. It's huge. Yep. Yeah. And kayaks too. There is a lot of storage up front, but kayaks are a big thing too. Bikes. So it, typically, toy hauler people are going to be wanting to go outdoors mm -hmm. and enjoy the outdoors and enjoy their toys. So if you're not if you're not planning on traveling with a large side by side, I mean, you could fit a lot of stuff in here. So that's, <laughs> that's a huge, huge feature. Yeah. I'm now glad you brought that up. Now uh, tell me right right down here, Matt. Now it looks like we have a carpet. Now is this an option for this one? Or? So this this is standard. Everything okay. that you see on here is standard. Okay. That, that's a huge benefit to it being a Camper World exclusive product. You don't have any options. So everything you see here is what it's going to come with, which is amazing. Yeah, um, and, and I talk to people about that too for resale value because you know if it's all standard, you're going to get all the money back out of it when you go to resell it. Correct, correct, and that's a big feature. And I, I like that you talked about the the cargo carpet. So this is a removable cargo carpet. So. It's good for when you're gonna put your toys in here and when you're gonna have maybe your chair set up. But once you actually get to the campsite, you take your toy out, you can actually remove this cargo carpet and you're gonna have that same flooring all the way throughout, which just makes it look a lot prettier. And it makes it feel like more of a home. Yeah. Which is nice. Yep. Yeah, you have you know, kind of like that, that residential look to it. Um, some D-rings in here. What weight D-rings do you have for the so they're tie gonna be, They're gonna be 5,000 pounds. Okay, yep. so perfect. Very strong D-rings. Um, yep. Like I said, your, your toys are, are gonna be your most valuable thing that you're bringing with you. So we wanna make sure those are protected. Whether it be a motorcycle side-by-side, -side, you name it, it's gonna be protected. So when we talk about side-by-sides, Matt, are you able to fit a side-by-side -side in here? I mean, if we move these chairs out of the way, can you, is, is there enough space in this garage for yes, one? Yes, yep, exactly. So every floor plan that we designed for fuel is gonna be able to fit your standard side-by-side. -side. Um, obviously there are some upgrades know. that you can put in. Sure. And then that's why we have more floor plans that have bigger garage spaces for those, for those larger toys. And yeah. Then, yep. Yeah, because that's that's what I get asked a lot, right? You know, I mean, it seems to be a, a, a more ongoing thing. Is people they need space for their side by side, and uh, so I love that you know, like you said, that all the floor plans are able to fit it. That you kind of design around that. Exactly. Uh, that's you know, genius. Yep. Because I mean, the number one idea is that we want to be able to fit the largest toy possible, and that would be your side by side. Even even your big Harleys are going to fit in here as well, which is great. Um, I like cool. that you touched on the uh, the diamond pattern on our seats too. Yeah. That's a relatively new thing. Um, that's more of that racing style, that real nice stitched leather. Yeah. So it's a, it's a really nice look to it. Um, typically, we get a lot of people that love racing and they bring their toys with them. So it really goes well with your, with your toys, which is great. You, you'll notice it, the stitching on our, on our seats right here as well. 
Yep. Now, Matt, can we can we raise this up? Can we kind of show? Yep. I, I just want people to see how yeah. easy it is with the Happy Jack system. Absolutely. Um, you know, kind of kind of how this works, how we can raise them up here. For sure. So let's go ahead and pull this table. Okay. So this table is easy to pull out. Oh yeah. Very lightweight, which is okay. nice. And then I'll kind of show you how these guys fold over. Sure. So you just grab it, just one hand. It's actually going to roll nice and easy. Okay. So that's half the bed right there. So obviously you can see. I mean, that's a lot of. A lot of storage right there. And it looks like on the back here, you have a leg for support, right? So when it's Correct. down in the bed, it kind of supports the center. Exactly. So you can pull that leg down just for a little bit more support for if you want to put maybe a heavier object on there, there's no problem. Okay. Yep. And then this is going to come down nice and soft. All right. So then that, that completes a whole nother sleeping area. So if you want to have someone else sleeping on there, that's where that leg support is really going to come in handy. Perfect. So you can sleep another two people there, which is huge. So then, All right. If you guys want to follow me, we're going to actually head over to this command center here where everything's yep. everything's controlled from. Perfect. I'll go ahead and walk on over here. So right here, we're going to look at our bed lift control right here. So nice and easy, you have a down and an up. Right now, we're just going to bring it up. And you can see how these sofas are raising first. So you can set the sofas to any height that you want, which is nice okay. as well. So for your taller people like myself, I might not have it all the way down to the ground, which is great. Yeah, okay. And then once it gets up to that actual bed, it'll it'll lift, lift the bed, that bed up. Yep. And this Happy Jack system is great too. I mean, it's very reliable. As you can see, I mean, it's very mechanical. Yeah, no, th this is fantastic. That's you know one of the things with uh, a lot of the toy haulers when you have to manually do it, um, it, it can be troublesome. You know, if, if you're a, a shorter person, right. uh, you know, a lot of times it's up high and it's it's hard, or if you don't have the weight or the upper body strength, sometimes it can be hard to pull those down. So Absolutely. having the Absolutely. Happy Jack system really makes life easy here. And when you have this up too, you can already see, I mean, it feels a lot more spacious in here as well, which is nice. Yeah, it sure so does. During the day, if you're entertaining, it's a lot easier to kind of stand up and spread out. So, so once we have these up, so correct me if I'm wrong, Matt, but we can, so you can have them up like this if you need the width. Yes, sir. Or if you need the height, these can fold down along the correct. side, yep. right? Correct, so it's an easy, um, pin that you pull, so okay. it's a real quick pin. Let's just do this real yeah, quick. Do that real quick, so there's one right there, one right there that holds okay. it in place. Okay, safety pins, sure. Yep, and then it easily folds down. Okay. Yep, so it's nice and nice and simple. It'll come down by itself. Okay. Um, real easy, just one hand, you can bring it down. Okay. Which is which is a huge feature as well. Yep. Excellent. So now, that, way, that way, when you do bring in your real tall side-by-sides, these do collapse down to give you more height. Okay. Fantastic. Yep. Let's see, if, so if we put this up, you know, I may, may have had to roll this one up first. I'm just curious if I can uh, fold this one down here, but I think, yeah, I think yeah, I would so, have had to put that yeah. one up first. Okay, that's all right, that's, that's all right. right. Yep, Little yep. order operations. So one thing that I like once we do raise it up is it, it does kind of give um, a little bit of vision on that exhaust vent right there. Okay. So obviously if you have your toys in here, you're gonna have some gas in here with the toys and you don't want that smell in your couch. So it's a real easy grab and push. And that's going to allow for airflow in here as well. And, so, and you can see the heavy-duty D-rings right down there. I mean, yeah, so the, they're, I mean, they're big and bulky. Yeah, they're, they're solid. I mean, that's definitely an upgrade, too, especially at this price point. So yeah. That's and a big feature. Speaking of price point, that's a great point. So, folks, for the Fuel 260 for the show, you can pick this one up for under $43,000. we are looking at $42,995 as a starting price on it. And with that, that means it starts at a payment of $313 for this RV. So, folks, if you're interested, you're going to want to text easy rv to 32094 put easy rv in the comment section or call 866-853-3510 and you'll be able to take advantage of the great pricing we have here at the ultimate rv show again that is starting at 313 a month very doable it's amazing it's yes, amazing I, I don't know how you guys do it <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and talk about the kitchen a little yes, bit please. While, while we're on the price point slide this so previous fuel models we did not actually have this wrapped before it met at a t so this is a huge upgrade. It looks really nice. More of a residential feel in here. Mm -hmm. Along with our stainless steel large basin sink. That's huge price point feature, huge selling feature. I mean, you want to be able to hold big pots in here. With yep. having the three burners, you can be cooking your pasta on one. You can have a large thing that's getting prepped for the next burner. You can easily transfer between the two. And I love that this floor plan has them right next to each other. Yes. With some extra space here as well. And, and I also like, Matt, that this right here, that with where your space is, is where you put the electrical outlet. Absolutely. I, I think that just makes sense. That's where your coffee maker is gonna go. If you have a toaster, a little Definitely. bit of space, it's all right there. You hit it, you hit it perfectly. So if you have a curing machine or a coffee maker, it fits yep. perfectly and pulls right from there. Amazing. Also, I love that the blinds here as well. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice blind. 
Um, easy to pull up, just like your typical residential blind. Okay. But it allows for more, when you're out in the mountains or you're out at a nice river, at a nice lake, you love to see the visuals. Yeah. I know I'm a little taller, so it's a little harder to, to <laughs> see out there, but, but for typical people, when they bring that up, I mean, you're, you're looking at, at your gorgeous landscape, which is nice. Awesome for when you're cooking. So, and spe yeah. speaking of views, and we'll get to it in a second, but they, as I mentioned, this one does have the party decks. So if you want to talk about a great view, if you yeah. can enjoy it out the back. Absolutely. We'll, when we go outside, we'll drop that down and kind of show the people uh, show on what it looks like. But we'll, we'll touch on that too, but now that you brought it up, so this is brand new to the fuel travel trailers. It okay. is going to come standard with the party deck now. That was that was by extreme demand. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm elated to announce that that's going to be standard on all of our fuel travel trailers. Awesome. And forward. it looks like it has the screen on there as well, correct? Correct. Yep. So you have a drop down screen there for when you do have that down if you don't want the bugs and whatnot, but you still want that airflow in. Perfect. Nice and easy. Yep, a real easy drop-down screen. Cool. Yep. Very cool. So, kind of sticking on the kitchen here too. Yeah. Another huge upgrade that we went to is going to be these grab handles. Mm -hmm. Instead of having the square ones that are a little bit harder to grab and might might be a little awkward, we actually have the easy grab handles now. So these are fantastic, and I love the colors we're doing as well. Yeah. So that black really really complements this dark tan. Fantastic. I think that looks. It's where the market is, especially for a toy hauler. You're going to beat them up a little bit. If it's real white up here, that's going to show a lot quicker. Yeah, so. right. Yeah, a lot of times if they are having the toys and stuff, they're going to get dirty real quick. Yep. So yep. You, you kind of contrast a little bit by having the lighter tabletop, the lighter countertop. Exactly. And then and then the walls, too, are going to contrast as well. So yeah. It's a really well-designed unit. I, I love it. Excellent. Um, huge um, microwave as well. So this is a bigger microwave than we were doing in our previous models as well for travel okay. trailers. Okay. So a lot more cooking yeah. size. Uh, if you want to store stuff in there, you can, I guess. <laughs> yeah. but I was about to say storage size. Well, well I mean, you, you, you say that because you, know, you have big storage. You have the storage up top, you have the storage here, you have yeah. more down below, which a lot of times can be a problem with the toy hauler. Uh, but, you know, you've done a good job of, of actually maximizing the, the storage that is available. It's massive. It is. It's massive. Yep. And having the, the two layers to it is nice as well for your cereal and all of your food supplies as well. So that's, that's a big feature. So let's before we before we hit the uh, fridge, let's talk about these Euro chairs because okay. I I like these uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because as you mentioned, you can fit your side by side in here, and if you mm -hmm. do, you're gonna have to move these chairs. Right. And they're very easy. They're lightweight. Very easy to move. Yep. So they're they're not bolted to the ground by any means. So you can configure them however you want in the coach. Ideally, we like them in this situation so you can see the TV. Yes. But if you want them maybe facing this way, if you have a large party that wants to talk, or if you want to move one up closer to the table, you want to play some card games or. Maybe some board games or whatnot. It's it's a lot easy, a lot easier to do that without having to bolt it bolted down. So and both of these do swivel, obviously, and they recline as well. They correct? recline as well. Yep. So yeah. a real easy recline, just a pull of a switch. They're going to recline all the way down. Very very easy. And I like that he touched on the racing style. Yep. The diamond plate for these guys. We also have that racing style stitch on. Kind of like a honeycomb, a little bit different there, but I like it. It's so it's very really nice, nice, very high end feel. Um, yeah. It just it just looks right. It looks right in a toy hauler. So. And, and when I talked earlier about you know having having the space to kind of hang out, you have the table back here. You can easily sit four people back here. And I like that you know you kind of have a separate seating area That's as right. well. So again, you can just you know, this can kind of become uh, like the hangout central, if you will. Absolutely. And there's no wasted space either. If you look up here as well, we have a ton of storage up here on the opposite side of the kitchen as well. So we can go ahead and pull these. That way yep. you can kind of see the depth in there, and it's going to be the same for those two as well. Yeah, nice big storage. And I can't, I can't emphasize the slam latch right there as well too, so when you're going down the road, it's not like a free hanging um, cabinet. It's actually going to be locked and secured. You're not going to have stuff going crazy. That's where you can cause some damage. So it is very secured when you do close the doors, which is nice. And, and again, folks, you can pick this one up here at the Ultimate RV Show for $313 a month. That's the starting price on it. That's an amazing price. Text Easy RV to 32094. Drop Easy RV in the comments section below. Matt, let's round out the kitchen. Let's talk the fridge real quick. Then Absolutely. we'll hit the entertainment center, kind of make our way up front. Yep, so you have a huge fridge here. So it's going to be a gas electric Dometic fridge. Massive. So let's go ahead and just kind of pull it open for you just so you can see. So having the freezer on top with the fridge down low is nice. You also have the crisper drawers as well with a lot of sectioned off um, shelves which I think is a big feature. If you want to pull one of those sections off, you can, but it's nice to be able to sort your stuff, like your different jars and whatnot, whatever you want to put in your fridge. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. So it's huge fridge, real easy to do. And as you can hear, they snap into place. I think that's a big feature right there, especially in a toy hauler when you're going off road, yep. you're going down those dirt roads, you're going to have some shaking. This allows this to stay totally in, in, intact, in place. You're not going to lose all of your all of your milk and all of your goodies, which is huge. Perfect. And then a real easy, just grab handle, just to unlock it. 
and then just pull. So it's very well engineered. Now, I, this keeps drawing my eye. Talk to me about the entertainment systems. I keep seeing this big JBL system yep. right in front of my face. and I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. So, so also brand new to the fuel travel trailer and also our fuel fifth wheels, we're going to have this JBL sound speaker, sound system with a subwoofer that's going to be standard. The subwoofer is right up here. So these things bump. Yeah. I mean bump. And that, that's kind of what we were thinking when we were designing this is toy haulers are going to be used to enjoy the scenery, but they're also going to be used to have fun. Yep. And that's exactly what we're going with. And that's why we put that party deck on there, because we know that people are going to be having parties in here. Perfect. People are going to be listening to music, listening to that bass, loving it. And then also, it's a really easy setup. You have three different zones. So if you want to play it inside, you can. If you want to play it just outside on your exterior speakers, you can. And then also a really quick connect on Bluetooth. So that's, cool. that's a huge feature as well. You don't have to be plugged in. As long as you're in the radius, you can play it. And JBL, I can't say enough about it. I mean, yeah. that's a fantastic brand. So I, I will pitch this until, until my face <laughs> right? it's, it's a huge feature. And I mean, especially at this price point, when you're going against people that have your typical RV stereos, yep. this is head and shoulders above. Yeah. Massive. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, that you know, starting at 313 a month, that's you know, there's a lot of features packed into the fuel. We'll definitely get to some more outside as well. But you know, as we've already covered, there's a ton of things here. That JBL system is a big part of it. Um, and, and I said it's this floor plan I really like because it is open, kind of like For you sure. say, party central. Yep. Um, now let's hit the kind of the functional stuff. Why don't we hit the bathroom and then okay. the uh, bedroom real quick? Yep. Then we'll take a look at some of the features outside. Absolutely. Sounds great. Remember, folks, as I mentioned, 313 a month is where this one's starting at. Simply text EZRV to 32094. Okay, right. guys. Yep, yep. When you first walk in here, the first thing I notice is the amount of space you have in the toilet. That's big. I mean, mm -hmm. typically in a travel trailer this size with a toy hauler with a garage, you're going to have a really, really cramped area for the toilet. You know what? Let, me, let me demonstrate. Here yep. you go, guys. Yeah. Six foot tall. Look at that. Allows Plenty of room. Look at all that leg room. room. Look at all that leg room. That's, that's huge. I mean, yep. that, it's hard to find that. So that's, that's, that's a huge selling feature in the, in the bathroom alone. Um, another huge feature as well is you do have a ton of storage underneath for like your toiletries, your yep. shampoo or whatever, if you don't want to put it up there if you're traveling. And then also more of a residential style sink. So I love this faucet. It's more of that modern look to it. I love the contrast between black and white as well. Mm -hmm. Looks very clean and large enough for you to brush your teeth, shave, whatever you got to do in the morning. Well, I like that you guys use the nicer countertop in here too, rather than going to like a T-mold and save exactly. a little bit of money, you still have, you know, the seamless countertop. Exactly. And, and I'm glad you brought that up. So that's yep. actually going to be throughout the coach as well. So you'll, you'll see that in the bedroom as well, which is a huge feature. And especially at this price point, I don't know of anybody else that's doing it. Perfect. Um, also very large um, shower. This is big for me. Like I was yeah, saying. Yeah, so, yeah you're, you're a tall guy. Five. Stand on in there. Six five. I can fit with some headroom. I mean, yeah. a lot of headroom. So if you're a seven foot guy, this is what you need. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then also you're not cramped or anything like that. And a big feature too is that you do have the removable the hand wash. The hand wash. So that way you're not going down here trying to yep. splash water in your face. It's it's nice and simple and an easy, really nice style shower curtain that just folds over. All yeah. right. Well, come on into the bedroom here, Max. There's a couple things that I that I think are a little unique in this bedroom that I really like, kind of up front. Um, why don't you kind of walk me through, start with the bed here, we'll make our way around. So the one big feature that you're going to notice immediately is how big this, this bed is. Huge. This is a king bed. Massive. So, I mean, that, that's a big selling feature, especially on this kind of price point in a toy hauler. You typically are going to see the queen. King bed with that actual slide out in, in the bed allows for a huge space. I mean, me and, me and him can stand here. Yeah. If, if, you have a, if you have a people getting ready in the morning, it's nice and easy to get your clothes on. You can do it together. That way you don't have to take turns coming in and out to get all your stuff, which is huge. Well, and I saw this a little bit earlier. It looks like you have a uh, wireless charging pad. Yes. Built so in. That's cool. Another huge brand new feature coming to fuel travel trailers, and it's also going to be on our yeah. fifth wheels, is just the nice, easy wireless charging port. So instead of having to fumble with the cords and cords breaking and whatnot, you literally just place your phone on there, and it'll imme immediately start charging it. I think that's a huge feature. I think that's really cool, real simple. You don't want to have to be fumbling with cords and everything, and it allows for more space. And it fits there too. It, it doesn't. It's not like an eyesore or anything like that. It's just another another big feature. I think that's massive. Well, Matt, it looks like we have a spot to mount a TV here. Absolutely. And then tell me about this. Yeah. So I love that's cool. this. So it, it's a little bit more of a hidden storage back here behind your mirror. Just massive. I don't know if you can see here, but I can fit my entire arm back here. Huge storage. Maybe for more of your valuables as well, because it is hidden. Mm -hmm. um, as well as 
your more personal items that maybe you don't want people going through. So it's, it's a great extra storage along with your, your drawers right here, which I think are massive too. Just more, more storage here. And then yep. if you want to put clothes in there and whatnot, you can. Or if you want to put them up here with your shoes and purses and whatever you travel with, you got the storage for it, which I think is massive. Cool. Well, let's let's take a look outside, Matt. Let's show, show some of the features out there. Um, there's some great features that come on here. I want to make sure we're able to fit those in. Perfect. Yeah. Let's head on out and we'll take a look. Let's head on and again, out. folks, if you're interested, you're gonna want to text Easy RV to three two zero nine four. This one is starting at three hundred and thirteen a month. Let's come on out. Let's uh, let's kind of make our way up front. Yeah, okay. Again, we yep. walked up. Uh, this is something that you know kind of caught my eye. Absolutely. So it looks like we have the outside kitchen. So we have our exterior kitchen. It's going to be on our F260. Huge feature as well, especially at this price point. So you do have that pull out. Let's see if I can get her up. Two gas burner right here, as well as a grease shield. So when you're when you're cooking in the morning, you don't want your grease going all over the place. That allows for you <laughs> right. not getting grease all over your your inside. That's a big feature. And then you do have the fridge out here as well. It's a cooler. Let's see if we can get her open. Large cooler for your your Coke products or Pepsi products or whatever whatever you want to put in there. Well, um, I'm gonna have something different than that, Matt. But I like where your head's at. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it PG. Yeah. Um, and then kind of sticking on this outside here. Yeah. Another large storage bin right here. This is kind of okay. what I was touching on before. Oh yeah, look at so that. Huge storage, real tall as well. So you can fit your larger objects out here that maybe you don't want to put inside. Maybe your your gray tank line or your black tank lines. Um, maybe uh, dirty fishing poles that you can fold down. Whatever, whatever you don't want the smell getting inside, you can keep out here. Which is it looks like you have a battery disconnect there too. Correct. Yep. So handy. that's a quick, easy battery disconnect. Yep. A nice, easy switch. Well, Matt, let's let's come on back real quick. I want to uh, show the the fuel station because you guys have a fuel station on this. Absolutely. One. Yep. Let's take a quick look at that. So nice and simple here, guys. One thing that's brand new to the to the fuel travel trailer is it is a lockable fueling station. Ah, that's, so that's good. That's brand new. In the past, there might have been some issues of going to campsites, people siphoning gas. Now you can lock it. You don't have to worry about that. Love also, it. huge feature is an easy to read gas gauge. So that'll tell you how much gas you still have in this fuel um, fuel tank. Obviously, right now it's locked. But sure. when, when this comes down, you do have the nozzle there as well. So that's how when you pull up your toys, you don't have to, if you're boondocking or you're out in a remote area that doesn't have a gas station, you have a lot more gas that you can easily pump into. So, cool. Let's go out around the way real quick here. Just want to hit a couple more things. So I, uh, we talked about the party deck. You want to get that side for me? I just want to kind of show people. We'll drop this down. There we go. Just kind of show everyone. So there it is. So there is your party deck. Pretty easy to uh, set up. Looks like you just kind of fold it up, swing out. Correct. Awesome. Yep. So right now we do have it in the down position. Yep. So this is for when you're loading and offloading your, your toys. But um, it does come with um, cables. That'll make it level to that ground there. And that's when you can lift up this party deck system and create a fenced in area. And cool. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, really like sweet. you said, that's a beautiful view. You can enjoy the view out the back. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I love when they come with a party deck. Mm -hmm. Now, Matt, does the, the fuel has a generator, correct? It, it has does. at least option for it? It does. So okay. it, it's actually going to be standard in your fuel. Perfect. Um, so love that. So 4,000 watt um, owning generator. So. So, Fantastic. and you know, and again, we talk about the price point. I mean, here we have the Fuel 260 for the Ultimate RV Show. Starting at 313 a month, you have the fuel station, you have the generator, you have the party deck, all of that standard, great amenities at a fantastic price point. Folks, you're not going to want to miss out on this. You want to text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comment section below. If you want to call up, that's cool. You can do that too. Call 866-853-3510. That will lock in your price on this Fuel 260. And as I said, folks, this is truly one of the easiest ways to order an RV. You can do it right from the comfort of your home. We will get, get with you on the phone, take care of finance and everything right over the phone. We'll be able to deliver the RV to you on your couch, at your kitchen table, at your campsite, wherever you are. You'll be able to take possession of it. This is truly an ultimate RV show with the easiest RV possible with a great RV. Matt, thank you so much for showing us the Fuel 260. I appreciate it. Welcome. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. 
Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. You want to do new things outside and, and sometimes it's about that change of scenery. Just fulfilling that love for the outdoors that I have. Woo! The best things happen outdoors and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a motorhome that sleeps six for only $3.29 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. In a perfect world, you're always chasing adventure and relaxation in your new RV. But in the real world, life happens. That's why Camping World offers a suite of Ada Protection products for our buyers. If the unthinkable happens, Ada Protection from Good Sam will protect your RV and your wallet for the road ahead. Ask your Camping World dealer about Good Sam Protection for your RV. And I'm Bria. Hi, Bria. Hello. Man, can you talk about that field trip? Oh, it was awesome. Oh, it was awesome. Well, don't worry, folks. If you haven't seen something that you don't love just yet, don't you worry. We have like 25,000. 25, yeah, so much just choose from. And um, so, Bria, we are moving on to travel trailers, right? Yes. We have something for every lifestyle. And every budget. So, babe, I'm going to need you to turn off the TV <laughs> and not text that easy RV number, which is 32094. Babe, just turn off the TV. Don't text. This is perfect for us. Perfect for couples, you know, yes. that are on the go. And is under 30 feet. Yes, and they're under 30 feet. Today, I learned that the reason you would have a 30-foot trailer or less trailer is to get into a lot of state parks, and you don't need that big, huge rig to haul. So, they are awesome for couples like me. <laughs> Or us. We're going to pass it off to Chris Young, who yeah. has got our travel trailers well, under 30 got, feet. Chris. Tell you what, this is a great thing about being here at the Ultimate RV Show, right? Guys, thank you so much. Chris Young here, and this segment is going to be all about travel trailers for couples that's going to be under 30 feet. So you're going to see a lot of rear bath models. But trust me, you'll have plenty of space to do some entertaining because even though it's a travel trailer for a couple, you'll be able to sleep a little bit more than two. Maybe you want to bring along the fuzzy friends, have some fun, meet friends out at the campsite, and just enjoy that experience. Now, You've been hearing it all day long here with the Ultimate RV Show. If you're interested in this unit, you need to text Easy RV to 32094 or drop me a comment down below, Easy RV, or give us a call 866-853-3510. I am standing inside one of my favorite lines, the Heartland Mallards. This one is the M210RB rear bath unit. You can sleep three people. Dry weight on this one is roughly 6,900 pounds, but take a look at the price. Starting at $19,995 or as low as $150 a month. If you have a loved one, you, your spouse, or you just want to go by yourself with the dogs, where can you go for $150 a month? Stay somewhere in your own stuff right here at the Ultimate RV Show. So let's start with this one. Now, these are a couple travel trailers, so you'll notice a lot of openness. For example, the privacy curtain that we have right here is what separates this king-size bed from the rest of the travel trailer, but we do have one on both sides. Plus, we have high ceilings in this, ducted air in here, so you're gonna have some of those creature comforts of home when you're talking about enjoying the weather. I got me a little storage box there. Plus, I got some mudroom storage down here. So if you like to hit the mountains, Maybe go to the state parks, do some hiking. You got a good spot right there for your hiking boots. And you know, that's the great thing for travel trailers under 30 feet. A lot of state parks limit that length because you'll be able to get into those state parks with ease. You say, man, I want to go hit, you know, just all those parks across the country. I want to check out all the good sand parks across the country. You're going to be able to do it in one of these travel trailers. 
beautiful shaker style cabinets back here with the frosted glass inlay side opening which is another feature one of those little creature comforts that you won't think about because when you have one where the door is going up sometimes you got to hold it to put stuff in so having the side open is nice got me some ward storage on both sides Got shelf space over here as well for the nightstands. So if you have a CPAP machine or if you have a reading light, you can plug it in and set it up over there. And oh man, Kev, I don't know if you can zoom in back there, but you got your 12 volt power right back there in the back. Right here in the kitchen, good countertop and prep space. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with that grill style cover, LED accent light. So if you need a night light, you got it there. Plus you got an oven. Because, you know, who wouldn't want to catch a wild pheasant and cook it while you're at your state park? I do it on Tuesdays. That's my average thing. Flush mounted microwave here. Plus, we got the shaker style cabinets. Rustic, that good, honest, love that feel right here. Plus, a solid wood cabinetry. You just look like you're in one of those rustic cabins. Now, there's no dinette in this unit. This is a couple's camper meant for reconnecting. Now you can set up a table right here absolutely and eat, but you have a plush sofa that folds out into a sleeper, large panoramic window right here behind me, got my accent lights, got storage up here with LED lights under there, and you're saying, Chris, this is really cool. This is, you know, I want to do more with my loved one. I want to do more and get out more. How, how do I get this travel trailer? Easy. Easy RV. We have people standing by right now, industry specialists, who are going to be able to answer those questions that I'm not going to be able to get to. They're going to walk you through these campers. They're going to show you all the options and talk to you about those great features. They'll tell you about the height on the slide right here. How much headroom do I have? What's the clearance? What's it like getting in and out? What can I do? Where can I go? Then they're going to let you talk to a financial specialist. That person is going to help you walk through the process. They'll send you the paperwork. They'll even have the envelopes pre-stamped so you can return it back. Then we'll have the unit delivered to you, set up, and give you the walkthrough. Now, you can also come in to Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. We're here. We're ready. We have safe distancing. We're taking sure that your safety is paramount. So when you come in, you don't have to worry about a thing. And if you got a trade in, we got you covered there too. But in these rear bath units, it's small, less than 30 feet, only got one slide, but you still have some creature comforts of home, like a Neo angle shower right here with the glass doors. I got my skylight inside, single surround, plus I got my little hose right here. So if I want to spray off or if I got the dogs with me, close it up because he's a little spastic, get him cleaned off. Open back up, hop out, got plenty of room on the plastic bowl with the foot flush. Got my single basin sink, mirrored medicine cabinets. So good space for couples. Because when you think about it, you don't need, you know, huge boxes. You don't need huge storage spaces because it's really just going to be a few of you, two or three. Solid door coming out. Continue on with the sink right here. Got my 70-30, 60-40, 70-30. 60-40. Kev, we're going to go 70-30 on that. Not good at the math. That's why you don't want me doing your taxes, but you want me telling you about RVs. Brush nickel high-rise faucet, pull-down sprayer handle right here. Plus, I got my window out there, so if I want to see what's going on in the campground, I can. More storage underneath. Good spot for the trash can as well. And one of my favorite features, the doodle station on the fridge. This is cool. This is a chalkboard. So you can bring the chalk in, you know, leave the message... Hi, mom, you know, do whatever you want. Let them know I'm going to the grocery store to pick up whatever, but large fridge, more than enough for a couple. But if you do bring a kid along, maybe, you know, you can put a couple of kids on that sofa. Uh, give them something to write. Give them some chalk. Let them have some fun. Pantry storage here as well. And down there, plus another little mud room if you need it for storing, you know, shoes, Whatever you want. I mean, that, that's the great thing about RVs. It, you know, it's not set in stone what each piece or we, what each area of the camper is for what. I mean, you have kitchen space, you got bathroom space, but if you want to use that for hunting or for fishing, or you say, you know what, you got your best friend from college, they're coming to town, and you know, the ladies are like, you know what, it's just us three, we want to get out and go have fun, we want to go sit at the beach, wake up and watch the ocean come in. How awesome would that be?
This is perfect for that. Lightweight, less than 30 feet, can comfortably sleep three. It's gonna be a great time. Got an awning out here with the LED light, the dual zone speaker, so you can enjoy the music inside and out. Double axle travel trailer. We got the 15 inch aluminum wheels and take a look at that extra wide berth in there. I could probably fit my giant noggin in there and that space is gonna help with that weight distribution. You're not gonna have that rocking back and forth. But then you say, Chris, I love the beach idea. Love it. What am I gonna do about my beach chairs and my storage? Cause that's a small camper. Heartland thought of that. King Kong size storage. Look at my boy pointing right to it. Look at the space we have here. Finished off, extra large, extra high storage here. This is the table that I was talking about that you could set up on the inside. Plus, making setup a breeze, you have powered leveling jacks for the front and the rear. It's nice having them here because something happens, maybe you do have a kid or you have a dog coming by, you know, they might bump it and, you know, cause the axle to go off or, or cause the, the jack to go down a little bit. So having it here, a little bit of security, but the ease of having a powered leveling jack makes life so much easier. We got the magnetic anti-slam here as well. So all of this, and once again, I didn't even get a chance to touch on all the features, but this camper right here, the 2021 Heartland Mallard 210RB. Sleep up to three, 6,900 pounds, as low as 1995. That's what we're starting at right now, or as low as 150 a month. You can't beat that with the Ultimate RV Show. Now, you might say, hey, Chris, I love that floor plan. I love that layout. You know, I like how that's set up. Do you, do you have one that maybe we can switch here and there? Yes, you can. Can I get one with this, you know, automotive, low profile, aggressive front end where I can get the aerodynamics, the painted fiberglass with the running lights and the twin 20 pound LPs and the power tongue jack because I just like convenience? Yes, you can. Easy RV to 32094 right now. Drop me a comment down below. Easy RV. Give me a call, 866-853-3510. Here's the deal. The process is simple. Somebody's waiting to show you one of these that's close to you. You got a trade-in, we got you covered on that as well. They're gonna walk you through. They're gonna give you all the options, answer all your questions. Make sure that what you pick out is right for you. Paperwork's then gonna be sent over to you. Envelope's gonna have a stamp on it. Don't have to worry about even paying for that. Then when it's time, this beauty is gonna be delivered to your campsite or to your home or a beauty like this. Not a beauty like this, but a beauty like this will be brought to you and you will have that professional walkthrough as if you were standing right there in the dealership. Easy RV is beautiful. But you say, you know what, Chris, I love it. I like how all that's going, but I wanna see it in person. That's fine. Come on out to Camping Warden Gander RV. Your safety's paramount. But here at the Ultimate RV Show and Easy RV, it's all about showing you these travel trailers that are for couples for under 30 feet. I got another one coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite here at the Ultimate RV Show. Dave started opening a box and none of us uh, ha are familiar with this piece of equipment. So we decided to all hang and find out what we are looking at. Yeah. So. Yeah. Everybody kind of go, what in the world do we have here? And I said, uh, let's just hang out and we'll all talk about it. So this is Valterra's RV stabilizer. I uh, was lucky enough years ago to have the Valterra reps come out and uh, they sold a bunch of these in the store. They were just blowing over the door and I, was, I had to go over and listen to the whole set. And they basically set it up for us so you could actually see what was going on. And I can't believe how many customers came back and said, this thing really works. So I wanna make sure that you heard that. This thing really works. No matter what it looks like, how, how it sets up, it is great. Um, very lightweight, uh, very compact. It, fits right inside this box when it starts out. So again, it comes with a storage bag as well. So very easy to put away, take back out when, when you need it. When you're setting up your RV, this is one of the most sturdy and effective um, stabilizing systems that are out there. Again, you're like, what, how, in the how's that possible? But again, you get it right underneath like your steps is one position and then you can get a second one and put it behind the bumper but the uh, one of the steps will kind of keep that bounce and stuff that's going on inside uh, and that rock it'll actually stabilize that and the one in the rear will keep that really keep that side to side motion you were talking about it with the kids so i know you want anything you can do to keep them from driving you crazy inside the rv so this is one of those must have scenarios so must have is, scenarios. these are going to run parallel under yeah pretty much right camper. under the side of a camper right underneath the side it'll actually go under there and so do you recommend more than one on each side? Like say I have 
a 40 foot fifth wheel. They're sold in singles. So here's the thing. You can always take one, add it. If you need a little bit more, add True. another one. But normally they only recommend you need the two. One, in the, one on the side, one in the back. Of course, you're going to know where the most, uh, most movement is in your right. RVs. Uh, wheelbase could be in a different place. Fifth wheels, of course, have a lot more rock in the front. So, you know, based it on what your, your needs are. So that's one of the benefits. You just buy it as you need it. So again, add one, add two. Uh, again, if you really like to get one of these items, you can uh, comment camp at the bottom. Uh, you can text camp at 32094, or you can call 866-235-8751 and get you one of these. This is Valterra's RV stabilizer. All right, so. Yeah, and the price regularly is $64.99. And for the Ultimate RV Show, you can get this for $52.60. And Good Sam members are coming in under $50 bucks for $49.97. Um, and like you said, even if you need two, you're still under $100 oh, for, for two of them. Definitely. See there and have one of the best stabilizations that's out there. Yeah, so we've had, through the Ultimate RV Show, we've had a lot of different options for um, stabilizers. So this will just kind of add add to it. And you can text camp down below, or I'm sorry, t comment camp down below, or text to 32094. Give us a call at the 866-235-8751. What kind of RV do you think they're going to feature next? I'm excited Ooh, to see. Uh, there's going to be some pretty ones out there. there. Some new ones are popping up right now. You having fun, Ian? Loving it. Absolutely. This, this is a cool, cool thing. I like that. It makes sense. I mean, it's something that's so simple, you know, using the lever action, using the, uh, the, the tie here to be able to pull it together, pushing that up. It, sometimes it's the simple things, you know? Yep, yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. It's time to do more of what you want, where you want, with the all-new EU2200i generators from Honda. They're quiet portable, and now packed with 200 more watts of stable power and all new features. Plus, parallel another EU2200 for twice the power, with long run times, outstanding fuel efficiency, and the same reliability you expect from Honda. It's power you can trust. RVing is the best method of travel. It's easy, safe, fun, and affordable. Did you know you can get an RV that can be towed by your car or SUV and sleeps five for less than $5 a day? That's less than a foot-long sub or a fancy cup of coffee. See America for less. With over 35,000 RVs to choose from, we have an RV for every lifestyle and budget. Click, call, or visit Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. We want something newer and a better fit for our lifestyle. We've got solar and satellite internet. We have five boys and we live full time in our RV. We work out of our RV every single day and so having it be white and bright makes it feel a million times bigger. It's an amazing feeling that you can't replace. Honestly, we now feel like we're really home. Discover your home away from home at Camping World. Chris Young again at the Ultimate RV Show. Once again, this segment is focusing on couples travel trailers that are under 30 feet because sometimes you don't need a whole lot of space when you just want to take that loved one out and do some reconnecting. The one that I'm in right now is the all new 2021 Heartland Prowler 240RB. This is a rear bath model where the whole entire back wall is going to be dominated by a bathroom. So you have plenty of space. But if you notice, even for not having a slide, I got really good connection space. Look at, I got my jackknife sofa over here on the off-camp side with a huge panoramic window with wood balance, little storage shelf up top. And I'm sitting here seated at the booth dinette, which can reduce down and easily sleep one person. Just like the sofa right there, jackknife's out, it can sleep one person. And I'm thinking, you know, those morning coffees. You ever watch the sunset come up on the beach? Get that morning coffee? Imagine sitting here with that loved one, just you guys. You're out, you're reconnecting. You've worked so hard this year. It's been such a wonky, weird year. Wouldn't you love to just get out with that loved one and get away from everything and say, hey, let's, let's just us go to the beach. Let's go to the mountains. Let's just pull it up in grandma's driveway and just get away from our house for a minute. We're staying in our space. We're seeing America the safest way possible. Right now, we have industry specialists standing by to help you pick out something that's going to make that happen for you. And if you're saying, yes, 
because I don't want to put on my clothes to go to the hotel or get on the plane. You can get in your pajamas to drive this. It's fine. It's your RV. Text Easy RV to 32094 or leave me a comment down below. Easy RV or give me a call 866 853 3510. They're going to walk you through the process, answer your questions, help you pick the one that's going to be right for you based on what you want to do. So ask those questions and say, hey, I want something I can do with me and the loved one, but I also want something that maybe we have a kid or we have a dog, or I want to set up as a hunting cabin, fishing cabin. I just got property. I want to do seasonal camping. They're going to walk you through it. Finance folks are going to help you get financed, send you the paperwork. Then we got people that are going to deliver the camper to you, set it up for you, give you the walkthrough, and let everything be taken care of without you even having to leave your couch or camp chair. Chris, I got a trade. We got you covered there, too. We're going to give you the ultimate RV show trade value on your trade. Not going to let you walk away without being satisfied. I want to go see the dealership. You can do that too. If you want to come in and see this unit, you want to sit right here on this comfy dinette. You want to take your Chris size coffee mug and you want to sip your coffee while you look out that window and think, this is a cool camp setup. I could see myself enjoying a reconnection spot right here. They're going to let you do that safely and securely. Rear bath model, this Prowler 240RB, which is right now starting at $25,995 or as low as $195 a month. Once again, that's less than a car payment when you think about the grand scheme of things. For a space like this, I think I've had apartments that didn't have bathrooms bigger than this. Plenty of leg room on the bowl. I'm not going to be cramped either way. I got my single surround shower right here with a skylight my curtain and these are on those curved rods because uh, you know this unit doesn't have a slide on it so this right here just gives you the feeling of having more space big skylight corner notches got my spray nozzle right there now if you do take the dogs this has a little bit of a tub surround you got that little lip down there and you can spray them off and get that clean just got to watch out large window on the back vent fan and skylight right there plus i got solid shaker style cabinets right here with the graphite or matte black finish got my storage shelves there okay i don't know if you can see it but they're pretty deep here you go let's see there we go all right so it's about that long if that helps you out now over here on the sink we also have a large single basin Got my mirror, I got my hangers. That's one thing my wife loves. She loves having hangers. You know, where am I gonna hang stuff? And some storage underneath as well. But the rear bath models are great because you get that separation of space as well. Sure, under 30 feet, we can get into the state parks. A lot of them limit travel trailers to be in 30 feet. But having something like this, you feel like, because it is closed off, you have a pretty nice apartment. I mean, take a look. Come over here to the kitchen space. I got right here in the middle, going from the front bedroom wall all the way around to the off-camp side, a big L-shaped kitchen. Plenty of prep space. I'm not going to be cramped if my loved one or my partner wants to come to the fridge. I got a 50-50 stainless steel bowl here. I got a designer backsplash. I like the look of that. That's like a metallic. You know, you get the strobe lights going off of that. That's going to be a fun time. Got a power port right here. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with that grill style cover and the glass grate. Plus I got my oven down there. So if you wanted to do some baking, some cooking, plenty of spaces there. Dometic fridge, <clears throat> which runs off of both gas and electric, does have the automatic switch as well. So when you're going down the road, your stuff doesn't, you know, rot on you. Got my roof mounted AC with quick cool. That also has the ducts there. So if you come back from a good hike or you've been out at the beach and you say, oh man, I need to get that cool. Open up that dump right there. That air is going to come down. That's going to be a good time. Storage up over here. This is also my entertainment center. So if I wanted to put a TV, we could put it right here. You got the backer and your connections, plus some frosted glass inlays on my cabinets, giving me some storage options. But you know, once again, with this being a couple's travel trailer, um, <clears throat> sure. You could sleep, you know, three, four people on this one easily, uh, maybe five if you have kids, uh, but you don't need a ton of storage if it's just couples. The space is meant for moving around, being comfortable and reconnecting and getting those little creature comforts of home, especially if you're just discovering how great it is to go camping or you say, you know what, I do want something to take my loved one out in. 
but you might not be thinking about, oh, well, we need room for X, Y, and Z, or we actually have a special coffee maker that we want to take with us. Talk about the things that you need and how you want to use your camper when you're speaking to your specialist. Got some storage right here as soon as I walk in, as well as a shelf space here. So if you wanted to put plants, I mean, you could charge your phones. This could be a coffee station too, because you got the power port right there. And once again, this is the all new 2021 Heartland Prowler 240 rear bath travel trailer. Master bedroom is separated with a solid pocket door. I have windows on both sides of me. So if I want to get some cross breeze, I can. Got mirrored ward storage over here. Plus I got the nightstand over there, got my power port. So if I needed a CPAP machine or if I needed a reading light or just wanted to plug in some phones, you got your stuff right there. Got the storage right there underneath the bed. So if you want to put, you know, your, your bags, your gear, you know, maybe you want to use this as a hunting or a fishing cabin or uh, you set this up and say, nope, this is going to be the ladies getaway. We're going to use it for us. Girl, put your shoes in there, line them up, go to town. Got my lip there, TV backer here, power and cable right here. Actually, my wife picks on me because I have 13 pair of Tony Lama boots. And I think she only has one. So I'm no one to talk about shoes. Coming outside, we got the solid steps, the extra large grab handle for security. And this is where when you get to camping, camping gets fun. The outside, it's where you're gonna spend most of your time anyway. You don't realize it, but you do. So you want some options to make it not only comfortable, but fun as well. We got a large awning with the LED light right there. We got LED backlit speakers giving us that dual zone. If I wanted to set up a TV, I could, because I got my cable connection right there, and I got my power port right here. And as far as convenience, now, once again, all these travel trailers I'm showing you in this segment are you know, under 30 feet. So this one, for example, 6,900 pounds. Talk to your specialist about that. This is my vehicle, this is what it can tow. Make sure they understand what you have. As a matter of fact, you can bring it in and they can check it out for you and tell you, hey, this is what you can tow. That's a step that's free, easy, just like Easy RV when you text it to 32094. I got myself a double axle travel trailer here. Even have the LED light. I don't know if you can see it there, but this, this one is lit underneath. 15 inch aluminum wheels, those Dexter Easy Lube axles makes life easy. Pivot arm here on my awning, so if I need to adjust the pitch, I can. Power leveling jacks on the front and the back. That also makes life a whole lot easier when you're talking about setting up and getting leveled. I mean, just look, you just push the button and there you go. Let it go down and do your thing. Come around to the back, got my four x four sewer hose storage, my spare tire. This one is also set up for uh, backup camera. So you see the little Furion thing right there, that's your backup camera prep. And those arch ceilings right there with those three inch nozzles, that's gonna help keep the rain and the snow, the elements off the top of the camper. Those nozzles are gonna make sure it doesn't go on the awning or you when you're having a good time. Unless the kids are running around, that air condition is going, they might get you know a couple drips every now and then. But that's okay, it's part of having fun. <clears throat> the Ultimate RV Show is about helping you have fun with the RV lifestyle. Up here on the front of the camper, we have our finished off pass through storage. As you can see, you also have your hand crank there if you need it. But having that finished off just gives it a nice, nice appearance. And that's a good spot for your, you know, your chairs, your tables, your beach gear, your hunting gear, your fishing gear. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, power tongue jack, also a good convenience to have when you're talking about setting up at the campsite. But for a travel trailer that's less than 30 feet, it's a rear bath with a big rear bath back there. You say, Chris, I love it, but what about, can we switch this and that? Sure, you absolutely can. If you love this one, the all new Prowler 240RB, easy RV to 32094 right now, because this one's starting at 25995 or as low as 195 a month, and it's not gonna stay there long. Plus, it's gonna get gone but we have one that's right for you. We got over 19,000 RVs just waiting on you. Give us a call, come on in and see us if you want to, or just text Easy RV to 32094. We're gonna make sure we get you an RV that you and your loved one are gonna enjoy getting out and reconnecting on. That's what the Ultimate RV Show is all about. I got another couples travel trailer coming up for you here in just a minute, hang on. 
Thanks, Chris. Wasn't that just the cutest travel trailer you've ever seen? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Maria, you're married. That would be great for you and your husband to take a trip, right? Yes. Yes, it would. You know, I was looking at those and I was doing a little math. <laughs> and for under $150 a month, right? that's cheaper than the last hotel I stayed at. Exactly. I mean, you can go to the beach. You can go to the mountains. And here's my favorite part. You can take your dogs, right? I have two dogs, which I absolutely love. And I know that they would love one of these travel trailers, which are perfect for couples and dogs. I know I have some dog lovers out there. So definitely, definitely a huge bonus. It's so hard to find a place to take your dogs. It's so hard to find dog-friendly hotels. Take them with you. Have all the comforts of home under $150 a month. It's a no-brainer. Exactly, Bria. And if you do see anything you like, don't forget to text Easy RV to 32094. Our show specialists are standing by ready to help you. So, Bria, you can also call that number on the screen as well. Make sure you check that out. Yes, they will definitely take care of you. They can get you set up. They'll show you, you know, walk around like we're doing here today. And you can get those pa that paperwork mailed to you. You don't even have to leave your couch. Comes with a prepaid envelope. But you know what? Let's talk about giveaways. I was about to we, say. We already gave away an RV. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know if we were supposed to do that. And I'm not sure we're supposed to do this. But, but we're we, got another another we, we got another giveaway. We got another giveaway coming. So, Let's let's see what Chris has. He's got some more couples travel trailers that are awesome. So let's send it over to him. Check those out and then come back. Make sure you're registered at the ultimate RV show.com. You've got a little bit to do that. Make sure you hop on there, get registered. Chris, show us what you got. Go ahead. Oh. Hey. Here we are, back at the Ultimate RV Show. What's up, it's Chris Young. I'm just hanging out. You know, I get so excited because the team that we have is fantastic here. And Fritz, check this out over here for me. Yes, I'm gonna get to this camera. I'm gonna talk to you about Easy RV. But I wanna send a shout out to Gracie. She's one of our wonderful people that works for us. She knew that I liked the garlic bread. She came in here and she toasted me some garlic bread in this brand new 2021 Keystone Premier 23 RB. My girl, <laughs> thank you. Actually, it's foam. But I still love you. And if you love this unit right here, you're going to have to act fast because we're looking at travel trailers under 30 feet that are for couples that want to get out. Why under 30 feet? A lot of times state parks have restrictions on length. So if you want to make sure you don't have any limitations on where you can go, staying under 30 feet is a pretty good benchmark to keep in your head. Sleeps three, dry weight 7,000 pounds. This one, you got the residential queen size bed and it starts at $30,995 or as low as $226 a month. Let's check out this one. RB stands for rear bath. And the Keystone Premiers, this was their like uh, original upgraded, I guess, awesome, fancy, lightweight line. I mean, just, you take a look at the Premiers, there's so many amenities from home and such beautiful light on dark accents, but it's still bright and airy. Look at the single surround residential shower that I have here. Large skylight giving me some headroom. Plus, I got these domed ceilings, which is going to make it the appearance and the actuality of having more headroom. I'm not cramped side by side. I got my suspension, almost indestructible sh shower door right there. Plenty of prep space on the bathroom, too. Stainless steel sink, stainless steel fixtures, and porcelain bowl with the foot flush. And look, I am not cramped at all here. Love it. Got my shelf there. Door right there, so if you wanna put a trash can, you absolutely can. Got my medicine cabinet with the raised lip right here. Solid wood, the shaker style cabinets with the hideaway hinges. Plus we got the little storage right here. So I know it's gonna be kind of tough to get in there cause you know, it's tight. But with these rear bath units, especially this 2021 Premier 23RB, uh, the whole back wall is dominated by the rear bath. I even have some pop-in storage right here. Look at that. Look at it. That, for a couple? Holy smokes, put a pillow down there. I can sleep in there, man. That is some great space. So they think about a lot of things, Keystone does, that would be beneficial for folks who are going out camping. Because you might be first time into the lifestyle. You don't really know how much you like it, what you need. So you want to talk to those specialists. We have industry specialists right now standing by, ready to help you out. All you got to do is text EZRV to 32094. Drop me a comment down below, EZRV. Give me a call, 866-853-3510. Or you can even come in. We are open, Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Safety is paramount, security is paramount. So we're going to make sure we keep it at a distance and we keep you safe. 
But we're going to answer all those questions. We're going to get everything that you need to make sure the camper that you get is the one that's right for you. As soon as we walk in, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to see right away we have ourselves a pantry storage or ward storage, however you want to do it, with the adjustable shelves. Got me some more storage down below. Now, this unit can easily sleep three people. Uh, if you have kids, you could probably say four because with the booth dinette I'm going to show you here, you could probably get two kids over there. I'm going to walk over to the campsite kitchen first. Got my entertainment center right here, TV on a swivel, my component shelf, my Fury and Command Center right there. Plus, I got more storage. And take a look at these solid cabinets, these drawers on the full extension ball bearing drives with the brush nickel fixtures, just solid wood, solid construction. Why solid wood? Why solid construction? Well, unlike press board, wood isn't going to absorb the moisture and expand. So having the solid wood construction, that's just something that you, know, you should always look for. We also got the AC right here with the quick cool. You want to get nice and chilly. Open that up when you cut the AC on, that, that air is just going to dump out on you, get nice and cold, then you can close it off and the air will come through the vents for you. Come over here to the seamless, solid surface countertop. Once again, I like how everything in here is light and airy. I mean, it seems like it's a bright country farmhouse almost. But if you take a look at those countertops, you see the little specks giving you that dark contrast. To me, that's just residential and appealing. Flush mounted, three burner cooktop. Let me move my Gracie loaf right there. Got my oven right here. I do have a little accent lights. Got my glass cover for the cooktops. Love it. Flush mounted microwave, shaker style cabinets here with the frosted glass. This is one of those units that if you were looking for something, how can I put it? What's the best way to put it? If you and your loved one want to go out and you want to go out in style, you're used to creature comforts of home that you're not willing to give up. Getting something like this, a Premier 23RB, is where you need to stay. So if you like this unit, you say, Chris, I'm, I'm with you. I love the upgraded residential features. I love the appeal. I love the decor. I love the fact that this is a booth dinette so that when we do go out, if we end up making friends at the campsite, they can sit here, hang out with us. We can have fun, laugh, reconnect, and just get back to loving each other because when we go RVing, that's what it's about. So if you like this one, 2021 Keystone Premier 23RB. 7,000 pounds is the dry weight, starts at 30,995 or 226 a month during the Ultimate RV Show. That's less than a car payment for you and your loved one to get out and enjoy life. This reduces down into a sleeper. Plus, I have a huge drawer right there that is on the full extension on the ball bearing drive. We got it on both sides. Plus, those these plush cushions are comfortable. They reduce down into the sleeper. I got a huge fridge. This is a GE fridge freezer combo. Look at the space that we have there. That's good for a couple. That's good for a family. I mean, you could go to the lake and drain it of fish and be good right there. Come into the master bedroom. If we do have somebody staying with us, maybe it's a kid, maybe it's a friend, uh, or maybe it's the fuzzy friends. You are separated from all of that with a solid pocket door. Got the large bed with the storage underneath that's divided. So if you wanted to put gear down there, if you want to put shoes down there, you absolutely could. I also have, and I'm going to get out of the way for you, buddy, so you can kind of see. We got shelf space right here. I got drawers and I have ward storage. Once again, that frosted glass. I love that frosted glass that they put in there. It's just residential. It almost looks like a window pane. I like, like the little metallic look. That's really cool. And first, I don't know if you can see, but right back here in the back corner, you're going to see we have some corner notches. We have shelf space. I got another shelf space down here and dual USB charging ports and power ports on both sides. So if you had a CPAP machine or if you had a reading light you needed to put up, you could easily put that stuff right there. And not to be outdone with the all new 2021 Premier 23RB, right over here on the campsite, we have ourselves a laundry chute. 
So if you come back from the hike or you guys are super active, come back from the beach, you know, maybe your trunks are still wet, you can put a laundry basket down there because it's accessible through the pass-through storage and drop your stuff and go. So that way you don't have to worry about it. And if you want a TV, got your backer right here, your key TV connections. Key TV is another innovation by Keystone where they've combined all those signals, your cable, your, your uh, satellite, all into one. So all you do is plug it in and you're not chasing cables throughout the camper to get your entertainment. Once again, one of those little things you need to think about when looking for your unit. So if you like this one, you love the farmhouse style sink with the high nickel, high rise faucet, brush nickel fixture and the sprayer handle you want that countertop space you want the pop-up charger you want the entertainment you want the booze dinette the rear bath this is the one you need to get a hold of right now text easy rv to 32094 or just drop me a comment easy rv we're going to help you pick through those options and find the one that's right for you so lightweight I mean, we're looking at seven thousand pounds and when we come outside once again it's about the entertainment how about an outdoor kitchen Right over here, you have metal prep space, which is easy to clean. So let's say you go fishing. You do it, you have a great catch. You can do all your cleaning out here. You got your sink, power ports, even have your key TV connection. So if you want to set up a TV, you can run the plug right here. Got my little mini dorm style fridge. They got it taped off closed. Got a little shelf space. Even have a light, so if I'm doing this at night, I can see. And then when I'm ready to do some cooking, pull out the grill. I got myself a suburban two burner cooktop. So you could do that stuff out here and not have to worry about taking it inside. Not to mention when you're out here under the giant awning with the LED light, you can have fun with the friends and family. They're going to want to come hang out because you're going to create that ambiance that, you know, hey, it's, it's inviting. You're having fun. He's over there grilling burgers. She's over there cooking this. She's over there doing that. You'll be surprised at how awesome the RV family is, the RV community. When you go to that first campsite, not only is everybody so helpful, if you forget something, hi, you don't know me, I'm Chris, but you know, I, I didn't bring X, Y, and Z. Oh, here, let me help you. They also are so knowledgeable about features for the RVs. Oh, we found out after camping for a couple of years that if you do this, it makes life so much easier. That's that thing that once you get out there, you're just gonna absorb and love. And that's what's awesome about going RVing. Now, let's get back to this camper here. Cause we got the Premier Ultralight by Bullet, double axle travel trailer. You got the 15 inch aluminum wheels. That suspension is also gonna make sure that when you're going down the road, you, you know, that weight's gonna be a little bit more evenly distributed. You're not gonna have that bouncing back and forth, up and down. Got your power port right here. Big old pass through storage over here finished off plus we have the light here and if you notice over here i don't know if you can see it or not we have a pegboard so if you're the type that you know hey i have some premier fishing rods i really don't want to have those knocking around inside my storage get you some hooks and just hang it on there we also have a heated and enclosed underbelly on this one fiberglass end cap with that rough rock guard twin lp tanks here power tongue jack, power leveling jacks. The premieres make sure that you have those creature comforts of home that you know, you're not gonna miss, not only for home life, but also for camp life. Come around here to the other side of the pass-through storage, and I'll kind of finish that off with what I mean. You have your external command center right here. Fresh water, city water, black tank flush, winterize, winterize here. Got the external sprayer or external shower. Right here are my leveling jacks and my key TV connection. This is where you plug everything in. And you say, well, Chris, what am I going to do with the cables? Yellow porthole right there. You can run everything through. Anti-slam, magnetic. You can lock it so all of your connections will be safe and secure. This is a great unit. If you're a couple and you say, yes, I want to step it up a notch. I want to get some of the best of the best. Uh, this is one that I think me and my loved one could enjoy when we go out camping. And we don't need anything over 30 feet. We don't need anything over 7,000 pounds. But once again, talk to your specialist. They're gonna help you with the towing. They're gonna help you with the options. And this one, starting at 30,995 or as low as 226 a month, that's an ultimate RV show price that is ultimately gonna make you happy at the end of the day. Text Easy RV to 32094. Get yours, get it locked in. Now I'm showing you travel trailers under 30 feet for couples. And guess what? We got another one coming up in just a minute. So hang on.
Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, joined by my good friend David. We are at the Ultimate RV Show with an amazing product, one of the most popular generators, the Honda EU2200i. David, tell us why this is so popular, why so many people love it. Well, everybody knows the name Honda, nothing runs like a Honda. That's okay? exactly right. So, I mean, you can't, can't fail when getting one of these. You're gonna keep going, it's gonna run forever. Uh, that's the biggest thing you always know when you're talking Honda, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, you get a three-year warranty on them, so you know they put their they put their stamp of approval. Say we know it's going to work. Yep. Uh, the 2200 watts. Uh, this guy will run all the little power things that you need it to run here and there. Uh, we also offer a companion, a companion Honda. Yes, sir. Uh, it's it's a great little extra model that you can put the two together, parallel them together, and now you have you know, 4,000 watts yep. that you can power your RV with. And, okay. and the reason I like that, you know, a, a lot of people are like, well, you know, why do the double when you can just get, you know, a single 4,000? But here's the thing, is these are so much lighter to carry around. And I'm telling you, I would much rather carry two 2200s than lug around to 4,000. carry a suitcase 000. in each hand or one suitcase or try to carry this bulky thing in front of you, which many can't. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And on top of that, there's the quietness of it. Oh my goodness whisper quiet i mean I'm, i don't know if you've ever heard one of these run i actually uh back in my, my day had, <laughs> had a honda underneath the table and had a blender up top and everybody's like how are you running that blender is it battery operated i mean of course the blender being way louder than the generator yep. and i cut it off and they they still look at me i'm going you don't hear the generator <laughs> so that was what was powering my, mar my for my margaritas you know? yeah so, yeah so that's what you get with the honda we need it's to go so camping more quiet. often there you go <laughs> <laughs> so lightweight Super quiet, will run forever. Uh, Honda name, I mean, you just can't, you can't beat it. Really well, and that's, you know, when you talk about the uh, the decibel level, right? I think it's it's under it's under like 50 decibels. I mean, they say that it's under a uh, a normal person's conversation. What we're doing right now, which, exactly. Which, what we're doing right now, you literally, the generator would be trying to compete with us. Yes. In fact, everybody says Ian's pretty loud. Yeah, which it, I that's what about. I was gonna say. So <laughs> everyone tells me I'm loud, so I'm sure my <laughs> decibel level's way up so there. So I try to stay up with him too, but you know, definitely. <laughs> um, pricing on this one, folks. Amazing pricing for the Ultimate RV Show. Again, one of the most popular generators for good reason. It has the inverter, super quiet, lightweight. Folks, you're looking at $1,199. That's a great price on an amazing product. In order to claim yours, you know, we have limited quantities. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you lock it down, especially if you're just getting into RVing. You're gonna want the capability to be able to boondock. You'll want to call, text, or comment. The phone number to call is 866-235-8751, or you can text CAMP, C-A-M-P, to 32094. Another option, you can comment. Whatever platform you're watching on, just comment CAMP and you'll be able to pick up your Honda Generator EU2200i for $1,199. And there you have it, folks. We have great pricing here at the Ultimate RV Show. Ultimate product for ultimate price. Singing in the rain, I'm singing. Oh, gee, Fritz, come on, man. You can't scare me like that. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young, just hanging out and currently checking out this awesome 2021 Rockwood Mini Light 2511S. I'm showing you travel trailers that are less than 30 feet that are for couples. This one, I came in here and I was like, wow, this is a great separated space. So if you're looking for something like this, and let me tell you, just looking at the amenities and the room that we have here, you're gonna have yourself a good camper in this one right here. But starting at $32,995 or as low as $240 a month for a travel trailer less than 30 feet that sleeps three, has a dry weight of 6,800 pounds and tons of features and amenities, jump on it right now. Text EZRV to 32094 or leave me a comment down below, EZRV, or give me a call, 866-853-3510. These rear bath units are great for couples or even, you know, couples with dogs, couples with small kids, because you have separated space, but you have one of the most important parts of your home upgraded, the bath. This whole rear of this unit is dominated by the bathroom. Just take a look. We have solid glass doors on my single surround shower right here. Shower kind of tub surround. I got plenty of headroom. I got a skylight in here, so I'm not gonna be cramped up and down or left to right. Plus, I got my water nozzle right there if I need it, my corner notches for my soaps, my shampoos, all my good stuff that I need here. Plenty of space. Solid porcelain bowl at an angle with the foot flush. Now, usually you get them, you know, kind of going 
straight up and down. But with the angle, just take a look at the leg room that I have here. So you're not gonna be cramped. It's gonna be comfortable. Got a large shaker style cabinet, solid wood with the brush nickel fixtures back here for my pantry. Storage inside the bathroom. Deep shelves as well there. Got a little spot right there to put some of my bath stuff, toothbrush, toothpaste, the whole night. Even have a good spot for a trash can right here. But beautiful, large single basin sink. Even have a built-in shelf for toothbrushes, cups, you know, the whole night. Brush nickel fixtures there. Medicine cabinet. And one of those things that I think is just a, one of those you got to tip the hat and say, oh, that's a nice touch. I have a brush nickel towel holder right there. One of those little things that you don't think about when you go camping, you think, oh, where am I going to put my towel? You're so used to having that towel holder there. When you don't have it, you go, oh, okay, well, now I just got to leave the towel laying there. Once again, another thing that might make you have the experience a little bit better. If you have a good experience, you're going to want to do it again. And that's what Forest River thought of when they did these Rockwood Mini Lights especially this 2511S. They thought about the things, the little features, those creature comforts of home that are gonna make you have a good experience when you're on the road. Walking into the main entry, I got me some hangers here, some pantry space and also ward space. You can remove those shelves and there's a hanger up there. So if you want to hang your clothes, you could. Got my HVAC controls here. Now, this is where you can do the relaxing and reconnecting. Because I mean, let's face it, uh, this has been a weird time and we've all had to make some adjustments. We've all had to go through some challenges. And I think right now is a prime time for you to reward yourself and reward your loved one. You're probably stressed to the max and you're probably thinking to yourself, if something doesn't give, you know what I mean? So why not get something that you can reconnect with that loved one in that's yours? You take it with you. It's the safest way to see the country. They're lightweight. You can easily get your space separated. You can sit here and just talk about how great it is to be together. You got an entertainment across from you, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. But these are recliners. Oh, they got the lumbar. They got all types of stuff. These are beautiful. I got the heat. Kick this out. Open up those windows behind me and beside me. Let the cross breeze go in. And I'm going to fall asleep when I'm talking to my loved one right here large panoramic window. I got me some space right here. Fold down. And those, those hinges right there are going to hold it there. Very nice touch, very nice feature so that you're not trying to hold one up and put the stuff away that you need to put away. Plus I got my power port over there if I need to charge my cell phone. And you know the great thing about Camping World, we have over 20,000 campers ready to go. So if you like this one, but you say, oh, can I get that with a dinette or, you know, can I get the, you know, but yes, absolutely you can. Easy RV to 32094 right now. Or drop Easy RV down below in the comment or come by and see us. Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors, we're open, we're ready. We're going to make sure that everything is safe and secure. We're going to socially distance so when you come in, you'll be safe. You don't have to worry about a thing, but you can see these campers in person or have somebody virtually walk them through for you and go through the finance paperwork, mail you the stuff then the camper can be brought to you and you can just enjoy camping. Entertainment center right here with a sound bar built in. This is on the swivel. I got my main command center here, so if I wanna run the lights, cut on my water heaters, my pumps, run my slides out. Yes, I have a fireplace here as well. Just another upgraded amenity. You do have a great furnace on this and a great AC, but this is gonna help take that chill off. Need some more space and storage? Got it down there, solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives. Got my little entertainment center here that's dual zone, plus I got the DVD player. Come over to the kitchen, and this is where, when you're making the meal, you're doing the cooking. Oh, sorry, I hit the igniter. Got the oven, got the three burner cooktop right here, but oversized oven too. Flush mounted microwave, but when you're talking with the loved one, just look at the space that we have here to reconnect. For instance, as a matter of fact, I tell you what, I'm gonna step over here. You step back there for a hot second. Look at the space that we have to reconnect. This is room, this slide that houses the fridge and the recliners opens this space up and it makes you feel like you're home with your loved one. That's what it's about, those creature comforts. Speaking of creature comforts, 
Check out this Dometic fridge that runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch, 10 cubic foot, and we have that paneling that just gives this a cabin upgraded style feel. Split sink, I got my drying rack and my cutting board right there. Stainless steel, undermounted, brush nickel, high rise faucet right there. Plenty of countertop prep space here on this seamless solid surface countertop with the rolled -it edges. I even have an extension here, so if I need some more space, I can pull that up and use it as a cutting board. Got a solid pocket door separating the bedroom from the rest of the, of the RV. And I want you to take a look at this, just swoop around. Tell me that's not nice. Tell me you couldn't see yourself right here. You pull up to the beach, you pull up to the lake, you pull up to the mountains, you just pull up to your neighbor's house and you got the sunrise coming up, you got your cup of coffee and you're enjoying looking out that window as sun's coming up or sun's going down. You and your loved one are just sitting here hanging out, reconnecting and enjoying the RV life and going, why didn't we do this sooner? I've been asking it for a couple of years now. More of those shaker style cabinets here with the brush nickel fixtures, side opening. I got ward storage on the sides. Solid surface over here for my nightstands, plus I have drawers. And we have a wardrobe on a slide right behind us here. 12 volt power charger over there. Check that out, man. I don't know if you can get in there, Fritz, but it's a beautiful thing, look at that. You got shelf space and you have ward space. So you got a little mini wardrobe on the slide. The 2021 Rockwood Mini Light 2511S. This one's starting at $32,995 or as low as $240 a month. It's less than a hotel stay for a couple of nights. Less than a plane ticket to go see the family. This is one you might want to take a look at. How nice would it be to just get out, go somewhere, have a little vacation? And you know the great thing about RVing? You make your own vacation. You say, you know what, Sam, let's go. Let's go hit the road right now. We're going to go fishing. You can go, you don't have to plan it out. You have to buy a ticket for anything. This is your unit. This is your house that you can just take with you. That's the great thing about camping. Entertainment space out here. You see, we got the seamless sealed windows here. I got my dual zone speakers, TV mount, my backer, my cable port right there, my power port here. Got the tires all shined up on them 15 inch aluminum wheels, that extra wide berth. Plus this is a sealed and enclosed underbelly here too. And you got the tire pressure monitors on here as well. So that's going to help out. If you do have some leakage or whatever, that's going to be a good thing to have. LED light strip on the large awning. Side opening anti-slam pass-through storage that's finished off and lit. Plus, I'm going to come around to the front side of this one. I'm going to close this off. Oh, this is going to be tight, Fritz. Twin 30-pound LP tanks. Got our power tongue jack right here, power leveling jacks. Take a look at this fiberglass end cap with the running light, the window right there, privacy window. And over here on this side, we got the other side of our pass-through storage, but our city water connection, our fresh water connection, and you got some doors here that unfortunately I can't really open that well, but those are your accesses to your, to your, uh, to your stuff, your cables. If you need to get to the pipes, you need to get to the cables. You even have some premier access right there that's covered off. Freshwater drain down there. This is our slides, the wardrobe slide. And of course, that living room slide that has the fridge and also has the, uh, sorry Fritz kind of ran into you there. Um, the whole nine. So, beautiful, under 30 foot, perfect for couples. This is the 2021 Rockwood Mini Light 2511S. And if you're thinking, Chris, I love this one. Can I get this one or can I get something like it? Yes. Here at the Ultimate RV Show, this one starts at $32,995 or as low as $240 a month. But if you text Easy RV to 32094 right now or just drop us a comment, Easy RV, one of our industry specialists is standing by to help you find that unit get that unit delivered, handle all the paperwork, the financing for you. Ultimate RV Show is about making you enjoy those RVs. I'll see you in a minute. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. 
Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Camco's RhinoFlex 15 foot sewer kit is constructed of 23 mils of durable polyolefin reinforced with a steel wire, making it the world's toughest sewer hose. This ready to use kit comes with a pre-attached swivel bayonet fitting and a transparent elbow fitting with detachable 4-in-1 adapter, making for an easy, secure connection from the RV to the sewer station. The RhinoFlex's secure compression feature makes it easier to use and to store. Camco's RhinoFlex 15 foot sewer kit. Get yours today. Camco. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. To be out here, I mean, literally the most relaxing thing there is. Sit in a tree and just watch and see all the stuff that's going on around you. The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a travel trailer that sleeps five for only $98 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. Officially the year of RV travel. RVing is fun, safe, and affordable. At Camping World, we have an RV for every lifestyle and budget, starting at less than $4 a day. See what the buzz is all about. Click, call, or visit Camping World today. Thanks, Chris, for showing us that Rockwood Mini Lights. Bria, that is such a cute camper for couples to take trips, right? It is. It's so cute. I think I need that one, too. Like, I, I think I have a favorite and then I see another one, Chris, or Ian shows us another one. I'm like, oh, I need that too. I think I, I could be in trouble. Your husband's in trouble. You know what? <laughs> These are perfect for my dogs too. And honestly, sure, your dog. at under $150 a month, <laughs> you can't go wrong. She's not She's not wrong. So if you see anything you like, you know the you know the word, easy RV to 32094. It is the ultimate RV show. You know what we have that's also ultimate? Ultimate giveaways. Yes, we do. I am excited about this. I want this one. This, this is exciting. This is super exciting. So this time we are giving away a Coleman go-kart. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is going to be awesome. And you were mentioning something about this. Go exactly. Yeah, you can load it into the back of that Raptor toy hauler over there. Oh, and yeah. Just hit the road. It's my kind of style. If just you ask saying. Me. Just sh <laughs> shameless and, uh, plug here. So uh, do you have the winner? I do. I do have the name. I think we need a drum roll for this. Though. <gasps> you ready? It is. Okie dokie. <laughs> Mr. Brian Armstrong, you are our lucky ultimate winner today and our new friend yes definitely we <laughs> want to ride so make sure you check your email if you guys haven't already make sure you are registered at the ultimate rv show.com make sure you get registered to win these giveaways that's how you win yes 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 yes. so super awesome so oh so bria in uh rv world it's kind of common for rvers to name their campers and uh what would you name yours da -da -da -da. black betty black betty black like betty bram lamb yeah, <laughs> Ram Lamb, Ram Lamb. You know what I would name mine? What would you name yours? Easy RV to dun, 32094. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> or you can call that number also on your screen. So it looks like Chris is uh, about to show us the first look of a brand new Wildcat. So this thing is a complete makeover, top to bottom, inside and out. We are super excited to see this. Let's pass it over to Chris so he can show it to you. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. What's up, everybody? It's Chris Young with Robert Mays from Forest River Wildcat. So uh, we wanted to show you this first look at the completely redesigned. This thing's completely been completely redone. gutted. 2021 Forest River Wildcat 
336RLS. Now, if you like this unit and you say, Chris, Robert, I got to have that one, you need to, as soon as humanly possible as in yesterday, text EZRV to 32094, four letters, EZRV, or just leave me a comment down below, EZRV, or give us a call, 866-853-3510. Robert, did they get a chance to tell you about what EZRV is? Did anybody explain to you what no. it was? This is the coolest thing. So, you know, modern technology. Right. I can call you halfway across the country. I can send you a picture through email halfway across the country. We can microwave a meal in 30 seconds. Wow. We've taken technology to the next level with EZRV, allowing people to get an RV like this one or even this one from the comfort of their home or their camp chair. All they got to do, text EZRV to 32094, drop the comment. Okay. We got people standing by right now that are going to walk people through virtually any unit they want to see. So like we're in a rear living fifth wheel right now, high profile. Right. Somebody says, I love that look. I love that layout. The specialist is standing by right now. They won't be able to, you know, we won't be able to get to all the questions. Right. You know, they'll have more. Right. That person on the other end though will help them. Sure. Then they're going to set them up with finance. Mm -hmm. Finance is going to send them the paperwork and include envelopes that are already pre-stamped so we don't have to buy wow. stamps. Sweet. Yep. It's going to be home delivered to the campsite or the house. And they're going to show them the walkthrough right there on site as if they were at the dealership. Fantastic. And then all you got to do is go camping. That's great. That's easy RV. Oh, that's easy. That's, I mean, it's as easy as taking a look at the decor on this 336 RLS and going, wow. Wow. That's Dude, I love the wrought iron look that they right. have on the balances. That's the yeah. first thing that strikes me. Well, tell me, why the redesign? Well, a number of things. Uh, when we de when we got the Wildcat brand moved to a different plant, mm -hmm. they one of the things they wanted to do is totally redesign it, make it a little bit more modern than sure. most RVs sure, that sure, you sure. typically see. Yeah, so Wildcat's been around for a minute. Wildcat's yeah. been around for many, many years. Yeah. And so that's what we've done. We've taken uh, the whole interior, redesigned it. It's not your typical RV interior. No, not at all. Uh, it's more, if you look at most of the new modern houses nowadays, the mm -hmm. more expensive modern houses, they all have base, or most majority of them have basically the same type of interior. Right. And I love the dark on light interior. Yes. I, I, I like that touch. The, the designer did a really good job. You see, like right here on the back wall, you're going to notice right away it's dominated by this sofa. Now, is this a trifold? Yes. Yeah, it folds okay. out. It's so a that's, a, that, that's a easily sleep two people right oh, there. Oh, yes. And I noticed, I noticed when we sat down, you got the ducting coming out through the bottom. Right. That way the, the duct is in the floor, sure. comes out through the bottom, and, and so that it hits the living room, living room area, we got to put a vent. My wife would love that because <laughs> she would just sit in the middle and just put her feet. Yeah, she would absolutely love that. What a great idea. Yeah. It's ingenious. So trifold here. Wow, this is plush too. Yes, very nice. It's comfortable. You got large, huge windows. Yes, and that... the dark tinted windows. Mm -hmm. So there's nice tint to it. A lot of storage. One thing about the yeah. new Wildcat is what we've done is we've tried to take every little nook and cranny and put it in into a storage area. Right. I like the frosted glass inlays that you have here on the shakers. It's a great, plus you got the, the hideaway hinges, right? residential, right. good feel, good look. That Once again, that I, I can't get over the dark on light. It's a great just appearance. Got my push button LED or my little LEDs here, Right. large windows. And you know, one of the things I like about rear living fifth wheels, you have so much space back here mm -hmm. to do whatever you want to do right. when you're out and about. But at the end of the day, when it's time to just crash, everybody wants to watch a little bit of TV. Sure. You open those windows up. You open the windows. You got your recliners. You got everything. Let the air flow, man. And it's Let's everybody's, <laughs> you know, after like five, six minutes, everybody's gone. Yep. So before we get over there, because, you know, as soon as I sit down, I'm going to be out. Tell me about this off-campsite entertainment center, because I feel like something special here. Well, there is. Uh, number one, you, you got the large, big uh, flat screen TV. Right. You got your sound bar. You got your fireplace. And what's behind here, man? <laughs> this thing lifts right up. Oh, get out of town. Have storage. You can never have enough storage. No, you can't. So this gives you not only hidden storage, yep. so you can hide some stuff, but it gives you additional storage. That's the spot you would hide the Girl Scout cookies Ooh. that you don't want anybody else to eat. That's you know? right. You the touch my peanut butter patties, you get oh. Ric Flair. That's just what's going to happen. <laughs> Love this back here. 
Yeah. What a great design. And then it's, you know, it's a good way to maximize the use of the space too. And yeah. that is solid. Yeah, see most most that's not a most most RVs, what they do is they just mount a TV against the wall. Sure. Well, we did the same thing. The only difference is is we brought brought the wall out just a little bit mm -hmm. and mounted the TV to have storage behind it. Now see we got the integrated sound bar. It looks like it's dual zone, yep. uh, Bluetooth, mm -hmm. uh, USB. And the fireplace. fireplace. Now, I, I'm a huge fan of these fireplaces because you got the multi flame settings, right? Multi lights, and a lot, now the heater on this. We got a thirty five thousand or thirty thousand BTU. I think it's thirty five thousand. Yeah, thirty five thousand mm -hmm. BTU, um, which is going to heat extremely. Oh well. yes, no, it's plenty. But with the electric fireplace, it even helps it more. Yeah, and, and you it cut gives that you on, the, gives you that feel of being in a cabin or being. Yep. Out in the woods or what have you. You, you got to look at it over there. I mean, the field, the just the different colors flowing. And when you get to the watching the TV 10 minutes into the game, I got the windows up, the cross breeze going. There you go. Oh, and next thing you know, and that little fireplace gives you a little bit of that heat. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and it's that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, when you think about it, that's what's great about, you know, not, not, not only the real living style. Mm hmm and I'm such a fan of fifth wheels anyway, but I, the the rear living style paired with the RV lifestyle. It goes together. It goes together. It's, it's so great because you're enjoying where you're at. You're enjoying the company of the people that you're with, and it's just about getting out and getting away, but still having some of those creature comforts of home. Right. To be able to enjoy it. Well, we um, all we all like, to, most of us like to go camping, right? We yeah. like getting away from the hustle and bustle of the everyday. So, uh -huh. but we all want our niceties to go along with us. My chair at home doesn't even have massage <laughs> in it. Uh, let me tell you what, if feel vision was invented, I would send this to you in your homes right now. This is nice. This, this fifth wheel has a lot of amenities that you typically only find in units that are costing 10, 20, $30,000 more. Right. And this, you can save you can right. save the money and still have all the niceties. Sure. I, I mean, the uh, just being in that is plush and comfortable. I don't know what that material is, but that is comfortable. That feels like yeah, Elvis a, Velvet. I don't know. It's a Thomas Payne. Yeah. It's a and plush it's, recliner. And it's, and it's lighted and lit yep. at the bottom. Heat and massage. Right. I mean, just a great touch. Okay, so we move from the rear living portion into the eating and living portion. Now we have opposing slides on this unit. That's correct. Which you know you're gonna see pretty common in a lot of rear living fifth wheels, which allows you to have a island Island's kitchen, kitchen, which this was also redesigned from you guys as That's well. That's correct. And it's it's got a big the big sink, you got the extension on the faucet. Yep. Love the high a rise. A lot of storage. Mm -hmm. A lot of storage. Tons of storage up up and down. Those shaker style cabinets, I mean, that's beautiful. Well, once again, the light on dark and solid surface countertop too. Yes. Tons of prep space. I mean, that's, you can't really, hopefully that the camera's showing it up, but the, the, the white, almost ivory look with the little specks, the sparkles, that's beautiful. Yes. That, that really makes the kitchen pop a little bit. It does. And, yeah, the and this nice undermounted farmhouse sink, man. And now, the, is this, I call this graphite, uh -huh. but it's, it's matte black. Is that what the- Yeah, the I think is? that's the- yeah. Proper matte black, but it's it's dark and it's, it's dark. It's very very yeah. nice looking. And one of the things that we do that a lot of a lot of them don't do is a lot of them still put only put the three burner stove top, no yeah. oven. We put the oven and the microwave. So you I like got that. you got a combo set up here. Yeah, where a lot of them you just typically you have just the burners and a, and microwave. a microwave. Yeah. It. Well, with this, um, you're gonna notice on the uh, drawers here, solid wood construction, brushed nickel fixtures all the way around. Uh, Full extension on the ball bearing drives on these two. So solid, good. I mean, that's sturdy. The way I grabbed it, I was like, oh, okay, oh, yeah. that's right on. Grill style, uh, grill style great here on the three burners. Got the oven right there. Could bake me a turkey if I wanted it. <laughs> I mean, it's just, and the way this is recessed, it almost opens up the space a little bit more. Makes yes. me feel it's like it's. It feels roomier. It does. It feels way roomier. The residential accents, like with the LED lights and the sconces there, right. great touch. This is a 10 cubic foot? 10, 10.7, 12 volt uh, refrigerator. Oh, wow. So it's okay. It's low voltage, 12 volt refrigerator. Works perfect. Love, yeah, love yeah. the space. Nor Norcold's, mm -hmm. they Norcold's do a very good brand. job. Yeah, they do a really good job. Plus, you got plenty of room. I mean, mm -hmm. if you 
end up hitting the lake and draining it of fish. You got plenty of room to plenty, store it. Plenty, plenty of spots. storage there yeah. for a bunch of How many of fish. steelheads we catch last <laughs> week? <laughs> so I didn't catch any. <laughs> a nice pantry area. With the and pre-lit. It, and it's already lit. Yep. Got the raised lip on there too, mm -hmm. which helps keep stuff in, in place because when you're traveling, you get set up, you open up the door, ah, everything falls on you. That's, right. that's not a good, not a good thing to have at right. all. Once again, that dark inlay on that frosted glass here with shaker style cabinets. And you continued kind of the wrought iron appearance. On, on the wallpaper yeah, and all that, like and all that. the wallboard, you bet. Little coffee station here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the light that's from my pantry. Right. Okay. Got me a power port. Mm -hmm. Got my air controls right there. Oh, your air conditioning, your your uh, 12 volt, your breakers, all that's right there. Easy nice. to get to. Good mudroom storage too right mm -hmm. there a little bit if you needed it for like shoes or whatever. Sure. And, and you know, it's funny. I, I tell this to everybody that uh, I get gigged all the time. You know, you're in a kitchen. That's where you put utensils. You're in a kitchen. That's where you put the plates. It's your RV. Hey. You're buying it. Use it for whatever you want. Right. Look, if, if I take this and I set this up as a hunting cabin. Right. Or I put it on my property down at the lake. And that's just, this is what I want to fish out of. I'm going to use this space right here mm -hmm. as a spot to put my lures. Right. Okay. Or I'm, I'm going to use the spot under the sink right here to put my grab and go bag. There or you put go. The tackle boxes or whatever I want because I bought the camper. Right. I'll do with it what I want. That's and right. And that's what's great about the RV lifestyle. You don't have to be stuck to, you know, oh, well, this only has to be the kitchen area. Right. The RV lifestyle is about enjoying it. You get out there and you do what you want to do and you have some fun. And at the end of the day, when you finish that camp cooked meal, you sit down here at the freestanding dinette with the extendable edge right there and you reconnect with the loved ones. You look out here at these giant panoramic windows and what's going on out at the campsite. That's right. And yeah, look, have my coffee. There you go. So, so Robert, tell me, how, how bad was the fishing last week? <laughs> Why didn't I catch anything? Well, what happened? <laughs> yeah, I'm not good. That's what happened. <laughs> I stink. One other thing. I know you're pretty tall, but if you notice, yeah. you didn't even have to duck. No. Because you're six foot five head, inch head clear. Yeah, this is, I, I mean, let me tell you what, getting up out of a seat and knocking your head on the slide every time, oh. that stinks. But it's also one of those small things, and I can't emphasize this enough. When you text Easy RV to 32094 or you drop us a comment, Easy RV, and you get that rep that walks you through the RV, they answer those questions that Robert and I can't get to. Ask them about those things. Say, hey, I'm six foot two. How big is the clearance in that slide? Because it's about enjoying the experience. Right. If you don't enjoy the experience, you're not going to want to do it again. So ask those questions. Let the folks guide you. We're going to make our way up to the uh, bathroom and master right now. I see I got my. My command center right here. Got my control panel. Now this, the control panel also comes with the app too, right? That is correct. So I can do my awnings, my lights, you my slides. All that from your app. That's beautiful. You bet. That's a good feature to have when you're talking about being out and about and. Right. Oh, I got a. It's raining. Let me. Yeah, let and you awning can out. hit the uh, app. You can put the awning out. Put it in. Mm -hmm. you can, slides the whole nine. The whole nine yards. Love it. Oh, metal grab handle coming up the stairs. It's a good touch. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, let me why don't you come by me here, Yeah. and I'm going to go slide in the bathroom, and let's see here. Let's get Kev up here somehow. I'll tell you what, Kev, can you come by me? And, oh, this bathroom is so nice, I might not show it to you. This is where I'm going to stay, man. What? Oh, hey, Kevin. So, here we are inside the bathroom. Got plenty of legroom and space right here on the plastic bowl with the foot flush, but take a look once again at that graphite slash matte black finish on the single basin sink. Beautiful residential features in here. Robert, I'm a big fan too. Single surround shower. Yes. Got the corner notches and the stands. Plenty of headroom in here too. I'm not gonna be cramped at all, but the, the matte black, the graphite fixtures, the touch on this, the design, very appealing. Got plenty of room. Got storage down there. I got hangers back here on the back wall. You don't know how beneficial these are until you have them. Plus storage right there for my towels, my toiletries, additional stuff, fishing gear, my camper. So, all right, so while we walk into the master, why don't you tell me a little bit about what we got in here? 
Well, this one uh, has the optional uh, front bedroom and it's uh, air conditioner. It's all ducted. Oh, sure. 50 amp. Yeah. Yeah. 50 amp. Yeah, 50 amp. Yeah. Uh, it's all ducted air and you also have the quick dumps. Love it. So you can, instead of going through the vents, you can quick dump it here, which cools down the, the area Super quicker. Super quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's why it's called quick. I like the barn style doors. Barn too. style doors. Very nice touch. You got the huge front closet in the, in, in the front. Yeah. With the regular rail, not, not the, the little hook. Oh like yeah. Yeah. Tank. That's a metal bar. Yeah. It's got plenty of room. Plenty of room in there. I can get shoe, in here. Shoe storage there. I got a power port. The power ports on both sides. And yeah. we got, uh, Kev, you won't be able to see it, but we are washer dryer prepped over yeah. here on this the side washer, too. Washer nice dryer feature to have. But this right here, the design mm -hmm. in this barn style door. And that make it look nice? Very nice touch. Yeah. It's it a very nice touch. And a lot of storage. More, more storage. More storage in the armor. A, a lot of them just go straight with a counter. Well, yeah. We didn't. We, we put a, some, some additional storage in drawers. And we got the large. Mm -hmm deep drawers right there and once again that is uh solid wood construction right full extension on those ball bearing drives and you know another thing i'm gonna give you a tip of the hat to you put the mount on the wall already. that's correct mm -hmm. yeah it makes it easy nice touch yeah you know what else makes it easy easy rv easy RV. which if they text easy rv to 32094 they might be able to get this in their rv when they pick this up there you go don't forget easy rv that's why i'm here Power ports right there. Cable connection is right here. Large windows. So if I wanted to check out what's going on or watch TV, I got my windows over there. Padded headboards. This is a great layout. Hey, you know, this is sweet. This I is tell you what, when they told me the Wildcat was doing the redesign for 2021, mm -hmm. obviously you think, okay, well, you know, what are they going to do? I'll swap a sink out. You guys totally redesigned took it. the ball and ran with it. And then out of the eight models that we're currently building, six of them have a front windshield. Oh, okay. Right on. Okay. Yeah. This one and the 368 MB are the only two that do not because right. they have the slide uh, bed. Right. But the rest of them will have the front windshield. And the great thing about full profile fifth wheels too is right up here in the end cap where we are, you have a lot of headroom. Yes. Um, well, and with fifth wheels in general, uh, as, as we make our way outside, you're going to get a lot of uh, features that, you know, you wouldn't really get inside of a travel trailer. Right. Um, the weight distribution when you're towing is a whole lot better because that weight is in the bed of the truck. It's not bumper to bumper like with a travel trailer. As we make our way out, got the large extended grab handle, the solid step over steps. Well, the other thing we do too is we put a 30 inch door instead of the 26. So we have a little wider entry door than, than a lot of fifth wheels. I must have had extra donuts. I didn't even realize that when I was coming through. And then we have the four step right entry area instead of three a lot of them only give you three right this is four that way it gets you lowered to the ground and i noticed we got the 15 inch aluminum wheels down here dexter easy lubes right with the road armor suspension with the road armor you bet that's going to help with the shock absorbing that's going to help you know make and the sure. ride yeah exactly yeah, right make uh, the ride. okay so i got external if i want to set up a tv yeah your tv i got my power we'll hook onto here yep got my cable speakers a good touch now tell me about the awnings do you know how big these are yes and see instead of what we do on ours is is your two big awnings mm -hmm. are standard pretty much everything in this unit is standard we only off, offer just a very few uh options right like the second air is an option because right. we have a lot of dealers in canada sure. and what have you sure and then one air is fine Sure. But in most places most people get the second air that's an option right your your auto leveling jacks is all standard mm -hmm. okay it's all standard except on the small the the, the three small ones that's an option right but, but well i mean yeah the, the smaller the, yeah the bigger units have all the uh the leveling system that's standard i mean these awnings with the led lights the adjustable arms and they're the soleras plus i got my look at this pass-through storage oh yeah i have over here abundance enclosed and this, now is this this is heated too look we're going oh, yeah. ducted oh yes it's all heated and enclosed uh, wow. And the underbelly is also heated and enclosed with ad with additional heat pads. I like the addition of the strap locks for keeping stuff in place when in transit. Keep that is a little thing that goes a long way when you're running. That's a great touch. Oh, absolutely. And you know what else a lot of people use this for? If they have little pets with them or whatever, oh, they got leash? them on a leash. Yeah. Put the leash right there. 
Well, that's a great idea. <laughs> Think about that. Battery disconnect right there. Power Easy port. To get to. GFCI on the other side. I got a 30 pound. I got twin 30s. Twin 30s. Twin 30s. Um, sealed. You got the 3M glass. 3M uh, graphics on it. It's mm -hmm. five year warranty on the 3M graphics. Right. Slam door latch. Magnetic and anti slam. And it's all one inch styrofoam. It's That's one of those things where the kids, when they get out, they don't shut stuff nice. They, they don't. Just <laughs> wham! <laughs> Having that is, oh, you know how many doors were replaced? Oh, uh, little Ernie running around <laughs> slamming my doors. <laughs> Set up for the side camera, too. Mm -hmm. That's a great addition. This is one of those things where safety and security. Right. Um, you know, and I always. I've always liked not only how Forest River does their manufacturing process, you know, because you guys reduce and reuse a lot. So you've really shrunk that carbon footprint, you know, for the impact on the environment, but also for the savings, you like to pass it along right. to the people. So I'm, I'm a fan of that process. I think you guys do a great job there. But having this added, another step towards safety and security. Absolutely. Cut the blinker on, you get to see what's in that lane. Yes, sir. That's huge. And when you're towing, having this Rhino pin box, that's going to help life out a lot makes towing so much easier and hooking up so much easier because like I mentioned walking out, you're not back to back with your travel trailer towing like this. With the fifth wheel, that weight is more evenly distributed inside the bed of your truck. So turning and towing is a whole lot easier. Right. See, we got the automotive coatings here oh, yes. on the end cap, got the LED running lights. That 3M graphics package is, is nice looking oh, yes. too. Oh, and side opening over here on our storage. Yes, got the side opening. You got nice your autom touch. automatic leveling uh, system is right there. Easy right. to get to, easy to see. Got my solar prep mm -hmm. right there. So solar you got prep. solar panels, you can plug that in. But auto level, that is something that's, yes. that's a feature that, man, alive. You talk about, sure, it might be a little more expensive to get it, but yes. it is yes. worth oh, it. Oh, oh, Holy wow. smokes, is it oh, worth yes. it? Yes. I don't know how many, well, it's just like the old cars we had back in the day. Oh, yeah, that's with right. The, with the window. That's right. It's the same thing with setting up those jacks. <laughs> that's other right. way around, man. Forget yes, that. Sir. No, I'm too old now. I can't, I can't do it. Other side of the pass-through storage, you're going to see right here, we have the B&B command system right here. Got your color-coded, what does everything do from the tank field to the sanitization to the black tank flush, city water connection, the pump, the wastewater holding tanks. And our terminations are right down there. Right. But right here are the main controls for your dumps. That way you're not having to reach up underneath and try to find the valves. And yeah, all that or pulling off the side and all That's of a sudden right. that sewer hose slips. Yep. Not a good day in the park. No. <laughs> not a good day in the park. Uh, sewer outlets connections there. Walk around the back. It's just a beautiful looking fit. Oh, yes. Now, being high profile, obviously you're going to have more space. You're going to have more room. Right. Uh, we come around to the back. And what's nice about the back is we got the full length ladder. Yeah. Instead like of that. where a lot of them you don't even have, get a ladder. Or yeah. if you do get a ladder, it's a two piece ladder where you got to put a ladder on a ladder. Oh, right. right. <laughs> to get up on there. You guys took the extra step too, putting yep. the grab handles over the top. That's right. When, when, when you get an RV, you want to do roof maintenance and you want to do that, you know, at least if you can do it twice a year, that's great. Just getting up there walking it, checking the seals, and having that extra handle when you're going up, once again, security and safety makes it worth it. I see we're set up for backup camera. Set up for backup camera. Plus yeah. we have the arch ceilings with the three inch nozzles, making sure the rain, the snow right. doesn't fall on. It's got the hitch. It's got the uh, hitch in the back, mm -hmm. standard. Nice, just a good looking unit. And once again, if this is one where you say to yourself, okay, Brand new, first time ever seeing the 2021 Forest River Wildcat 336 RLS. Chris, I want that one. Okay. But I'm going to tell you now, it's going to be tight. It's limited. I think Robert brought me two, three. He's going to bring me 17 billion. But <laughs> if you want this exact one, you got to get on it right now. Text Easy RV to 32094 or just drop a comment. Easy RV down below. Give us a call, 866 853 3510. But if you love that rear living floor plan, right? You say, hey, I want a high profile fifth wheel. I want that rear living style. We got folks standing by right now. They're going to walk you through those units. We have them close to you. They're there. Easy RV is going to bring it to you. They're going to take that video, give you that virtual walkthrough, answer your questions that right. Robert and I didn't get to, tell you the ins and outs. What does this do? How does this work? How does that work? Is it big enough to have the clearance? What about the storage here? Blah, 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 blah. 
They're there standing by, ready to go to make sure your questions are answered. Then we have finance people standing by too. They're gonna tell you, here's what you need to do. Here's the best rates. And I'm gonna send you the paperwork in the mail and give you an envelope that's already stamped so you don't even have to send it back. Right. I stuck you with the check. I'm not gonna make you pay (laughs) for the stamp. The best part, they're gonna deliver that unit to you, give you that walkthrough as if you were standing in the dealership at Camping World. You're not gonna miss a beat. The best part, you won't even have to get up off your couch or your camp chair to get all that done, get your unit brought to you and enjoy camping. Stay in your fuzzy slippers. As a matter of fact, wear your pajamas when they deliver it to you. (laughs) There you go. Perfect. Why not? Why not? What an easy experience (laughs) with your cup of coffee, your hair in the curlers, and in your pajamas when that RV comes to you. That's what Easy RV is all about. That's all what it's about. If we can microwave a meal in 30 seconds, we can bring you an RV. Right. And that's what we're going to do. Text Easy RV to 32094 or drop me a comment, Easy RV. We're going to make sure your camping experience is the best that it can be. Robert, right. thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Ultimate RV Show will be right back. On the road or at the campground, full time or just for the weekend getaway, they're part of the family, which means no one gets left behind. At Camping World, RV travel means taking all of your best friends on new adventures, new explorations, without the hassle or the expenses. We believe it's the best America has to offer, and it's meant to be shared. Visit your local camping world to find your home away from home today. An RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. At Camping World, we've always been about helping you turn an experience into a moment and a moment into a memory. And we want to continue doing that just with a little more power. Chart the uncharted on a mini bike or go-kart. Explore the unexplored on a golf cart, UTV, or ATV. Coleman Power Sports. Now available at Camping World. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does, right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do is help new homeowners overcome this. Was oh, that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. If you have nowhere to sit, you have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. Sean Parr, Morgan McKenzie. Morgan, how are you? Wasn't this great to watch Chris Young? The guy's talking about these wildcats, Uh and it's like, oh, no, there's only a few of these. My favorite part about these, not only did they have every amenity you could possibly imagine, and this is new. We saw the brand new version. Uh, I love the wheels. On, I'm a wheel guy, so it has to look good as it's traveling down the road. We got right. wheels on everything mm-hmm. uh, out here this year. All right, you want to have a little fun with us? Let's go with Before it. Before we get into our next segment, uh, Morgan, we're going to do a little RV speak, RV or speak 101. Oh, man, I'm getting quizzed up here. All right, this is a quiz. This is a little trivia for you. You can play <laughs> along at home. RV or speak 101. All right, here is a question. What is a fiver? Is it A, a 50-foot campsite, B, a caravan of five RVs or more, Talking about a fiver here. C, another name for a fifth wheel RV. Or D, a quick midday nap. I would say D if it were me. D, I I don't know. I would be wrong. I'm going to go with C. And you would be correct. Another name for a (laughs) fifth wheel RV or Speak 101 because we're going to talk about some incredible fifth wheels. I'm here for it. Yes, we are. Oh, yes. So coming up, we're going to see Cedar Creek Silverback. Oh, yeah, if you like privacy like me, this is perfect for you, okay? Because they have a, a nice center room. Yeah, you can the greatest, get away. The greatest thing about these, and when you go into a fifth wheel, we were just over there checking out some of the newest brands and uh, some of the new manufacturers that we have here and some of the amenities that they put inside. I mean, from a massage chair 
to uh, fold out bar stools that, that just come out into this amazing center island, the lighting, uh, the background. And for the kids, especially when you talk about a family unit, they are spot on. Mm-hmm. But this particular unit we're going to talk about, why don't you go ahead and introduce it? Oh, man, we are going to introduce the Cedar Creek Silverback. It's going to be amazing. These fifth wheels, you're going to love them. Absolutely. Welcome to Fifth Wheels Built to Entertain. And folks, this is one of my favorite sessions because there are so many fifth wheels that we could have put in here. You know, there are toy haulers with party decks. We have rear livings like this one where it's just a beautiful rear living. There's rear entertainment. Basically, if you're a fun time, you're gonna be able to entertain, but we have hand selected a few here. I'm excited to take you through just because there are a lot of things that are just like the name says, built to entertain right in here. And what I'm standing in is the Cedar Creek Silverback 37 MBH. Now at its core, as you can see, this is a rear living, but what this actually is, is a mid bunk. And we're gonna be able to see that in a second. And again, when I talk about versatility, mid bunk is something that is very new and we'll see a lot of mid bunks. We have a session that's coming later with just mid bunk. So if that's what you're into, make sure that you tune in for that one. Uh, We'll have that one in a day or two here. But for this session, I wanna talk about what you can do, different ways to be able to entertain. And with that mid bunk, a lot of people just are very closed minded and they think, oh, well, you know, it's just gonna be for family. But as you'll see in a little bit, we have all sorts of options. So folks, as we go through this, remember to lock in the price on this unit, which is a great price here for the Ultimate RV Show, folks. We're starting at $402 a month. Simply text Easy RV to 32094 or drop Easy RV in the comment section below, or you can call 866 853 3510. So let's get into it, folks. The Cedar Creek Silverback. Cedar Creek has an excellent name throughout the industry. We talked earlier about Montana, very big name. Cedar Creek is right up there. Excellent brand reputation and for good reason. They bring high quality, excellent construction, beautiful design and amenities. We take a look right over here at the table. This is a pedestal style table. There is a leaf because of the beautiful decor here. I don't think I can lift it high enough to pull the leaf out, but you lift this up, you're able to pull that leaf out, gives you a little bit of extra room there. So if you wanna sit four people here instead of two, you can do that. And again, there is an electrical outlet right down below. So if you need to sit here and do some work, you know, or maybe just plug in a tablet, you have the capability to do that. One of the things I always say that I love when manufacturers do is this right here, and that is give me a view to my campsite. This is a campsite dinette, and this is what I love. Another thing that's really great about this, check this out. We talk about entertaining. I have seating all along the back wall. I have theater seats here. I have seats right here. You know, if we have four chairs, I can turn seats. I can hang out. I can talk to people. If um, I'm making snacks, I can still converse with people while they're sitting in the dinette, uh, while they're sitting on the couch, while they're sitting in theater seating. And you really just have a great space to, to do exactly that, to be able to entertain guests. Because when I go camping, that's what I like to do personally. My wife loves it too. You know, when we're at home, we like to host events. We host parties. When we're on the road, when we're camping, part of camping is making friends, guys. There's no better way to make friends than have them come on in and share a drink with you at the table. So as we make our way back a little bit, I talked about the theater seats, and you will see those here. Nice and plush when we sit down. You have cup holders in the center, USB ports to charge, and folks, they are power just like that lift the legs up we can just sit back and relax now this is when the entertaining is done right you're all done you just kind of go back and there it is just take a little nap in the chair maybe a hard morning right you're out working take a nap right there uh but really like i say the other cool thing about this is just the the closeness of all the seatings if someone is right here on the sofa you know we can we can be having a conversation if we don't want to turn the tv on we don't have to or Maybe we have a movie going. Maybe we have, uh, you know, the the, uh, game on, right? We can watch it right there. And everybody from all this seating is able to view that. When you look at the windows on the, the Cedar Creek Silverback here, you'll notice a couple things. One, they tried to go with a more residential look. You'll see that they framed it out with wood right here. They have the roller shades. Those are blackout shades too. So you are able to pull them down just like so, and that way it will black out the, uh, any light coming in and also, of course, provide privacy at night. Along the back is our sleeper sofa. This is a traditional sleeper sofa, and what I mean by that 
is when you lift the cushion off, you can see right here, you have the pull out bed. So that way you can pull it out. I'm sure that, uh, you know, everyone has slept on one of those a time or two. And it's great for, you know, if people are spending the night. Again, you're hanging out, you have a couple cocktails, have a few too many drinks, or you're just being safe, which thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, so, you know, you just don't want to drive home. That's great. We have a spot for you to sleep. Also, electrical outlets again. Now, this one right down here, I like this for two reasons. One is that it gives you uh, the capability to plug in, again, like a laptop or tablet. But two, you know, if you do have uh, some other kind of uh, like vacuum or something you need to plug in, you can use that. Now, this one has a central vac, which is probably what you would use, but who knows? Maybe you have a vacuum you love, right? It's right down there, easy to get to. Storage all the way across the top. You'll notice that they put decorative glass in the center, kind of help breaking up that wood look, I think is a great choice. And if you look up at the ceiling, folks, this is important too. When we're talking about entertaining, you will see that on both sides you have vents. And what that represents is that this one has a quiet, cool AC system. And with that system, the AC is 30 to 35% quieter. Now, why is that important to you? Because if you're sitting here and you're watching TV, you don't wanna have to yell over each other. Now, I'm a loud guy anyway, so I'm probably gonna yell no matter what if you ask my wife, but having that quiet, cool AC is absolutely wonderful. And remember folks, something like that, right? You, you probably wouldn't know that if you, maybe you do, but there's a chance if you saw that, you wouldn't know that's quiet, cool, but that's okay, because here's the thing. That's what we're here for. We have show specialists sitting around just waiting for you to text EZRV to 320, sorry, yes, 32094 or call 866-853-3510 or you can put EZ walking through during that, uh, the fifth wheels built to entertain session. I'm like, yes, I want to entertain. This is what I want. Perfect. Tell them what you want in it. Tell them some of the things you've seen. Be like, hey, I like the sofa in the back. I like the theater seat. I like the TV, but I want to, I don't want a residential fridge. I want something else. You know what? They're going to be able to narrow down the units and help you shop for an RV the most easy and efficient way possible and that's what easy rv is all about and folks again if you love this one if this is the one for you you can text that easy rv to 32094 and that will lock in the price for the cedar creek silverback which is starting at 402 a month Big TV, folks. It's a big part of entertaining, at least for me. You know, naturally, when you're at home, everyone sits around the TV. That's where they want to hang out at. Storage up top, excellent LED lighting there. And we have a fireplace right down below. You can see that uh, beautiful fireplace here. We'll turn it on real quick. There you go. So look at that. And you know what? Here, I'll show you uh, a couple different things here. One, and a lot of people, you know, may say this is overkill, but it's kind of cool, right? You can change the colors. You can also change the intensity. But more importantly, this one right here allows you to change the heat. So this is not just something that is just pretty, right? It is actually functional because it'll put out heat. And if you're camping a little bit later in the season, which with this camper you can, then that is a great alternative to running propane to heat the RV up. You also see the multimedia center there, a couple speakers. So you want to listen to music in here, right? You got the party going. You don't want to have the TV. Everyone's standing around having great conversation. Let's get some music going. That will allow you to do it right there. And no party, no entertaining is ever complete without snacks. So you have to have good prep space. And that's what you get with the Kitchen Island right here in the Cedar Creek Silverback 37 MBH. And that beautiful solid surface allows for the double bowl undermount sink, the high rise faucets. You have plenty of storage. You can see the bank of drawers running all the way down here. Plus you have additional storage underneath this spot for a trash can. You have sink top covers. Over on the other side, if you, if you really love to cook, you wanna get into it, here you go, folks. You have a residential style four burner cooktop. You can take these grates off, you can clean underneath. Look at this, drop that down. Look at the size of the oven. How many times have you been RV shopping? You open up the oven and you're like, this is tiny. Folks, not at all the case right, right here. If you wanna do some baking, you're gonna, I don't know, make some cupcakes for the party. There it is, you can do it. We have two pull-out pantries right here. You can take a look at that. So good storage over there. You know, you have storage here too. Maybe some uh, canned goods, something like that. Spices, be perfect for spices. Over here, you can put big cutting boards, things like that. If you wanna put your, um, your sink top covers in there, you can do that too. You have the microwave right up top. See some storage above that. And then of course, the pantry. Take a look in here, folks. Big pantry, you have pull-out drawers all the way throughout it. And did you see that? That is something I, I don't know if I showed that in any other drawers, but right here, slow close. You have slow close drawers all the way throughout. Here, I'll show you on this one too. There it is, nice and slow, folks. 
Making our way in, beautiful residential refrigerator. When we open this up, you can see all the space that you have inside. Now, residential refrigerator runs only off electric. The great thing about it, though, is it cools very, very quickly. You don't have to turn this on overnight. It's just like the one in your house. It'll cool down in a few hours, so when you get to your destination, everything is cold. And then you will see underneath, you have your freezer compartment right there, and then another one underneath. So a ton of cold storage here. The other thing I love about this is right here, and you're gonna say, Ian, is that another pantry? <clears throat> Excuse me, no. As I said, this one is a mid bunk. Take a look at this, folks. You can come right in here and you have a whole nother room. There's a couple of reasons I love this. One, this right here, this couch, turns out into a bed. It folds out to a bed. So if you have someone that, again, has a few too many, and obviously they want a little bit of privacy, maybe they don't want to crash in the middle of your living room, there you go. You can fold this out. You have a place for them to sleep. You know, if family comes to visit, they want a bed, perfect. They have their own bedroom right here. Maybe you're in the doghouse. Your wife is mad at you. Great. You have a place to sleep right here. Also, you can sit down. You have a TV right across the way. Hey, if you're sitting at home and you're thinking, man, I need a man cave. Folks, I have it right here for you, right? And right here in this Cedar, uh, Cedar Creek Silverback, you can sit here, watch TV, kick back, relax. You have a bed, you have excellent storage in here, uh, electrical outlet there as well. The other thing too is, you know, I, I know that this one is, like I say, kind of built for entertaining, but it's perfect for families as well. You know, if you have a big family and you still want the rear living, that's one of the great things about mid bunks. And again, as I said, we'll have a whole bunch more of them uh, in a later session. And that's, that's only touching the iceberg, folks. That's only the tip of the iceberg about what's available. We have 25,000 units on the lot available for you to see. And if you want to be able to shop those, you can do it a number of ways. Of course, go to the website. But one of the easiest way, folks, is just to text EZRV to 32094. That way we can reach out, see exactly what you want, and be able to specify it. And they can even give you virtual walkthroughs just like we're doing right now. Take a look right up here for me. Look at that. You have a stairway leading up into a loft, folks. You want to talk about sleeping, there you go. You can crawl right up in there, pass out. Excellent sleeping capacity. As I said, if you have a family, you want to put some kiddos up here, they have like their own little space. I guarantee you, my five-year-old would be elated to sleep up there. And I also have friends that would be elated to sleep up there. If we come right in here, you will see the bathroom, kind of a cool style sink, right? This is something that's a little more unique. Um, you know, I've definitely seen it in houses. I just haven't seen this style in an RV where you kind of have an offset faucet. No, no, just a little bit more stylish. Of course, I have the toilet right here, foot flush lover toilet. It is a porcelain bowl, so that way it's nice and easy to clean. And for the shower, let me take a step in here, folks. Look at all the size I have. I can, I can dance in here if I want to. There's a ton of room. I'm six foot. You can see how much space I have, especially with that skylight. You have the hand wand, you have shelves built in, and a seat in the back so you can sit down and shower, put your leg up there, be able to shave. Plus, you have a linen closet right there above your toilet and some robe hooks so it is very easy to be able to just grab your towel when you step out of the shower. Again, folks, text EZRV to 32094 to lock in the pricing on this Cedar Creek Silverback. Uh, beautiful, beautiful unit, certainly built to entertain, certainly built to sleep a lot of people. When we step into the master bedroom, take a look in here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You have the slide out bed. Now, the thing I like about a slide out bed is all the space that it provides. You can see right here at the foot of the bed, I have a ton of, I have a ton of space. You know, if I want to jump, get down there, start doing some push ups, I can do that. Want to do some jumping jacks? Sure. You have some hanging space over to the side. Maybe you have, you know, a favorite robe you want to hook up right there. Boom, done. Electrical outlets, USB ports for cell phones or CPAP machines, shelves built in. And then right up here, you ever wanted a walk in closet? Did you ever think you'd have it in an RV? Because there we go. Look at that, gone. Just a ton of space in here. You have shoe storage. If you know you have a beautiful shoe collection, you wanna show it off at the campground? Sure, go for it. Uh, you have all this space right here. You will also see right over to the side, you have washer dryer hookup. So if you do want washer and dryer, this is where it would go. And then you have hanging space in the form of the wardrobe there with the hanging rod. And folks, again, this is just the inside. There are so many features we're gonna look at in the outside in just a second. So if you like this one, make sure you text EZRV to 32 
2094. And again, we can help you compare. We will help you find the perfect RV for you and your entertaining lifestyle. As we step outside, I want to go to the very front. Let's start at the front on this one. So you have a, a gorgeous painted front cap right up here. You can see that, you know, you have the Cedar Creek Silverback Edition right up front. You'll also see the Rhino box right down below. Uh, now what this does is it helps with your turn radius a little bit. It's a little bit shorter pin box, right? So upgraded pin box there and we dive down underneath. Open this up. Folks, look at all that space. You wanna talk about storage? Holy cow, there is a ton of storage right there. Now, I actually wanna to go to the off-door side real quick. A lot of times, you know, I'll go to the, uh, the camp side first, but there's some things I want you to check out right over here. So as you look at right in here, folks, everything is super convenient. It's all just tucked away. You'll see that your valves are all insulated inside the body. And the reason for that is because as I said, you can do some cold weather camping here. You'll see you have manual controls for your hydraulic slide rooms. You have outside water access, black tank flush, easy winterization. And you know what one of the coolest things is? Take a look at this right here. You have a power cord reel for, well, your power cord. If you've never used one before, folks, I'm telling you, so this is a 50 amp cord. This is a pretty thick cord right here. And if it's cold at all, if I don't know if you've ever tried to maneuver one of these, but people compare it to fighting an octopus. Like it can be pretty tough. So that power cord reel makes it super easy just to roll right up in there. Let's head back around. I wanna show you here, we have auto level. Just touch of a button, the coach levels itself out. Folks, I don't know about you, but when it comes to entertaining, for me, I want to do it as soon as possible. I don't want to set up time. I don't want to take time setting up camp. I want to get there. I want to push a button, drop the legs, and then I want to rock and roll, right? I want to start pouring myself a cocktail. You'll also notice right there, you have side camera prep. So if you want a side camera, it's nice and easy to install because it's already pre-wired. And what does that mean for you? That means it's going to save you money because it's less labor, right? That's fantastic. And if you want a side camera, you know what? We can help you out with that. And here's the thing. You just have to text EZRV to 32094 and say, I love the Cedar Creek Silverback, but I want the side cameras on it. We can help you out with that. We can make sure we get what you need. Let's come on around here, folks. Take a look up top, we're talking about camping. Listen, it's not just restricted to inside. We can camp outside too, and I don't know why I didn't put the other awning out. I should have, I'm sorry, but you will see the big awning here. There is a second awning on the, other, or on the slide right there. So this whole thing, will have awning coverage and you have LED lights. If you're out here, you're hanging out, you wanna jam out to some music, you have outside speakers, you can do that too. If you have pets, you know, a lot of us like to take pets camping, no problem. You have a spot right here where you can tie them up, right, and still be able to keep an eye on them. Propane, we talked about being able to uh, run propane heat as well as cook, you got a couple propane tanks. And take a look at the storage. I know we looked at it from the other side, but right here you can see how much storage you have in that garage, that uh, big pass-through storage area that you have right there. Now I did mention that there was a, um, a central vac inside, I forgot to show it to you, it's built into the steps, but you'll notice this storage area right here as well as that central vac uh, exit area, so you have that there. And then you have the uh, beautiful steps, right? So these are the more ride step above steps, very solid. Same thing with this grab handle, helps you climb right into the RV. Dropping down low. So this is again, one of those things that you may not know. You see Dexter never adjust. What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, but I'll tell you what folks, if I didn't have time to tell you, do you know how you'd find out? Text easy RV to 32094 and our show specialists will be able to let you know, they'll be able to help you out. And if it's something you want, they'll let you know what units it's on and help you find it. So if we drop down, what it is is folks, so it's Dexter axles and they have the never adjust brakes. So a lot of people don't know this, but when it comes to maintenance, you periodically have to adjust your brakes. With these, you don't have to because every time you stop, they actually automatically adjust themselves. So it's just one of those maintenance pieces that you may not know about, but that we can help you out with. You also see the shackles right in between. That suspension system is wonderful. It's gonna help give you a nicer ride while you're driving down the road. So that way as you're hitting bumps, you're hitting potholes, folks, I'm from Michigan. I don't know if you know who the governor is. She may have made a statement about our roads and how terrible they are. 
don't know that they've improved any, but uh, that being said, um, you know, with this, it'll help, and that way you won't have broken dishes when you get to your destination. Coming around to the back side real quick, I just want to show you a couple more things. You saw the side camera prep. Look, folks, we also have backup camera prep. You can get basically full 360 vision on this thing all the way around. You have a ladder so you can get up on the fully walkable roof if you have to get the, up there for any maintenance, just want to clear off any sticks, maybe you're camping in the winter, you want to you know, get rid of some snow, you can certainly do that too. Again, folks, this is just one of a couple we have. We have two more that are lined up for you tonight. Uh, one of them is a little similar. One of them is very different, and I'm definitely excited to show those to you. So if you're looking to entertain, if you love to just have people over, have people in your RV, you want to be the life of the party at your campsite, we have RVs for you, and what's great, we have different price points. With over 25,000 products on the lot, folks, we have models to be able to fit every budget and lifestyle out there. Again, just text EZRV to 32094. That's 32094, or just drop EZRV in the comments section below. Every chef knows that travel and food go hand in hand. If you want to try new recipes, find the best restaurants, and discover amazing cuisines, then make Camping World the first stop on your culinary adventure. If you can make it in a kitchen, on a grill, or over a fire, then you can make it anywhere with your RV. Take your kitchen on the road with Camping World. Welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite. I'm Kaylin and we're here with David again. And we just wanted to kind of let you guys know about some um, cell boosters that we have, get you some Wi-Fi on the road. And to lead off, I'm gonna let you guys know that at any point during this, you can comment below camp or text CAMP to 32094 or give us a call at 866-235-8751 if you want to talk to a specialist. So David, will you tell me a little bit about the different options that we have here certainly, to boost certainly. our Wi-Fi? So we actually have two different uh, product brands, King and WineGuard. Um, this one here actually is designed for your cellular device. So everybody's looking for the, how do I get internet? How do I, how do I get that? Because now everybody's streaming you know how it goes with Netflix and whatnot. So got to find a way to do that. And also everybody wants to be able to still work, especially right now, you can work from your RV, yeah, right? Yeah. So let's get your cellular boosted up. Well, this is right here, maximizes that. You're actually going to get the signal boosted wherever you're at. So you're out in the middle of the woods somewhere, you're going to get your signal because this thing right here will actually extend it extremely well. So does this like plug in inside of my RV? Yes, we'll set this up inside. Uh, small installation, normally if you want us to do it, most definitely we want to want to do that, make sure it's done professionally. Okay. If you want to give it a try, you can as well, but we always recommend us doing the installations. Uh, but and we'll, we'll set it up in here. The antenna will go on, on the roof, so a small antenna, won't even be seen. And uh, basically pull that signal in for your, for your cellular, works with any cell company. Okay. Any cellular company and uh, provide you with the maximum signal. So I don't have to worry about taking the antenna down when I'm traveling no, or storing or anything. No, awesome. Just a short little antenna about that big. Okay, yep. awesome. And then this bad boy is a little bit bigger. Yep, now this is a little bit different. This is the 2.0 by Winecart. Uh, this one will actually take the Wi-Fi signal where you're at. So let's say you're at a campground that's providing Wi-Fi, but it's gonna be a little weak. You wanna actually try to boost that up. Now, the best thing about Wi-Fi is, the bigger the better because you're going to beat your partner the people around you so if they have okay. a little wi-fi booster and you got the big one you're going to get that 5.0 way better so you want to be able to stream everything you can you want to have that, all the television that you want without it you know glitching it out you want the big big boy okay so that's what you get with this the 2.0 so i do see in some campers some new campers there is the wi-fi inside does that pair with this if it already has it pre-installed it may already have a 2.0 on there, or maybe one of their other versions is the Air 360, uh, but it's going to have some of those other choices. Um, I will say though, with this, you can actually have it installed if you don't have it, and that's what normally what we're going after is that those folks that don't have it on their RV. Um, we have the 2.0 uh, with the 4G as well as the next step, which will basically be marrying this inside of it. Okay. okay so WineGuard has has done that, so you have the best of both worlds. Boondock with your with your cellular, so it can provide that uh, Wi-Fi signal that you need. You can hotspot, uh, or you have the Wi-Fi at the campground. 
So we can disconnect, but not disconnect. Exactly. I gotcha. You got it. You got it. I gotcha. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are looking at the WineGuard 2.0 here, and your price is $249 for the Ultimate RV Show. And also the King LTE Signal Booster is a $499. And if you want to put these two together for the 2.0 with 4G, you're looking at $369 through Sunday for the Ultimate RV Show. And once again, comment below CAMP. Text CAMP to 32094 or just pick up the phone. We can chat with you. Call in 866-235-8751. Signing off the ultimate campsite. Thanks, guys. And welcome to the Sprinter Limited 3570 LFT. Again, folks, we're talking about entertainment, talking about fifth wheels that are built for it. And as you will see, this is a very similar floor plan to what we had with the Cedar Creek Silverback. But again, as I mentioned, not everything is built the same. We have some different options here. You'll see that things have kind of shifted. We have the kitchen on the opposite side, the entertainment center on the opposite side. You'll see we have some different amenities in here as well and a different price point. So as we're going through and we're looking at it and you're saying, you know, Ian, I like that. You're going to be ecstatic to know that this one is starting at $386 a month. You simply have to text Easy RV to 32094 and you will lock in that pricing that th starting at 386 a month for the Ultimate RV Show. You can also put Easy RV in the comment section or you can call 866-853-3510. Well, let's get to it, folks. Let's talk about entertainment. And as I said, when we were in the Cedar Creek, for me, part of entertaining is making snacks, right? Because I get hungry, especially after I have a drink or two. So, you know, you have to have the ability to be able to do that. And as you can see, you do have the space over here. But plus, folks, take a look at the size of this island. You have a huge island right here, just a, a really long island. And what they've done is they've actually shifted this up. And that allows you to still have theater seats across from the TV, we'll see in just a moment. But by shifting it up, it gives you kind of a almost separate living room feel back there. And as you'll see in a little bit, we still have another space. So uh, they definitely did a great job, especially for the price point on this one, folks. And, and this is no, this is there's nothing fake about this. This is true solid surface countertops right here. You have the recessed cooktop top glass cover so again you have that prep space you can fold this up and back this kind of doubles as a backsplash and then the three burner cooktop there the front one is high output uh, so of course if you need to boil water or something like that you want to do it in a hurry you can put it on the front burner I also recommend that if you're up in the hills up in the mountains you're gonna want to use that front burner as well when you drop this down you will see the oven right there decent space good drawer space you have a bank of drawers all the way down as well as one underneath the oven you have more storage up top, the microwave and hood there. And then again, residential style refrigerator. So as I open this up and you take a peek in there, you can see how much space you actually have. You have a crisper drawer right here, the cool zone, right? And, uh, but you know, that's one of the, the big and upcoming things is people go camping and they've gone camping for years and you just don't have enough fridge space. You end up bringing a cooler with you. Well, They've helped eliminate that by just giving you more cold storage. You'll also see right down below, you have a freezer compartment. Now it doesn't have an ice maker, but they do give you a nice tray there. And uh, then underneath that, oops, let me pull the lock out here and open that one up. Again, you will see your uh, drawer freezer right underneath. So before we move into the living area, I do want to hit the kitchen islands. And, and again, what they've done is they've elongated the island. It's not quite as wide, so that way you have excellent walking space and a natural flow. You don't feel like you're blocked off. So when they did that, they shifted the faucet over to the side right here, but it still is extremely functional. They give you this big drying rack, and uh, so you can use this as prep space. You can use it as a drying rack. You can roll it up. If you want to take it completely off, you can. And they gave you a huge single basin undermount stainless steel sink. And if, you've, if, this is, if you're just tuning in, you haven't heard me talk about it before, folks, I love having an undermount sink, A, because it looks cleaner, and B, because as you're cutting everything up, cutting up those veggies, you can just sweep it right into the sink. It just makes cleanup so much easier. Any crumbs or anything, just sweep it right in there. 
Underneath, you'll see you have a little bit of storage there plus plumbing access, but what's really cool and something you just don't see in many RVs is the size of these drawers. Folks, look at this. I got a bunch of batteries in there. You never know what you have to power, right? You want some nine volts? We got them. Some double A's? We got those too. But take a look at the size of them. I mean, you want to talk about huge storage, you can fit pots and pans in there. And oftentimes that's a trouble point. Oftentimes you don't have storage for pots and pans. A lot of RVs, they just don't fit. Not the case at all in here. And now I have a cocktail set up, you know, right here, because hey, we're entertaining, we're partying. That's what it's all about. Have some ice, pour a drink, good to go. But if we removed this, you would see exactly how much prep space you have there, uh, again, for, you know, making any snacks, anything like that, or setting up a buffet, right? People are gonna come up and start grabbing stuff. You got the room for it. Now, uh, part of entertaining may be watching something on TV. Maybe it's uh, pay-per-view. You know, maybe you have satellite. You're watching the latest fight. Maybe you're watching a game. Who knows what it may be, but you have a big spot here for the TV, and you'll see it's kind of uh, right in the center. What it's, was this, 50-inch? Yeah, you got a 50-inch TV right there, folks. You know, that's something a few years ago we didn't see in, uh, in RVs, but more and more people, you know, even though we don't go camping to watch TV, sometimes you want to just kick back and relax and you want to be able to watch something. And this allows you to see it no matter where you're sitting in this RV, whether you're on the sofa, if you're in the theater seats, if you're over in the dinette, everyone in this living area has a good view to that TV. You also have this, I, I like the little mantle they put on it, right, above the fireplace, just because it's decorative. You can put a couple knickknacks up here, you know, just kind of help make the RV yours, because that's what it's all about at the end of the day, making good memories and having something that is yours. Right underneath, you will see the Bluetooth speaker right there. You have a couple different zones, fireplace underneath. Cool thing about a fireplace, folks, and you may not know this, because sometimes people see it and they think it's overkill. But if you watched the Cedar Creek video just a bit ago, I told you that not only does this look great, but it also kicks out heat, which helps take the chill off in this space. And folks, that's, a, that's something that, again, if you didn't know, that's okay. I told you here today, but if I hadn't, what you could have done is just text EZRV to 32094. And in fact, you should anyway, because what we can do is A, that'll lock in the price for this unit, and B, more importantly, is that it will put you in touch with our show specialists, and we can help you find an RV. I can only do so much today. You know, I, I only have so much time to go through each one of these. But when you text that easy RV to 32094, you drop it in that comment section and we put you in touch with the show specialists. They're gonna be able to do exactly what I'm doing with you right now. They can walk you through over 25,000 pieces of inventory maybe not all of them, but that's how much we have. And they can walk you through some of them and narrow it down, help you do your search right from the comfort of your home. You never have to leave your couch if you don't want to. We can take care of everything over the phone, through the mail, and you know what's best? We can actually deliver that RV to your driveway and we will have someone give you a full walkthrough so you know how to use it. Because here at the Ultimate RV Show and Camping World, we're trying to make camping as easy as possible. If you take a look in the back, folks, you will see the sofa. So again, with entertaining, you have to have a spot to sit. You saw the dinette, you saw the theater seats. We have the sofa right here. This also folds out into a bed. So if you need that sleeping space, just like we saw in the Cedar Creek, you have that here. You'll see electrical outlets on the side, USB ports there, uh, good nightstands or, or end tables rather, I should say. And you have storage underneath plus storage all the way across the top. When you make it over to the other side in our off door side slide, something that's really cool um, is this right here. We have a dimmer switch, so we can push and hold this button. And if you see the lights right there, they will brighten up and then they will dim back down. So that's really cool, right? At night, if you don't want these blazing bright lights, you can just lower it down a little bit. Uh, you know, um, or, or if you're trying to play a game or something, you can brighten it up. Just kind of depends on the mood, what you're trying to do. And then you have the Thomas Payne Collection Theater Seats. Both of these do recline, so you can kick back and relax. Possibly the best seat in the house for viewing the TV, simply because it is straight across from you. You'll also see the cup holders there, and in the center console, you can have remotes, whatever else uh, you want to stuff in there, but it does just make it easy to grab. Uh, one of the other things you will notice is when I stand up, folks, I am six foot tall. You notice when I stand up, I didn't smash my head on the slide. That's something that may be important to you, especially if you're a taller person, right? That may not be something you know, is that different RVs, different fifth wheels have different slide heights. 
And, but you know what? Here's the thing. You can simply text Easy RV to 32094 and we can help inform you of things like that to make sure that you're going to find the perfect RV for you. You'll see the big windows they have in the slide. This is something that's a little bit newer too. Above the seating, they took out storage. We're seeing more manufacturers do this to raise the window height. And what that does is A, it makes it seem more open when the blinds are up, but B, it lets in so much more natural light during the day. We also have cool things like this, where you have um, you know, kind of more decorative lighting features. They're kind of pulling this out of what's popular in the uh, residential space. You'll see the bubble glass on here, you know, oil rub, uh, oil rub bronze, a little bit more farmhouse look. The seats, you have a full dinette. Now, when it comes to dinettes, uh, a couple different things. A lot of people you know, really like U dinettes because they think you can sit more people around it. And if you're looking to entertain, well, chances are you want a lot of people to be able to sit around there. But the thing is, a lot of U-dinettes, especially if they're smaller ones, still only fit four or sometimes only even three people. And the reason is because of the space underneath. While you have plenty of space up top, your knees will start banging into each other. But when you have a dinette like this, you can see I have plenty of room for someone else to sit here. And if you look underneath the table, you know, I'm not even touching the center point right here. So you have plenty of space right there for your knees. Another thing to take a look at is storage underneath and how you access it. So, you know, some fifth wheels will have uh, dinettes, some will have freestanding table and chairs. Freestanding table and chairs are easier to get in and out of. You may like the way they look a little more. The great thing about dinettes is this drops down into a sleeping space if you need sleeping space. And of course, you have storage. Take a look at that. So we talk about storage, it's pretty easy to get to. This one actually has a handle right here, a little loop you can just pick up. You'll have that on both sides. And that lets you store some of the things that, you know, are maybe are a little bit bigger and bulkier. Like if you have extra bedding for guests that are staying the night, that's a great place for them. And again, folks, you know, part of our job here is to inform you. I obviously wanna show you what's new, what's great, be able to talk to you a little bit about the different stuff here at the Ultimate RV Show, but I also wanna help make or help you make the best, most informed decision possible. And again, there's a lot of stuff out there, but if you text Easy RV to 32094, we have specialists waiting to help you narrow down and find the perfect RV and make sure that you are going to be happy on your camping, your first camping trip out. Now, right in here, this, as we saw in the last one, this is the mid bunk room. And this is really cool because you have the sofa here. You can fold the bed out. It gives you that, uh, you know, kind of that, that extra den feel, if you will. And again, if you have someone else that's just staying the night, maybe they're staying for a week, you know, or maybe you have a, a mother-in-law. I know a lot of times that a mother-in-law, you know, will come with, you have a, a room for them. So they have a little bit more privacy. They don't have to crash on your couch, but you're not giving up the whole back half to beds. You know, in a bunkhouse, a lot of times, that's what happens. That's not at all the case here. And you still have a spot for a TV. You have space for storage all the way around. You have windows again for that natural light. And at the end of the day, you know what? You know, if they're making a mess in there, you can just close the door off just like that and you're good to go. Now, as we make our way up the stairs here, a couple quick things. You'll see right around the corner, you have a spot to hang up jackets. Now, it may not be the prettiest thing in the world to have jackets hanging right here, but it is efficient uh, because that way you can just come in, hang them, boom, done, move on. This is something else that's pretty cool. So let's see if the, the code remained the same. Usually it's all zeros. There we go. So factory code, all zeros. If you ever see one of these, now you know. Um, but you'll see you have all sorts of different commands on here. So you can control your lights, your leveling, your awning, your slides. You'll see slide one, two, three, and four. In case you didn't know, this one has four slides. But you know, if I click on light right here, well, sorry, I have dead fingers. Let me try, maybe, maybe, nope, okay. Well, normally, there we go, click on leveler. And you can see right here, it will let you uh, be able to level everything out or you can hit auto level and it will auto level. now. The really nice thing about that is, uh, for me anyway, is for the awning and slides, because when you're outside, you can hit that and make sure that you're not going to hit anything. Come on up, folks. Look at this. We have a ladder built in, nice and easy to climb up. Now, if you notice the difference here, and this, of course, if you watched the last video, I'm assuming you already guessed that there's a loft. But if you notice the difference, the Cedar Creek had it built in, had a built-in stairway. The nice thing about that is that it's out of the way and it's a built-in stairway that you can just climb right up. The downside to it is that it took up some of the space in that room underneath and it shortened up the bed. As you saw right up here, we have a bigger bed, but you have a ladder that's not quite as easy to get up. You know, the stairs obviously make it a little bit easier. So again, it's give and take, but 
That's what we're here for, folks. That's why you're going to text Easy RV to 32094 so we can explain those things to you and be able to walk you through them. Come on into the bathroom with me. Uh, it's the first time I've said that. That's a weird statement, huh? Um, but while I'm sitting here, you'll see that there is a porcelain bowl. I'm six foot tall. Uh, I have plenty of leg room, great shoulder space. And folks, this is a very big bathroom. You can see how much uh, space I have here for the linen closet. You know, if you want to get dressed in the bathroom, you have plenty of room to do it. You don't feel closed off. Medicine cabinet up top. You'll see the uh, sink right down below. Nice stainless steel bowl with uh, some storage there right underneath. And when we step into the shower, a couple things I want to talk about. One of them is the fact that this is a one-piece residential shower. And what I mean by that is a multi-piece shower sometimes will have seams in the corners or especially right down here at the base. And while that's not inherently bad, it does give you uh, another opportunity for leaks, which is not something we want. And the one piece is a lot more sturdy. You can see I can walk around in here and it doesn't feel like it's uh, you know, gonna fall down on me. And then you'll notice the, uh, the shower handle here too, or the hose, that way you can shower off. Plus you have, of course, your shelving. And then right in the corner is your seat. So you can sit down and take a shower, shave your legs, whatever else you gotta do. Now, as we come out of the bathroom, and this is, that's always a fun little dance, right? When you have people here, you saw me kind of uh, fighting a little bit with the bathroom door. Just so you guys know, there are fifth wheels out there that have different styles. There's ones that have doors that turn, that pivot. There's ones that have slider doors there, making it a little bit easier to come into the bathroom. And there are ones with mid bunks that have that option. To find out what those ones are, simply text Easy RV to 32094 and our show specialist to be able to help you out and show you what those units are. And again, if you want a virtual walkthrough, folks, they can walk you right through it. Or if you want to see it in person, they can help you navigate to find the closest dealership to you that has it. So that way you can go check it out yourself. And trust me, we do have safety precautions in place in case you do want to visit a dealership. If we take a look at the bed, folks, you'll see that it slides out again. It's one of those common themes we've been seeing lately, just because it helps really open up the space in here. A couple of shelves on the side, nice big wardrobe up front. You have the beautiful barn style doors that we've kind of seen throughout. If you take a look right up here, you will see this one also has a second AC in the bedroom. And this is a individual unit. What I mean by that is the back one will power the rest of it. This AC right here, um, you know, basically will power just this unit. And the cool thing about that is it's going to cool down the bedroom really quickly. If we take a look up here, I just want to show you this, folks. So you do have extra storage both up top and down below, but also right here in the corner, you will see that this one has um, your washer and dryer prep. So if you want a washer and dryer, then you have a spot to put it. Now, it's, it's funny because, you know, I get a lot of people when I, when I show RVs and stuff on YouTube that say, you know, why doesn't this have a washer and dryer? And the reality is, folks, is very few people actually end up putting a washer and dryer in here. I think it's something like 5% of people actually put it in. You have the option to do it, but if you don't, most manufacturers give you a ton of storage space, and that's fantastic because you can never have enough storage space in an RV. Speaking of that, take a look at this. Underneath the bed, you wanna talk about storage? Look at that huge storage space. So again, if you have some of those large bulky items, you're looking for a place to put them, folks, that right there is a great place. The foot of the bed here, you will see the dresser, plenty of drawers. Again, kind of like we saw out in the kitchen, look at the size of those deep drawers. Now, I know that that may not be something that's important to you now, but if you get out camping and you realize, hey, I don't have a place to put my folded jeans, or hey, maybe you have a huge underwear collection. I don't know, but that gives you somewhere where you can put it. Folks, again, this is, these RVs are built to entertain, and realistically, there's a lot of different ones that you can have. These first two that we've seen are mid bunks, and as I showed you, there's a lot of really cool things about mid bunks, because you still get that rear living room feel, but you have a lot of sleeping options, both in the form of the couch, plus when you go in that little side room, that bonus room or bunk room, or if you wanna turn it into an office, you can make it an office. I, I've said this before, a lot of people are working from home right now, and that can become your office, or maybe a, an in-law suite, and you have you know, the loft right up top. There's just a lot of sleeping space. 
The next one we're going to look at is a little bit different. In fact, the floor plan itself actually has entertainment in the name in the form of rear entertainment. And there's a lot of other ones out there too, folks. I only have time to get to three during this session. There's so many more. As I mentioned before, we have 25,000 pieces of inventory currently on lots that we want to show you. We want to make sure that you're getting the best RV for you because there are just so many different options out there. All you have to do is text easy RV to 32094. Put easy RV in the comments section or call 866-853-3510. And again, folks, if you do that, not only will it lock in the price for this unit, and if this isn't the one, if we help you find a different one, that's perfect. But if this is the one, you did your due diligence, you locked in the price, and you're gonna get the best price out there because you saw it here on the Ultimate RV Show. The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a motorhome that sleeps six for only $3.29 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Oh, my goodness. Having a blast. And, of course, making history this week here at the amazing Ultimate RV Show. Sean Parr, Morgan McKenzie, and what a great time we're having today. I love to listen to Ian talk because he knows so much about these incredible um, vehicles that we're watching. We're looking at fifth wheels right now. And yes. we, What was your favorite part, by the way, Morgan? The storage space. <laughs> I have a lot of shoes. I have a lot of clothes. So if I go on a trip, I want to take all that with me. Yeah, okay? he was uh, just talking about that Keystone Sprinter. And I think my favorite part was, uh, I don't know if it was the bunk, and I love that pull-out ladder, but the remote control, when yeah. you have four slide-outs like that, and the automatic leveler, and then you go into the different lights. I mean, some of the amenities that we're talking about here, we have over 25,000 uh, I like to call them Parvies, but they're RVs. We all know that. Parvies. <laughs> <laughs> 25,000 vehicles. So listen, if you haven't seen one yet, don't worry. We're going to get to it. And oh, I'm getting fired up about what Chris Young has planned for us in just a little while, right? Uh-oh. Uh, we're going to get a little crazy. Uh-oh. Uh, what has your day been like today? I mean, we've been experiencing some incredible uh, manufacturers, some incredible products. These are 2021s. We've seen the brand new for next year uh, available here at the RV show with, by the way, show specials, some amazing deals that you're only going to find right here that are only available to you through what we're doing here. What was your favorite part? A lot of luxury. Okay. I yeah. took a, a, a little break, kicked my feet up, and I was very, very comfortable. A lot of luxury, lavishness, plush seating. It's a lot. It's beautiful. The good news is storage, storage, storage. That's one of Morgan's things. That's one of uh, everybody watching at home right now. It's like, you know what? We need storage. We want to put everything in there. All the comforts of home, we bring it in. We're going to take a look at some more fifth wheels right yeah. now. We've got a get bunch. back out there to the trained professionals that know exactly what they're talking about. And we're going to see some more of that luxury. Luxury plush. Hey, folks. Welcome to the Keystone Springdale 253 FWRE. So, as you can see, this is a very different floor plan. What we have here is what's called a rear entertainment. And that's exactly what it's set up for. So, the last two we saw when we looked at the dual opposing slides... We saw that they were in the kitchen because that allowed for a center island. So what this one does instead is the focus is on the living area or the entertainment area. So you get the dual opposing slides here, but as you see, it's all open space right here in the center. Now there's a couple things I love about this. One is that it gives a very open feel. Two is that it's just naturally engaging for conversation because everyone is directly across from each other. You don't have anything here in the center. The other one is if you have any uh, furry loved ones, if you have any pets, <laughs> furry loved ones, not hairy little kids, but if you have uh, if you have any pets, you have dogs, stuff like that, uh, you can see that there's definitely enough space for them right in here. The other thing I really like about this one is uh, the size of it. This one's a little bit smaller than the other ones we've seen. 
Um, when it comes to the, the mid bunks that we were in, I absolutely love them. They're perfect for my uh, where I'm at in life. But the issue is that they're very large. So sometimes you may not have the vehicle to tow it. Maybe the space you're going to isn't big enough to accommodate that RV. And that's where something like this is absolutely huge. So uh, this one, I mean, weight wise, you're right around 8,600 pounds. And I want to say it's like 32, 33 feet long right in there. Uh, so again, it's a little bit shorter because it just so you know, again, just dropping a little bit of knowledge on you, generally the um, kind of the cutoff for a lot of sites is 36 foot. And what I mean by that is if you go to a lot of different campgrounds, if you're over 36 foot long, they only have so many spaces available for that large of an RV. That's not always the case. And if you're looking to do state parks, it's going to be even smaller yet. You're looking to do, you know, go um, out to Yosemite or something like that. And you're going to have a little bit smaller RVs yet. But again, folks, that's something we can help you out with. If you're planning a dream vacation, you want to be able to tour the U.S., you let us know. You know, you let us know what uh, sites you want to visit. Simply text EZRV to 32094 and you let the show specialist you're talking to say, look, Ian said that if I'm looking to tour the U.S. and I want to hit all these national parks, that you would help me find a small enough RV to do that. And folks, we'll do it. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. We're here to make sure that you have the easiest RV shopping experience possible, which is why we're doing this whole show. That way you can sit at home, have us running around all day, showing you these with these virtual walkthroughs. And when you do reach out, folks, the salespeople, the, uh, the specialists that we have can do the exact same thing. They're able to give you these virtual walkthroughs of much more than I'm able to in this short little segment. But with this floor plan, you will see on the back wall is your TV. So that's what really identifies a rear entertainment is that your back wall, instead of having a sofa on it like your rear living generally does, you have a TV on the back wall in seating on both sides, oftentimes in the dual opposing slides like this. Now, if we notice that this TV right here, I personally, this is just me, would probably replace this with a bigger one. Not that there's anything wrong with this one, it's probably perfectly fine, I'm just a big TV kind of guy. Um, but you know, with this one, you can definitely still see it from the sofa, from the chairs, from the dinette, no issues at all. If we take a look up top, you take a look at the cabinet style, you'll see they kind of went with the more kind of like rustic wood look, which I do really enjoy. Oil rubbed, bron uh, oil rubbed bronze pulls, when we take a look at the size, you can see that there's decent storage up there too. Now, on both sides of the TV, which is why they went with the size they did, and by the way, it is a swing arm mount, I do wanna add that, so if you wanna turn it one way or the other, depending on where your favorite seating area is, you can. Uh, but on both sides, you will see they have windows, right? So, the kind of the purpose of that is a lot of campsites you go to, the best view will be out the back, right? Out the back of your RV. And a lot of RVs just don't have rear windows. There are certain floor plans that do, and again, that's what we're here for is to help you find those ones if that's what you want. Uh, but right here, you'll see if you lift those up, you do have a good view out the back. Right down underneath, you will see is kind of like the rest of your entertainment center. You have this big, beautiful, I guess I'm gonna call it mantle. I don't know what to call it mantle, a tabletop, a countertop, I I'm not sure. But as you can see, it is a lot of space. Uh, you'll also notice the multimedia center right there. And this is a DVD player already built in, so you don't have to have auxiliary equipment unless you want like a Blu-ray or uh, a gaming system, something like that but otherwise you pop a movie in, you're able to watch it right there. Speakers on both sides for great sound quality and you have the really long fireplace. Now, uh, we've seen these in a couple of them and, and we're starting to see it in more. And, and the reason they're going with long ones instead of this uh, kind of square shorter ones is because this is what we're seeing more again on the residential side. That residential trend is the long horizontal fireplace. And folks, not only does that look great, but again, that is a space heater. So that will do something to help take the chill off in this space. That way you don't have to use propane. Of course, you have storage on both sides. If you look at the vinyl, it's a little bit interesting uh, vinyl they used here. I, I actually like it. It kind of looks like a herringbone tile almost. So last year, we had a lot of uh, wood look, and we still have that in some of them this year, but I have seen some of them go to a tile look kind of like they have right here. So it's always interesting to, to watch the trends. Then in this slide, we have our two, what is called a push recliner. Oh my gosh, where did this lady come from? I don't know if you guys, you guys probably don't know what's going on here. If you've been watching the stream all day, you know that this lady has been following me. Um, she made it back and uh, I, I'm telling you, she's obsessed. I don't know if I need to get a restraining order. We'll just turn you around for right now. Don't look at me. Um, <laughs> she just keeps popping up, you guys. It's the weirdest thing. 
Someone's killing me here. Um, but what we have, so these are gonna be push back recliners. So what you do is you, uh, you basically just put your hands right here. You're gonna push back, that will put your feet up, and then you can push back on the back and that will let you fully recline, lay back and relax. And again, folks, from right here, you still have a great view to the TV. And as you can see, you do have two of those chairs. We're just gonna, we're gonna hide her. Shh, I don't know who's doing it. There we go, now they won't find her. If we take a look over here, we'll see that you have a, a nice big sofa. This is a trifold sofa. Um, and and trifold sofas are generally preferred for sleeping spaces because you can uh, they're nice and easy to set up. You don't have a bar on your back like you often get with a traditional pullout. And also, um, you don't have like an air mattress that you're constantly searching for where that hole is, where it's leaking from. Because I know if you've owned an air mattress, taking it to a friend's, blew it up, and you know, halfway through the night, you're touching the ground. At least that's what happens to me. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but I swear it happens every time. Uh, but they are very comfortable, and again, the rear entertainment, folks, is all about that entertaining space. So you're sitting back here, having a good time, partying, making friends, because you know sometimes when you're camping, that's the best part about a campground, is meeting camp friends. Uh, my in-laws have a seasonal, and they have so many friends that come around, they have these big parties, they've built like little tiki bars and stuff outside, super cool, um, and again, that's just you know a big part of our lifestyle too, is entertaining and having fun while camping. And you can see here the, the dinette. So a couple things I really like about this one. It is a little bit different, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but the great thing about a dinette is the seating. So a standard dinette, you can easily sit four people here, um, and you get storage underneath, which a lot of people really like. You'll see this one has accent lights here too. But what I'm gonna show you about this one in particular that's kind of cool. Let me move our, our beautiful decor here. So this one is completely removable. And what I mean by that, and it does drop down into a bed as well, folks. Don't think it doesn't. You can still use this as a sleeping space. But as you can see, I can fully, fully pick this table up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring it right over here. It's light enough, a little awkward, but light enough. And what you can do is, see if I can find what side it's on. Might be the other side. Bear with me, folks. This is what happens when you do things live. So there is a latch and it will drop the table down as soon as I find it. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is you hit that, and then, just like that, whoops, there we go. Just like that, the table drops down. I swear it's easier if you know where the latch is at. Um, but what you can do here is you can swing that down. It'll do the same thing over there, and that's how you make the bed. But when it's right here, you basically have a built-in coffee table, which I think is really cool. It's, I always like to see versatility in RVs, and this really offers it. So you can pull it out, drop it down, you have a coffee table. If you wanna put your feet up there, by all means you can, but remember it is your dining room table, but uh, I just like that you can have the coffee table here. And in all honesty, like I said, despite a little bit of struggle I had there, it is pretty easy to set up. But again, you know, if, if you're just uh, kind of browsing RVs, you're, you're on a lot, you're looking through them, that's something you may not know, but that's okay, because you know what you can do? You can text Easy RV to 32094, because that's what we're here for. We're here to help you, show you cool things like that. There's a lot of nuances to RVs, and things that separate them. Every rear entertainment is not the same. As we saw earlier, every mid bunk is not the same, but we're here to help you through it to make sure we find the perfect RV for you. Text Easy RV to 32094, put Easy RV in the comment section, or call 866-853-3510. Now let's talk about the kitchen because that kitchen again is always a big part of hanging out, entertaining. You have right here a 12 volt ever chill fridge. This by the way is the lock. In case you're wondering what this is for, it's a travel lock, so when you're going down the road, your fridge door doesn't open, things don't fly out. So you move that to the side, that lets you open it up just like so. Now, as I said, this is a 12 volt condenser driven fridge. So this is becoming more and more popular in the industry as well. And for good reason, because this is kind of a, an in-between of your standard camp fridge and your residential. It's nice and big, so it gives you kind of that, that residential size, and it cools down very quickly like your residential one does. But when I say it's like a camp fridge, the reason for it is because this runs off of 12 volt. Your big standard um, residential ones will run off 120, so this right here will run off your batteries. So what's really cool about that is if you're one that likes to just get lost in the middle of the woods where you don't have shore power and you don't plan on bringing a generator, if you have enough solar and a couple batteries, you can basically actually power this thing off of solar because it's very low consumption. And again, it just runs off batteries on that 12 volt, which is pretty neat. So uh, again, that's something that we're seeing in more and more RVs. If you move on a little bit further into the kitchen here, what are those? Are those, are those olives? Are those, 
a pepper? I'm not sure what those are supposed to be. It's a bowl of something, but we're gonna move that aside a second. Uh, as you'll see, you have your recessed cooktop. You got your glass cover on there. I'll just fold that up and back like so. Three burner cooktop, the front one is high output. Oven right down underneath. Now, these knobs do light up if, if that's what you're into. You can push a little button there. You got some blue lights. Um, you know, it's a little aesthetic thing. More importantly, the, the main reason I would use it if for anything, um, you know, even not, not that I don't like the look, but um, it does work well for like a, like a night light or a courtesy light. Between this and then the lights underneath the dinette, if you do have people that are sleeping on that trifold, it's enough where they can get up in the middle of the night. It's not blaring where they can't fall asleep, but that way they can go in and be able to use the restroom if they have to in the night. You will see the seamless countertops. Now what this is, it's what they call like a seamless or a thermal foil. It's kind of in between your T-mold and your solid surface. It's lighter than solid surface and it allows for undermount like a solid surface. And it's better than T-mold because you don't have the T-mold that's gonna pop off right here, which oftentimes uh, can happen. So uh, again, the undermount sink, I told you why I love that. You know, the look, the uh, just the usability of it. And folks, this is actually pretty big countertop. So if you're talking about prep space, you know, you can get sink top covers there. You also have the space right over here. So you do have decent workable prep space in here for making those snacks for your parties. You'll see storage all the way across the top. You have the faucet there. A couple big drawers. Take a look at these drawers here too. You know, not quite as big as what we saw on the Sprinter, but nonetheless, these are very deep drawers. Uh, there are some things I take when I go camping that sometimes don't fit. Um, for example, my five-year-old likes apples and rather than hand cut it, I have an apple core, but the apple core is like this tall and sometimes it just doesn't fit in drawers with something like that, it would. Or I have a immersion blender, a hand blender for my protein shakes, it would fit in there. You take a look underneath the sink, and this is something else I love when I see more manufacturers doing this too, which is they're foregoing the shelf. And the reason they do that is because this gives you space for a trash can. It's one of my biggest pet peeves when I don't have a space for my trash can, I have to take my bag, tie it around a pole, and now all my trash is hanging out. Friends are coming in, they're coming to party. No one wants trash hanging out when you're partying. Put it away, we don't wanna see it. Uh, again, folks, this is Springdale 253 FWRE, and I just wanna show you the Ultimate RV. Do you see that price on there? It's starting at 255 a month, folks. So, you know, we've been through some of these units, and the prices are just getting better and better. 255 a month? You get all this, you can entertain, you can party? 255 a month is pretty reasonable, folks. That's a great price. Uh, so that's what it's starting at on this one, on the Springdale 253 FWRE. To claim that price, simply text Easy RV to 32094 or drop it in the comments section below. Coming on into the bathroom, uh, so this is uh, kind of a cool setup. You have a couple. up here just great i can actually spin around uh but the reason that i i do like these is because when you're done showering uh sometimes if you have like a swing style door or especially if you have a curtain you end up with quite a bit of water on the floor with this when you're done right you're showering you're showering you open it up all the shower goes down the door right into the shower pan so that way you don't have a mess of water all over your floor which is great again you know less chance for any kind of uh you know water getting everywhere and heaven forbid you slip and fall getting out of the shower nobody wants that so uh, I do like that system. Of course, you have your vent fan up top just to help moisture get out of there and you know anything else that's in the bathroom that you don't want in here. And um, right over to the side, so this is a slide out. This is your wardrobe. But what you'll notice is the door right here, if I unbutton it, boop, the door closes off just like this, which leaves that one section in the bathroom. So what that does is it basically allows this to be a linen closet. It gives you a place for your towels. Uh, if you have other bathroom accessories you want in here, that is a space for it. The rest of it, if you can sneak in here, you'll see the rest of it here is all wardrobe all the way into the bedroom. If you wanna follow me into the bedroom, if you can make it in here, you'll see that you have your bed uh, right here in the center. Now, this is what they call a mid profile. If you've been watching the stream, we saw earlier that there were full profile RVs. What kind of uh, helps denote that is the headspace you have. Now you'll see this one has a little step 
And so when I step up, you'll see that it goes down a little bit. And so that's a mid profile. Now, uh, the advantages of a mid profile, of course, are like I said earlier, this one is fairly lightweight. So, you know, when you remove a lot of that headspace, you remove that framing, you lighten it up. And it's also a lot of times easier to tow. But as you can see, you know, you can just kind of crawl right into bed right here. You have the headboard, you have electrical outlets, you see storage up top and on the sides. And also folks, I want to point this out. This little thing right here shows that this one is prepped for a second AC. So if you want an AC in here to keep nice and cool at night, you can have that installed. And again, folks, just text EZRV to 32094 and we can help you out with that. We can make sure you get that second AC installed. That way when we drop it off at your doorstep, you have two ACs and you're cool as a cucumber. So we make our way outside on the Springdale again, folks. Let's head on up to the front cap. I always like to look at it, right? When it comes to fifth wheels, manufacturers put a lot of money into the design of the exterior, into that front cap. They want it to look good. A lot of times they will try to color match to the popular colors of trucks out there. So you can see kind of like the gray and the blue on this one. You'll also see this mirror right here. And I, I know it's a little dark. We know we're starting to get a little bit later at night, uh, but this is what they call, um, well, it might be patented, but I think it's called hitch vision. And basically Basically what it is is while you're backing up it just lets you see where your kingpin is so you can more easily align your hitch right here. It also has the Rotoflex head by Trail Air which helps prevent bucking and chucking and what that is is you know this is a even though this is lighter weight it's still a lot of weight behind the truck so when you start or stop you know a lot of times it'll push you a little bit it'll pull you a little bit this pivoting head helps take some of that out so that way it's a better tow experience while you're going down the road. Moving down the side a little bit just want to show you a few more things. So if we take a look in the pass-through right here, that's your pass-through storage. That way you can see it is nice and long. Hey, look at that, we can see all the way down. Um, but that way you have space for some of your larger items. You know, if you're bringing, I don't know, fishing poles or pool noodles, who knows, but it gives you the space to do it. Also, if you want an outside TV, folks, this is your bracket for it, it's already there. Uh, so that way you can drop your TV in right here. Your connections are there. Of course, you'll wanna drop this down if you're watching TV. Um, but that way you are underneath the awning, you can watch the game out here. Speakers right up top, so you can jam out to some music. Solid steps, these are a little bit different. They're, it, just like a lot of other things in the industry, there are different variations. Just like floor plans are different, some of the accessories are different. This is a solid step instead of the Moride. Very similar function, just a little bit different brand. We have the aluminum steps on there. Again, the feet are adjustable and you have the big foldable grab handle. Folks, I hope you found this session entertaining. Again, remember, these are just one of several different RV floor plans out there that are great for entertaining. You know, there's front living floor plans. If you saw that session, um, you know, again, that those are excellent. There's just a ton of them out there. There's rear den, there's some rear living. There's gonna be a lot more in the show today, but if you really wanna get one for entertaining, you're gonna wanna text Easy RV to 32094 so we can help you find the perfect RV here at the Ultimate RV Show. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite here at the Ultimate RV Show. Right now, it is all about grilling. I'm gonna show you two grills with my friend, Miss Kaylin over here. She trusted me on the grill to get her some dogs. Now, if you're interested in any of these products, just drop us a comment down below. Camp, or text CAMP to 32094. Give us a call, 866-235-8751. All right, uh, the first one I wanna show you over here. Love these. These Coleman Road Trip grills, this just happens to be the blue top one. Not only do you have a large grilling cook area, plus you have the black top. These are lightweight, portable, really make life easy. And Bob, see if you can get in there. You see that flame? That's 20,000 BTUs total that you can get on this thing. 285 inches square of cooking space. Matchless lighting. You have the little automatic starter there. And hey all right, Kaylin, you about Dog ready? Dog me. Are you ready? I've been ready. Oh, are you hungry? We Coming gonna... at you. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? That's how it happens in real life, kids. Now here, flip that over. Look, we got your mustard. <laughs> we got this your is okay, we okay, got your you're, you're we pushing. Got your ranch, you got your okay. Cash. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> at the ultimate campsite, it's all also about having fun. But if you're looking for a good portable grill that is versatile, tailgating, camping, the whole nine, this one here. I recommend highly. You have the legs that extend out, plus you have the foldable trays right here, which are retractable. Once again, lightweight, can easily stow away. But the one that I'm a big fan of, I love flat top 
grilling. No, you throw the hot dog down. I'm going to throw it at you now. No, not really. I'm really not going to throw it at you. Are you sure? Yeah. No, I don't need a lawsuit. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. I'll lose an eye, but I'll be okay Probably. with it. Hey, part of my five-year plan, laid up with a work-related injury. <laughs> Just saying. Now, these Blackstone flat tops, this is actually on our standing foldable table. The Blackstone tabletop right here, we are looking at 268 square inches. It's 17 inches across. You could easily do pancakes. Just take a look. That's one hot dog. Yeah, you could look cook, at how much space not we even got on that. like just but you could hook up like pancakes, throw some eggs up here, get it all done at once. That, got the bacon. My favorite camping meal is breakfast. Throw it all on there. Oh gosh, yeah, and on the griddle, you got that whole entire cook space to do everything. And with these receptors, both on the mini grill over there on the Coleman Road Trip and on this one, the Blackstone. You can put the mini tanks, which I'm a huge fan of because you don't have to lug that 20 pound LP tank around. But if you needed to hook it up, you absolutely can. You can also get the connectors that go right to your LP over there or the LP quick connect under the travel trailer, whatever you want. This one has a little grease pan right here. Comes out on the front. Obviously, when you get done, you just scrape all that off. You sure you don't want this one? No, I'm sure I don't want you this sure? one. You sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. I can get you with it. No. You ready? Go deep. No. Go deep. Montana. <laughs> okay. So. Ultimate campsite, ultimate RV show. If you are interested in any of these grills, we have fantastic prices on them right now. Kaylin, which one do you like best? I think I'm also with you on the, the tabletop. The tabletop, I just feel Love like it. it's more versatile and more compact. Compact, easy so, to store away, easy yeah. to clean. Obviously, clean it, you just scrape it up. So, the price on this one, once again, just give us a comment. Camp or text camp to 32094. Give us a call 866 235 8751. For the tabletop, regular price $99.99. That's still a great deal. $84.17 during the Ultimate RV Show right now, or Good Sam members, $79.97. Would you like to have the road trip, the Coleman over here? Let me tell you about this one. $249.99 is a regular price, but during the show, $204.97, yes, that is a discount, but Good Sam members, you get it under 200 bucks, $199.97. Once again, Kalen, what do they gotta do? Text camp to 32094, comment the camp down below, or give us a call at 866-235-8751. Bob wants a dog. There you go, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> An RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World Merchandise Certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. I love Easy RV so much. I mean, where has this been our whole life? It's just the <laughs> best way to do an RV. And the greatest thing about it is when you talk about people that have been dialing us up all day long since we started here at, I, I believe, noon Eastern time today, 866-853-3510. Uh, and we're going to be doing this until uh, Sunday. You're actually shopping from your home your office, wherever you are, wherever you're tuned in right now, and over 125,000 people have registered. So we know there are a lot of you tuned in. We have over 25,000 RVs at exclusive Ultimate RV Show pricing, which is incredible. 
uh, and we've got show specials and all kinds of things. And I love uh, that uh, Kaylin and Chris were having so much fun with the grills. Did you see her catch the hot dog? She was all about that. <laughs> you In midair, bam, no problem. And that's the great thing. You saw the exclusive pricing right there. And You know, when we talk about some of the Class Cs or the, the fifth wheels that we've been all about right yeah. now, uh, Morgan, where would you take your RV if you had a chance to go someplace right now? I'd say I'd take it across the country to California. Oh, yeah. Now, you're from there, right? That's my hometown. That's my hood. Yeah, I want to go to California or either Denver, Colorado. Oh, Denver's so beautiful, too. See some nature. And you did say across the country. It's my radio show. We take country music and the Par-V, and we get across the country, and we visit our radio station affiliates, and we bring country artists. And that's the great thing is we've got a studio in the back of our RV, and uh, we're going to be doing all these shows. So if you happen to see us uh, out on the road, you see my crazy face on the side of one of our beautiful uh, vehicles, make sure you honk out there and, and let us know that you're having some fun because we love being on the road, and that is what it's all about. I would like to go... Personally, I got a diesel pusher coming that's going to take us to the Smokies. Okay. And uh, I want to go to Dollywood. That's the only place I've never been. I love going around the country. I've been just about everywhere. But I, I, I don't know why. And I've lived in Tennessee now for seven years, but haven't gotten to Dollywood. Well, that's what Dolly Part and that, that, that nice uh, amusement park. Oh, tell me all yeah. about it. Uh, we get a family discount, too, because oh. we're in the country <laughs> music industry, which is great. Amazing. But, uh, and that's a great thing. You know, uh, traveling wherever you want to go, especially with the kids right now. And, you know, the moms and the dads are, are all homeschooled and doing all that stuff. We're showing you some amazing uh, vehicles from some incredible manufacturers, some of our close partners that are taking you and the kids on the road, hassle-free, with the Wi-Fi, with everything you need because you need to get out. You need to explore. You need to do some things. You've been stuck in the house for so long. It's time to get out and have some fun. Now, you mentioned a lot of things that were technological. And oh, yeah. that's a part of the interior. Oh, We're going to talk about how you can up, upgrade your interior of your RV in many ways. And our manuf manufacturers are listening to you. So whatever requests that you have, they're taking notes. If you want plush interior, they've got it. If you want more of a rustic interior, they're listening. They can do that for you. So we're definitely going to talk about that, especially with remote traveling. Uh, you need to do your work. You want to plug in your charger, plug in your laptops. We've got it all. I love it. Let's Listen. get to it right now. Let's talk about upgrading that interior and get customized for you. Hi, we are Crazy, Crazy Family, Family Adventures. Adventures. I'm Craig. I'm Karen. I'm Brianna. I'm Carson. I'm Malia. And I'm Knox. And we have been traveling full time on the road for how long, Malia? Over six years. We are so excited to be here today to share with you guys all sorts of tips on RVing full time with the family, how to make your RV feel like home, and more. There's a ton to share, and we are excited to share it with you. So before we jump into that, we wanted to ask the kids a couple questions. So, Cannon, what is your favorite thing about full-time RVing? That you can meet new family and friends. Yeah? Did you just meet a bunch of new people? Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. So, Carson, what is your favorite thing about full-time RVing? That you can explore new places. Yeah? What's one of your favorite places we've explored? Mm, Destin, Florida. Destin, Florida. <laughs> Carson likes the beach. <laughs> and Malia, what about you? What's one of your favorite places we've explored? Baja, Mexico. Yeah? Awesome. We had a lot of fun there. We're hoping to go back soon. Max, what about you? I like how we have the room in the back and how we got the new RV. Yeah, you like the new RV, huh? Mm -hmm. Would you guys recommend for other families, parents out there with kids watching, that they should take their kids on either an RV adventure or travel full-time in their RV? Yeah. Yeah, you would? You'd recommend it? Yeah. All right, awesome. <laughs> So just over six years ago, it was actually May 2014 that we launched. We were living the American dream. And then I, I worked a nine to five, you know, normal kind of uh, office job. And uh, I came home one day after Brianna spending uh, the day with her sister and all of a sudden we were gonna sell our house and move full time into an RV. It's like, whoa, <laughs> well, how did that happen? You didn't know that was gonna happen when I became a stay at home mom with four little kids. So. Yes. <laughs> Found the RV we wanted, which at the time was a 39-foot diesel motorhome 
um, pusher, diesel pusher. Diesel pusher, yeah. Motor home, May 2014, actually on Mother's Day. We um, loaded it all into the RV and handed our keys over to the new owners of our house. Now, there were a ton of tears and it was hard to leave that house. It's a house we brought all our babies home in. Yeah. We had built that house. It was definitely hard to leave it, but- Well, we it was also a little scary too. Like we were taking a leap. We didn't know anybody that was doing it. And like our families were all there, our friends were all there, and we were just gonna go drive off into the sunset. So <laughs> it was a little scary. So if you're thinking about doing this and you're scared, that's normal. Totally normal. Totally normal. It's totally okay. But what comes on the other side of fear is usually some really amazing things. So why did we do it? <laughs> why full-time RVing and what do we love about it? In an RV, you have your home on wheels. So for the kids, like people, what about stability for the kids? Well, they have their own bedroom here. They have their own bed. They can decorate their own space. We have our kitchen. We have our living room. We have our room. Like it is a very homey feel to it. So no matter where we are, you come back inside and it's just like you've never left. We also love just the options it gives you when you're out exploring. The journey is part of the, the trip. I mean, it's like you, you drive across country and you see a lot more than you would if you flew from point A to point B. So we found some of the really coolest places that you know we would have never stopped at. Yeah, just on our road trip out here out west, we came across the Jolly Green Giant, which is this humongous- <laughs> Totally <laughs> random, yeah. <laughs> totally random roadside attraction. Plus, we love boondocking, mm -hmm. which what boondocking means is you drive up into some open field like called BLM land, and you just park your rig and you stay there. It's just this wide open space, like mm -hmm. no one's there, and it's just you, your beautiful rig though. So we have a kitchen and bathrooms and showers and all of that. Yeah, we're just in the middle of nowhere in this just gorgeous places. Mm -hmm. We've met some amazing families and friends that you stay with them for literally like a day or two and you become lifelong friends. It's really cool. And like they're so helpful because a lot of things go wrong when you're on the road. Um, that's, that's just a given, like it happens. Um, and usually people are there to help and get it figured out and get you fixed up and back on the road. So community is awesome. Yes. Um, even for the kids too, especially for the kids. They love it because they're meeting new kids all over the country. Like you go and stay in a campground, I can almost guarantee there'll be other kids there. Like, yep. especially if the campground has a playground, has a pool, you know, it's family friendly. You're mm -hmm. going to meet other kids there and your kids will just be out playing and just enjoying themselves. And that means that then you can maybe have a happy hour around the campfire with their parents and meet some new people as well. You can also take days where you just go out with just your, fo your family and explore. Go yep. hiking, go rafting, zip mm -hmm. lining. Yeah, go find some good donuts or something. Yep. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, <laughs> whatever you want to do. So obviously if you can't tell, we love it. Mm -hmm. We're still doing it six years later, so there must be something about it, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so anytime we buy an RV, one of the most important things to us is we want it to feel like home because we're living in it. So one of the things that we really like to focus on when we do upgrade our RVs and make them feel like home is the furniture. So for example, when we moved into this rig, it had a two person couch that had automatic buttons that reclined and your feet went up and it was like, oh. Two lazy boys kind yes. of thing, so. And it was like, this is really nice, yeah. but only two people can sit at the couch. We have six people in our family, so how is that gonna work? So we were like, okay, we need to change this up so that we have more room so that more of us can sit together and watch a movie, hang out in the morning, whatever it may be. It's also important to us that we have a couch that can go down into a bed. And the reason we like to have that is that the kids all do have their own sleeping space, but sometimes at night one of them might get scared or they just don't want to sleep there, whatever it may be, they're not feeling well. So then if we have another couch, then Craig and I can come out and lay with them on that at night. Also, when they have sleepovers, and yes, we've had like 10 kids sleeping over in our RV at one time. <laughs> Party <It's>, house. <laughs> It's nice to have a, a couch that can be put down into a bed so that their friends have somewhere to sleep as well. Mm -hmm. Or if we had family that wanted to visit, we have a place for them to stay too. All right, so when you're gonna be living in your RV full time, this is not just a weekend getaway type of thing. It needs to be functional and it needs to work for you all the time. Yeah, it needs a purpose. Like you can't just have stuff just to have it. So we are very intentional with what we pick to put in this RV. So for example, with redesigning this area here where we have this couch, we also then made a smaller table and a smaller area for where the table was because we knew that as a family, we don't spend a lot of time there. If we're gonna eat as a family, we'll eat out on the picnic table or the kids will just eat sitting mm -hmm. on the couch. We also then made sure that everywhere that we have a seating area, there's storage underneath it. 
So back by the table, we have a storage bench and underneath that there's three baskets that we can put different things in. We've got Legos in there, art supplies, games, things like that. We also have these little ottomans that we use for chairs and the ottomans open so that you're able to put a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, and I think another thing for full-time living and also running businesses on the road is to have a place where you can spend your time being productive working. So this is the first RV that we actually built a dedicated office space for her, which is our bedroom. <laughs> Dual purpose, right? Um, and then also just be able to shut the door and have the chaos happen out here and the business happened up there. Then we also knew for the kids area, we wanted to make sure they had a space that they could leave their stuff. So then right now in the back, our kids have a whole gaming system set up. They have um, you know, their games back there and they have tables and their um, laptops or their um, keyboards Computers, yeah. and all that set up back there. And it was important that they had a place that that could be set up and we could shut the door. So when they were done playing, we didn't have to put it all away and take it all down and then move it all around, which we've had to do in some of our other yeah. rigs. Also important that each of their kids had kind of their own bedroom space so that they have their own bed that they can decorate if they want to. They can also just have a place to go if they just want to be by themselves for a little while. So what are some things you can do to make their RV feel more comfortable and cozier? If that's a word. <laughs> what we recommend for that is throw pillows. Craig loves my throw pillows. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I would like one or two, but we have about 20. <laughs> We that's downsize, fine. we right, downsize. It's fine, it's, fine. Um, it's cozier. It's cozier. More cozier or whatever you said. <laughs> it definitely is. I think painting the walls makes the RV feel mm -hmm. cozier than having it be just the normal of what you get in yeah. an RV off of the showroom floor. Mm -hmm. um, we've also added wallpaper. She's a cheetah print gal, so yeah. we have that here for sure. That yes. was a must. Yeah. Gotta always have the cheetah prints. Also, in this new RV, we've done plants, which I don't really know what I'm doing, but they've survived so far. When we saw that this RV had a fireplace, we were like, come on now, can't we just put like a shelf in there or, or something? A storage area, a yeah. Storage. We're not like going to need a fireplace. Well, guess what? The first cold night, I was so happy we had the fireplace. <laughs> the other thing that we did in this one was we put in a lot of wood accents, like around the slide out trim. We have some bamboo shades up here. Our table is wood. Um, and I feel like the wood really makes it warmer in here and it like gives it more of that homey feel. Please know all this stuff we're talking about doing, we did an RV in about two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. We gave ourselves just that amount of time and said, we're gonna focus on this pretty much full time. Yeah. And we're gonna knock this out and we're gonna get it done. So it's possible. You don't need a ton of time to do it and you can make it work. So why would we wanna take a brand new RV that we just got and change everything? Uh, that's a good question and people ask us that a lot. Well, this RV in particular, the Montana, came beautifully off the showroom floor. Like this was one of the best interior layouts that I've seen in an RV. So we absolutely loved it, but we had to make it more fitting for our family. Like we have four kids and we travel full time. So we had to do, make some decisions to fit that lifestyle. This is a small space and we're in it a lot. So it needs to be kid friendly. So some of the things we have, like we have a basketball hoop in our RV. Yeah, sometimes Craig wants to take that basketball and whip it out the window, but I'll tell you what, the kids love it. They love it. They, they have like the perfect like half court right here and they, they use it a They lot. love it, <laughs> their friends love it, yeah. they've all dunked on it, like yeah. they've had a ton of fun with it. Yeah. And the other thing that we've done too is to, to make things accessible for the kids. So like we have food out, when they're hungry they can just grab it or their water bottles have a spot where it can just go. Um, and it's easy for them because some of these cabinets are really tall that we make sure everything is on their level and they can get to everything pretty easily. So one of our biggest tips for people that want to make their RV feel like home is just go for it. If we were afraid to do it, we would be kind of making our lifestyle adjust to what the RV was, but we did it the other way. So we're loving it and it's comfortable and it's functional, which is very important. And use channels like Instagram and you know, like hashtag RV inspiration and things like that to get ideas. We are not Chip and Joanna Gaines by any means. We did a whole lot of like, let's go on Instagram and look at what people did and take a picture and then just use that exact same thing in RV and make it look <laughs> the same way. I will say though, Craig said to me in the beginning, he wasn't sure if it was all gonna come together. He didn't trust me. But in the end, he said, wow, it really all came together. I'm like, it did. well, thank you. Yeah, she did great. <laughs> so did you, so did you. All right, so hopefully that was helpful to try to show you some different tips and ideas to make your RV feel more like home. Mm -hmm. And Camping World has really awesome stores all over the country that are just 
filled with tons of different things that you can use to make your RV feel more like home. We always love when we walk into the Camping World store and it's like, I want that and I want that and I want that. And Craig's like, and we need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should just stay tuned and check out some of the other amazing sessions that will show you more about how to travel awesomely in an RV. And remember, we are Crazy Family Adventure. Yes, crazy. Yes, crazy. Crazy Family Adventure. And you can find us pretty much everywhere online. We have our blog, we also have our YouTube channel, we have a podcast all about full-time travel with kids in an RV, mm -hmm. and we're on all of the social media, Facebook, Instagram, we're even giving TikTok a go. We're on Pinterest, a little bit on Twitter. So check us out all over the place at Crazy Family Adventure. Signing off. <laughs>
Yeah, if we're looking at pros and cons, if I'm gonna replace furniture and pay for furniture, I don't wanna have to cut it up to get it inside. <laughs> I think that's a, that's, it's not really a positive to an upgrade. Right, yeah, whereas like, you know, the, the uh, Thomas Paine collection or T. Paine collection for short, I like to say, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, the backs a lot of times are removable, like on your uh, theater seats and stuff like that. So of course you're able to uh, get them in through the door. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that's definitely you know again you're kind of uh, some of those things that that you need to look at um, as far as options available. That I think is a uh, kind of a big deal as well because it it kind of lets you almost redesign your floor plan in a sense. You know, it, it hasn't always been theater seats have not always been in RVs. I mean, that's something you know the last couple of years where they start bringing theater seats in. So uh, you know, if you're looking to upgrade and you have maybe a couple of chairs and you're like, you know, I just want something maybe it's a little more stylish, a little more comfortable, you can go to theater seats. And in fact, you can get some fancy ones like you got over there. I have buttons. Check this out. I have buttons. I'm always about pushing <laughs> buttons. <laughs> um, and one of the things I really like about the power theater seats is I've you know dealt with a lot of customers and when you're dealing with a footrest, if it's one, you know, again, you're talking residential, you have like a handle on the side, mm -hmm. In order to put that back, a lot of times you have to use your legs and shove it back in. And that can be a little tough, especially if you're older, you have mm -hmm. knee problems, or you just don't have the hamstring strength. Whereas with the power, you, you touch a button and it's done. Yeah, and we've actually had, uh, I've, I've heard of customers replacing the theater seating with the recliners because maybe like, honey does this. And if I do this, <laughs> maybe it like does this for power. everybody. <laughs> and so instead, it's like a standalone piece. It's like shake your foot over on your own chair I, and not with I mine too. I can understand that. And then a lot of them have the uh, center console that you mm -hmm. can hide the remote in here. And I can, um, I have the light up cup holders and things like that. That's another good option too. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Because you, you can get, I mean, you can get them with heat. You can get them with vibration. Mm hmm um, something I always like to remind customers though, I mean, like anything else, right, there's always pros and cons. So if, if powered theater seats are something that you're thinking about or, or a powered chair, just bear in mind, you need to make sure there's an electrical outlet nearby to be able to plug that in. Um, a lot of people forget about that and then you have to, you can run an extension cord, of course, but it's generally not, you know, the most appealing thing ever. Right. Um, so, you know, if you are thinking power, just try to keep that in mind, but they definitely have huge advantages in, in terms of ease and again, just be able to kind of sit back and relax. Yeah, and also, um, as far as like options go, mm -hmm. your trifold sofa to your hide a bed is a good yes. replacement to, or a reason to replace as well. Yes. If you need that change. Yeah, in fact, you know, I this is a trifold. Let me, for anyone that hasn't seen how a trifold works, let me show you to explain why people love them. So with the trifold, as you can see, I mean, it's comfortable to sit on. I mean, you can see the actual, you know, cushion itself here. I mean, you know, how thick that cushion is. Um, excellent foam density there. But the thing about a trifold, one, is it's super easy. I mean, just like that, you just pull it up, fold the legs down, you can drop it down just like so. Then you just drop this back one down and boom, there you go. There's your bed. That's all it takes. Um, and again, these are much lighter weight than we're talking about with the residential. They're comfortable. They're simple and easy to use. And I mean, you know, that's what the majority of RV manufacturers are using now for obvious reason. Yeah, in most of the new campers, you're definitely gonna get a trifold over the hide a bed that's going to really go down in there and pull yeah. out. And probably for weight uh, reasons, I would imagine. Yes. Because even RV, the, the hide a bed option is gonna be a little heavier. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Cause you, I mean, you know, they do still have, if, if that's what you're into, if you really want to hide a bed, uh, they do still make them. So you can still get RV hide a beds. Uh, but again, they're just not nearly as popular as the, the trifold for good reason. Um, in, in color options, I mean, there are a lot of different color options available as well as the upholstery, whether you want something a little more cloth, you know, whether you like uh, something like this, where it's a little bit more durable, easy to clean up, uh, plenty of options there to be able to match what you have in your RV too. What do you think, Ellen? Should we, we have some outside? Should we go kind of show people, speaking of some different options, yeah, different color options, that. take yeah. a look at that? Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. I will say the grayish, as you said, <laughs> looks fairly nice in there with that decor. Yes, yes. Uh, I am I am a fan of the grayish. It hits a lot of different notes for me. I mean, you know, it's, uh, you get kind of the, 
the beige tones that you know are a little more neutral so you can spice it up um, and you know gray even though it's kind of a colder color it doesn't with the grayish blend it doesn't feel cold you yeah. know it still feels warm and homey yeah which I like. and you can spice it up with all of your colored decor that you'd like to it pretty much goes with anything that's exactly it yeah if, if you want you know you need color you can get you know nice throw pillows you can get a throw blanket start throwing some things in get some you know decor in the kitchen that kind of bring those colors in and really just help pull everything together yeah and i think whenever you are maybe you have an older camper but it's just your baby yeah. I mean, we talk to our customers and they're like, I have that 95 that I just cannot let go of. They, yep. they might have their brand new one, but they never let go of that old baby, but they just want to spice it up on the inside. And I mm -hmm. think replacing the furniture, I mean, we have so many options out here that you can really find whatever color you need to go in, whatever year oh, RV you have. Absolutely. I mean, like this one right here is, is a tan. Um, again, this is a trifold sofa, as I mentioned, that, you know, that is going to be a lot more popular. Um, and you know, it, it comfortable bed, lightweight. I mean, like you said, you and I move this thing with ease. So inside it had the three cushions and this one has the two. Is that mm -hmm. a king versus a queen size width? Yep. So, so right. So this is more of what, you know, would be like a, a love seat versus, uh, versus your full sofa. So one of the things you'll find with RV furniture is that they have ranges that are going to be a, a lot closer to what you'll need in the RV. So, you know, your slide boxes will only be so wide. The back of your RV will only be so wide. So they're going to make sure that, you know, the sizes you can get and you can get, I think it's like 62 up to 70 something, right? Mm -hmm. um, you can kind of get within that range, but that's exactly it. This will be a little bit smaller bed. So if you are going to put two people here, uh, you know, you probably want to be okay cuddling up a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're, you're exactly right. Now the chair you're in, a Euro style chair. I still have a recline. I don't have a button in this chair. But. But I can still hang out. Exactly. Get comfy. And I love this chair because you don't have to have a place for a chair in your RV to get this chair in your RV. And I think that that's really important because maybe you don't, I mean, I don't want to remove an entire theater seating. Sure. But maybe every once in a while, I have an extra person that I want to put a chair in there. And you can just bring this into the living room and be A-OK -okay with that. Oh, absolutely. And, and it, it's small and it, it is fairly portable because the back actually folds down. So if you have a fifth wheel, I mean, you know, you can fit it in most pass-throughs. So like I said, if you just need to pull it out, set it up, you can absolutely do that. Yeah. And it's lightweight. Yeah. It's very, very lightweight and compact. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice yeah. there. And so the Thomas Paine over yes. here, yes. that's more of the cloth feel like what we were talking about. Correct. I think that's, yeah, so you don't see the cloth as much, but I really like that if you have pets and stuff. Yep, that's so exactly what I was gonna say. you don't have to worry about claws and fingernails and things like that picking that up. That is, I, I, I think that is the number one reason I have that people choose cloth is for exactly that, because they have pets and you know they don't do very well on, on some of your synthetic materials whereas like your your cloth i mean it's just a lot easier for them to get up and down and um we like say not have all the claw marks and everything on there and and this one is nice too because it's a little bit smaller you know we talk about mm -hmm. size if you're looking for you know something a little bit smaller maybe you just don't have a ton of space or you have one of those situations where you do have a slide out that needs to kind of come in and out uh this one right here will fit a lot of times in that space which is great and then over next to that, talking a little bit different, you know, again, you're getting a little bit bigger. That's kind of like your, your uh, oversized lazy boy, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, that particular one you can see is also powered. So that one has a vibration in there. Sometimes you can get the heat with them. That one does recline, has a little side pocket. So you have a place to put the remote, which is super handy. And the great one, the great thing about that is whenever you run into those situations with the slide, so maybe you're gonna put two recliners in the back, that's a full swivel so rotating those into each other so you can bring those slides in yep coming from someone who has moved a lot of chairs in the back of <laughs> rvs it's not lugging it up and turning them both in it just swivels in and you're all good to clear your slides and move them in yep and you know with with rv furniture too i mean you know it's uh, while some stuff is stocked if you want to order if you have you know colors that you want uh, if you have certain pieces RV furniture is absolutely orderable. I mean, you can get the size you want for the sofa. Um, you know, you can you can pick your design. They have different 
uh, designs that are going to be available as far as the, the furniture and cushions and stitching and everything itself. And you can absolutely, you know, order a piece that's going to be perfect for, for your RV. Right. Like the one we, we had inside, it has the small center console with just the two compartments and not, I shouldn't say console because it doesn't have the console itself, but Movable we can replace. Armrest. Yes. Removable armrest uh, in case you want to get closer to your partner over there. But <laughs> if not, you can get the big console that has the, the heat and everything yeah. in, in that as well. Absolutely. Well, Kaylin, thank you so much uh, for taking the time with me today. And again, just kind of going through some of the different options when it comes to RV furniture, some of the advantages that they have, in my opinion, over residential furniture. And again, if you're looking to really spice up the interior of your RV, you know, if it's a little dated, you want to do some renovation, maybe get some new colors or change up the floor plan a little, getting different RV furniture, in my opinion, is probably one of the best ways to do it. Thanks for showing me around a little bit. Absolutely. Thanks, Kaylin. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacation just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. So great to have Kalen and Ian talking about the interior. So important where you get a chance to choose and customize the interior of your vehicle, which is truly remarkable. Sean Park, great to be back with you. And uh, two lovely ladies. And thank you so much. Guys. Hello, it's Sean. Been a great day, hasn't great it? Be, yes, it's been such a fun day. been great to be here. We've yes. had a blast. We've given away some great stuff. Yes. Oh, thank you for reminding me because we've got some ultimate giveaways at the ultimate RV show and let's get crazy cuz i have some names here and thank you drum so roll. much you want a drum roll a drum roll yeah <laughs> <laughs> just like rehearsal points for effort uh, bruce lant congratulations you just won a 50 dollar merchandise gift certificate Woo! from our friends at camping world walk on in and get whatever you want there for 50 bucks debbie wong you are also a winner I, it's almost like i'm doing the golden globes voice here <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Frank Pappas, another winner, $50 merchandise gift card. Ooh. And ladies and gentlemen, this name has three names. It's actually Wendy Parker Class, which sounds like a character on an NBC television show. Wendy Parker Class, starring <laughs> as the wonderful Wendy, congratulations. You also won a $50 merchandise gift certificate. That is awesome. Wow, congratulations, everyone. So let's talk about this cougar. Now, personally, I don't want to be known for being a cougar, <laughs> but I want to be known for driving a cougar. Yes, I went there, but let's talk about this cougar. Double vanities. That means we can both get ready together. At the same time, hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. Same time. Yes. Wow. We're talking Amazing. theater seats. <laughs> we have a fireplace. Oh my gosh. So many wonderful things. There's a huge island and there's even an optional king size bed. Oh. Double vanities and a king size bed, ladies. I love Ooh. the fact that you said double vanities. It's like I, I'm standing in between two beautiful vanities myself, these oh, lovely sure. ladies. But no, you guys, are, are <laughs> seriously, we've got to talk about this is a first look. This is a big deal. This just came off the line. Brand Can't new. Wait. Chris is going to tell us all about it. Let's send it over to Chris. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young here with Joe Bertles for Keystone Cougar. Now, Joe, but before we get started. Yes, sir. Tell me which unit are we in right here? We are in our brand new 316 RLS. This is a mid-profile fifth wheel, and this is a first look. You're getting an exclusive look, first time ever, at this brand new 2021 Keystone Cougar 316 RLS. Now, if you like this unit, and you say, Chris, I gotta have that one. How do I get this one? Let me go ahead and tell you right now, text EZRV, that's four letters, EZRV, to 32094, or just leave us a comment, Easy RV, or give us a call, 866-853-3510. Joe, have I told you about Easy RV yet? No. Okay. Uh, Jack, tell me out. a little more about it. Dude, this is the coolest thing. All right, so you know right now, it's, it's tough for people to get out and right. about as much as they'd like to. And there's a little trepidation. Yep. Now, we have devices where we can call each other from across the country, cell right. phones. We got devices that'll cook a meal in 30 seconds. Right. Technology is at a place where we can also give somebody an RV at their house without them even having to leave their house. Okay. They text Easy RV to 32094. Let's say they love this rear living mid-profile fifth wheel. We got one where they're at. 
somebody's ready right now with a camera standing by to give them a virtual walkthrough, answer all those questions that you and I aren't really going to get a chance to get to okay. in, in the first look, but they'll be able to handle one-on-one. -on -one. Love it. Then they can talk to a finance specialist. Okay. All the paperwork will be sent to them in the mail with postage paid, envelopes included. Because, you know, when, when we do the dinners, I leave y'all with the bill. I'm not going to do that, that happens. with the envelope. That's not going to happen. <laughs> then our specialists are also going to home deliver that unit to them. Give them the same walkthrough they'd get at Camping World, and then all they got to do is go camping. That's amazing. That's awesome. We would bring this to them. That's awesome. Well, Let's I mean, actually, actually, I mean, since we're in here, you and I would have to bring this to them. You, do, so. you don't, folks. You don't want me hooking up and calling your camper. <laughs> we'll let the professionals do that. We'll let the pro. But that's what Easy RV is all about. So just give us a text, Easy RV to three two zero nine four, or just drop a comment down below, Easy RV. Now. I'm a big fan of Keystone Cougar. We've had this conversation before, yep. but tell it because we had a lot of people who are first timers. Tell me about how the Keystone Cougar mid profile fifth wheels are made and what is a mid profile sure. fifth wheel? Sure. Well, what the Cougar brand has been around since 1998. So we've been there, we've right. seen everything. We got 165,000 Cougars on the road today. Wow. So whatever you're going to come, gonna come across in your camping, yeah. we've seen it, we've engineered it out of it and you're ready to go. Right. So what has made our brand so successful is value. We put more value in a Cougar than any other product out there, whether it's big, huge windows, big windows along the back, better AC systems, um, better lamination process on your exterior walls, things that you don't have to think about other than just go camping and have fun. Right. That's kind of what's built the success of the Cougar brand. The thing I like about the Cougars too, you guys do a really good job. You include some of those creature comforts of home. So like for example, Absolutely. in this rear living unit that we're in right here, the rear wall dominated by a trifold sofa, and yep. this is the plush pillow top. Yep. Love that, the microfiber. But you got some of the biggest windows because you know not only for airflow, but comfort, yeah. if people don't enjoy the camping experience, chances right. are they're not going to want to do it again. Right. So having some of those small creature comforts yep. of home are big, like these giant shaker style cabinets with the frosted glass windows that you have in here, the yep. brush nickel fixtures going all the way around. And the designer nailed it yeah. with the layout and the look of this one. I love that. Kev, yep. see if you can get in there and take, take a look at this almost like cabin slash barn style appearance we have in here. So, so with this new driftwood decor, that's what we're in. We were kind of going with that classic rugged, the, the, the antique white with some really kaji comfortable feel in here. Um, so you've got the nice traditional darker cabinets, but you've got the wider kitchen that, let's be honest, everybody is going crazy about it. Yeah. It's nice, it's bright, it's open, mm -hmm. and it's a great blend of, of, of senses that as you come in, you're like, you look here, and then you look here, and then right. you just look over. So uh, Amy Gray is our designer that yeah. laid this out, and she nailed it. She did it nail awesome. it. Yeah, I, I don't think she liked me calling it farmhouse, though, because not everybody has a farmhouse. Right. It's like it's a right. modern, rustic decor. That's exactly That's Okay, I dig it. That's exactly I get what it. we're going for. So, which, if you take a look all the way from the slip-resistant floor yep. to this, which is why I love the rear living format so well, we have not only so much space because of the opposing slides here, but with these recliners that we have, the entertainment center sitting right across from Directly us. Directly across. <sighs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, so tell me about the features that we have over here in the entertainment center. So with in all of our Cougar fifth wheels, we always put a big 50 inch TV in there. And a lot of people are like, oh, you're going camping. But you know, camping has expanded so much that um, you know, these become second homes and be condos. Yeah. You know, it's not just being at the campground anymore. And let's be honest, when there's some rainy days, sometimes you want to just kick back and relax. Yeah. So we put big TVs in here, fireplaces, so you get that modern look. But they also, again, we're camping. Right. We'll raise your ambient temp on a cool morning, take the chill off. And then, again, with Cougar and storage, that's one of the things that makes our brand. Behind all of our big 50-inch TVs, right. you're going to have huge hidden storage. So DVDs. I tell people, this is the best spot to put the good Girl Scout cookies yes. that you don't want to share. Yeah. <laughs> throw them back there. <laughs> Nobody's going to so look. So there's, there's a lot of functionality, a lot of storage, uh, a lot of residential features, but still have all those core assets that you need to go camping. Storage, space, right. things like that. Well, adding the swivel arm, too, I thought was a great feature because yep. let's say we come back from fishing, we come back from hunting or whatever, we come back yep. from the beach. I don't want to sit down dirty, but I'm hungry. I'll grab something out of the fridge do it right there on the counter, yep. but still want to be able to see the game. You got so a, you got a great viewing angle. Out. Great this viewing is a great angle, angle all the way across. Absolutely. Yeah. Good, very good touch. Counter space as well. 
We got more storage up top with strut support. And this, uh, this the fireplace, I know it's one of those things where you say, oh, you know, if you're cold, still cut on the heater. Right. But with the blower that we have here and the multiple lights, the multiple flame settings, yep. dude, it does a good job heating this area. It does. It and does. And cold night, Yep. you're at the beach, you're at the lake, the mountains, whatever. If it's a nice cool night, open the windows, cut that yep. on. Those recliners Absolutely. are sleepers, man. Yep. I don't care what Absolutely. nobody says. You can I, sleep in there. I tell people, they'll kick back. Plus, they have heat. Heat, <laughs> I mean, lights, heat. massage. I mean, if you have to sleep here, let's be honest, it's not awful. It's, it's not awful. Great spot for a nap. It is. Watching a baseball game. It's a great spot to hang out for an hour or two. I know all too well. I know all too well. I, I say it all the time. If you get a chance to look at the reviews that we do, you know, for, for the RVs, I say all the time, if you you can sleep in this recliner, yeah. man, easily. All day long. Solid surface kitchen island. So having the opposing slides here kind of allowed you guys to put this in. But tell me about the design change, because I sure. noticed this is different from the one from last year. Sure. So what we had to do, again, engineering-wise, we, we, we think through everything uh, before we put it out there. So one of our new options is you can build this and we can option this with a residential reefer. Okay, so this is a this is your tr traditional LP, four door, you get the same cabinet hard air, hardware on the doors, but if you do a residential refrigerator option, these doors swing, and so we had to notch this Got to accommodate the, the residential space. reefer. Okay, so, I dig it. Uh, we lose a little bit of countertop, not much, but you still have, still kept the depth, so you have all of your drawers, mm -hmm. all your storage. Some folks, again, they want that residential reefer, some want the LP, yeah. Hey Cougar, you tell us what you want and we'll get it for you. And that's solid wood construction, yep. deep on a, on a full extension ball bearing drives. So that's good construction. Plus you got the brush nickel fixtures. The other thing I like with this 50-50 deep undermounted stainless steel sink, you got the high rise faucet yep. with the sprayer oh, wow. handle. Absolutely. Pull out, it makes it so easy for cleaning stuff up. And I got my drying rack and my cutting board. Yep. The double is covered. So plenty of countertop space. The other design change that you guys did this year that I, I really like is the beveled inlay with the kitchen. It opens this space it up. It really does. Yeah. Big time. It, you feel like, I mean, it's not that big of, of a change, but you really do feel like you got more it, you, elbow room. It does. It, yeah. it widens this up. The other thing that we always do that you'll find in a lot of our, well, most of our, our, our Cougars, a lot of our half tons, is rather than have a backsplash down here, we put big horizontal windows back here, right. light up this workspace area, get a, a lot of natural light back in there. A lot of times this is kind of a spot where it's kind of a dark hole. We yeah. want to open that up and get you as much light in here as possible. So. Your buddy Chris Stender calls it mama's window. <laughs> He's like, you know how mama always had that window back mama, over there? Yeah, mama, mama, <laughs> mama needs that light. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the flush mounted three burner stove, plenty of prep space. Yep. I got my pop-up outlet over there. Once again, storage is never going to be lacking inside of a Cougar, and this 316 RLS is just a prime example of that. Flush mounted with the microwave too. So More one thing that's always underneath. a focal point when you talk about storage too with Cougar is under the sinks. Sure. We always make sure when we again when we lay and design these out, you got a dedicated spot for a trash can. Yeah. Many times when you guys go camping, you'll see your neighbors. They've got the bag hanging on the yeah on the trash door. bag hanging yeah. outside or on the fridge. At Cougar, we want to make sure that you've got a spot for it. Get it out of the way, be sanitary, and you're not looking at trash while right. you're camping. So. Well, you know, and that's one of the things people fight me over all the time is, you know, the proper placement of things inside an RV. Look, here's the deal. It's your RV, okay? You're the one that's going to buy it. You can put whatever you want inside these storage cabinets. If you say, look, this is beautiful. I could set this up down by my lake and yeah. use it as a hunting cabin. Yeah, it's a good spot as a fishing cabin, or use it as the ladies' getaway for the beach weekends, whatever. And you want to put your beach gear down here. You want to put your grab and go bag down there. You want to put your tackle box there. Guess what? You can do it. You can do it. It's yours. You, you can do it. So we got the four door fridge. We got yep. a, a giant pantry with the motion sensing light as well, uh, plus a little bit of storage underneath. More of the prep space over here, or coffee station, I guess you could say. Yep. Um, just the beautiful residential feel that we have with these frosted glass inlays. Dude, it's such a nice touch. Plus, hidden hinges. Once again, a residential touch and feel. Um, but the thing I think I like the most about this space, other than the entertainment space, is the freestanding dinette. Because this is the reconnection spot. Yep, absolutely. When you think about what is RVing all about, really, it's about getting out and getting away, yep. reconnecting with the loved ones and disconnecting from everything else. 
Sure. And um, the design that you have here on the table, I guess this is what, like a distress? Distress wood, again, with that modern rustic. Yeah. So matches yeah. matches some of our ceiling pendants as well. So there's a good flow that runs all the way through. Right. Now, this is a new dinette for us. And you'll notice this one's attached to the wall. Yeah. It doesn't have that center pedestal. Okay. So oh, it's so a it's much a, sturdier design. It's kind of like the dream. Absolutely. Yeah, You've got okay. a lot of open space underneath there. Um, nice. Folks that, if they have dogs and they want a spot for a dog crate, you can slide that in there. You don't have that pedestal in the way. And it still has, uh, we maintained our, our Cougar slide system table, if you're right. familiar with that. Where yep. you, can, you can slide that makes easy access in and out. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the, the features you found in Cougar, we retained in this new driftwood decor and styling. Uh, yeah, the, I, the things you kept the same, I like, as, as always, the, some of the largest in-class windows. You got the wood valances with the accents around them. For campsite, when you're talking about enjoying that camp-cooked meal right here and reconnecting with the loved ones, you can look and get the airflow pretty much from every direction. And I did just notice uh, yep. right up here on top, uh, yeah, this does match it the distressed. Yeah, it ties in. I don't know if you can kind of see the, the distressed feel on that as well. Very nice touch. Now, mid-profile versus full profile. Sure. As we kind of uh, you know make our way up here to okay. the uh, to the bathroom, tell me a little bit about what's the difference between mid-profile and full profile. Well, as you're moving up, we're going to be in a, in a weight segment that's anywhere from ten thousand to eleven thousand five hundred pounds. So okay. We're in a lighter segment. As you look at the roof line back into the living space, you can mm -hmm. see how it's got that tapered roof line. Sure. Whereas a full profile might be straighter. So your cap's gonna kind of dip around. So it's gonna be a little bit more of an aerodynamic design. Right. Get it behind your truck, less weight, let's get on down the road. Okay. So that's kind of your differences between the two. Right. The mid-pro segment though, uh, we've kind of blended that over the years where uh, you don't really sacrifice anything when you're getting into that mid-pro segment other than weight and length. So right. um, that's about all it is. We've got big showers, king beds, Residential refrigerator. Sure. So the mid-pro segment has really evolved in the last couple of years. The features have really stepped up. It's hard they, they, to tell they really what's the difference. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, mm -hmm. I think I think you're right. If it's one of those things between the difference between 2,500 or 3,500, you know, obviously if you have a 3,500, sure, take take a look at full profile. If you don't, you're not going to lose anything. You're not losing a whole lot coming down to you yep, know. You're not losing a whole lot. You're not, and it's not really a, a come down to anything. It's a, oh, it's a check out my mid profile. That's right. Just speaking of, check out my single surround shower that I have here with the bench seat easily. I and, and I'm 6'2". Joe, I know you're taller than me. Uh, neither one of us would have problems getting in here. And the skylight gives us additional headroom. Got the corner notches, the glass doors, brush nickel fixtures all the way around. Just once again, adding that residential flow and feel. You really don't even need the light on with that skylight. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush. And double vanity sink. That's a new feature in the 316 is the double vanity sink. Drawers down below. Lots of storage. Someone heard my plea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone heard my plea. It's like, look, here's the thing. Once again, if you have any questions about anything that you see here or you say, Chris, I love that rear living style of fifth wheel. Where can I get one? How do I get my hands on this? You know that during the show, you're gonna get the best deals, humanly possible. It's simple, Easy RV is here. Just text Easy RV to 32094, drop us a comment, Easy RV. People are standing by right now to help you find a double vanity sink. And one of the things that I would always say is when you're camping, even a creature comfort of home that's sometimes overlooked, is a lot of times at home, you have two sinks. That's right. So when you're coming back or when you're prepping to go, you and the loved one are trying to That's get right. going at the same time. Having this makes a big difference. Makes a world of difference. Plus we still got, you don't lose any storage. Nope. I mean, coming in here, you don't lose any storage at all. Plus I have notch storage, pantry storage pantry here. Storage. Ward storage over here as well. Hanging towel bar. Yep. Spot so, for a trash can. Everything. Yeah. That was a good, that was a good touch. It's a very good touch. Now, Head guys, this way. Yeah, you guys head on to the bat to the uh, master. I'm gonna come in behind you, Kev. Tell me a little bit about this master bedroom. So up here in the master, um, we this one's not equipped with a second AC, but we have dual AC options on every floor plan. This is 50 amp service, so it's wired and prepped and framed for us. So this can be added. Uh, all of our second AC options are ducted with the main AC, so you're gonna get that super efficient flow of air going back and forth. No. No standalone dump units in the bedroom. Right. So hot days, uh, you can really get some airflow going. Again, with the windows, you can see on both sides of the bed, we've got ventilation so you can get that cross air. We do the blackout shades up here. 
in case some of y'all want to sleep in in the morning. Right. Okay? It kind of keeps that out. This is a king bed. We can also do a queen. But again, in that mid pro to offer the king beds, we're, we're blurring the lines a little bit. Still have some under the bed storage. And what we always talk about up here is you'll notice in the corner there, we've got outlets, charging station. Dual USB charging. Okay. We also have that over here. So alarm clocks, charger phones, CPAP machines. Uh, we always have outlets on both sides. This 316 has outlets on both sides. So if you have a CPAP machine, if you have your alarm clock, you sleep on the right side of the bed at home, sleep on the right side here in your camper. I was just about to gig you for not having nightstand spots. Sleep on it right there. Yeah, we got it. We got a little hidden spot. So uh, again, lots of storage. Slide this open. Okay, you've still got the, the accent walls in here, which dresses mm -hmm. this up. This that one also has washer style. and dryer prep. Great feature. Tons of storage up top here as well. I love how you guys moved the window from the middle uh, over and gave me a bigger space for airflow as well as you know brightness right there. Yeah. You don't lose any space really with the armoire, uh, which once again, solid wood construction on those brush nickel fixtures, deep drawers, and TV mounting TV bracket, prep. which is at the foot of the bed. I'm not looking across the bed. Yep. Great touch. So, so Joe, I mean, I, I got to tell you, take, taking a first look at the all new 2021 Cougar 316 RLS, I'm, I'm impressed once again. Uh, what you guys have done with the design is you, you've listened to people and you've added features once again that sure. are going to be beneficial. You know, the, the, the benefit of us as manufacturers reps is, uh, unfortunately, we don't have Hershey this year. And that's why we're doing the Ultimate RV Show. Sure. But we get to get out. You know, when you go to the Hershey show, you go to the Cleveland show, you go to the Tampa show, we're there, mm -hmm. we're interacting with customers and we're listening to what they say. I mean, I come back from every show and I've got, <laughs> got we take notes. that back to our designers, yeah. our engineers. Hey, let's make this product better for the people that are using it. And, you know, once again, if you have any questions or if this is one that you want to see, we have experts standing by and they are ready. All you got to do, just drop a comment, Easy RV, four letters down below or text easy rv to 32094 even i can get that one do you know why they had to do it because that's about the length of my goldfish <laughs> style memory right there now beautiful fiberglass yep. exterior how big's my awning right here we got so dual a, awning this is going to be an 11 foot awning and then another 10 here so your entire you know a lot of times the opposing slides give you a huge room yeah. inside mm -hmm. the downside is it it may eat up some camp space. Well, we right. solved that. We went ahead and put a second awning. You can put both of these out, and now you've got awning coverage the entire length of your coach side. Solera, so they're power, they're adjustable, mm -hmm. they're wind sensitive. Correct. We got the uh, external speakers as well. LED running lights under both. Another thing with these with these drop frames, the pass through storage that's been increased. Uh, the magnetic slam latch baggage doors. Anti slam. Just yeah. Drop them. Love it because the kids. <laughs> you know, kids, they don't shut anything nope. politely. Nope. That's getting slammed. Um, I see I got my Key TV and my in-command yes. all right here. Tell me a little bit about Key TV and in-command. So Key TV is, again, one of those things that, that over the years, Keystone has said, how do we build a better camper? Sure. Okay, and I always, when I do training at dealerships, when I talk to customers, you get a customer that's using a satellite dish or whatever, mm -hmm. and the first thing is they're like, I want to hook up my satellite dish. Right, right. It's a, do you have a schematics? How do I do this? How right. do I do that? How do I um, chase those wires all the way through my camera? Right. Where's the TV signal going? So the innovation that Keystone came up with was Key TV. And what this is, is there's a, there's a box back there on, on the other side where you plug it in, and we simplified it. If you're on a satellite. Right there is where you can get. You've got a coax simple for satellite, coax for cable TV. And behind the box that feeds that, there is a single coax line that runs direct to every TV. Nice. So I always tell people, it's kind of like my Tommy Boy pitch. You guys remember the movie Tommy yeah, Boy, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Put the little end of the big end. If you can't <laughs> figure it out, Tommy will come by and hit you with a hammer. So if you're running satellite, <laughs> plug it into the satellite and whatever TV it goes to, you've got a direct. I don't have any splitters. I don't have any jumpers. I don't right. have any boosters. It's a direct signal to every single TV. I hope during the design everything. change pitch meetings, you got you actually said that. I hope that's how it came <laughs> out. And in command is another great advancement. We're talking yep. about technology. This is where... Uh, the in-command panel's inside, but you're able to control the slides, the the awnings, the the leveling from Correct. your cell phone. Correct. So uh, again, more innovations with uh, with Keystone Cougar. Uh, the in-command system is on everything, whether it's a fifth wheel or a travel trailer. It just gives you more easy application. Uh, one really nice thing: we're down here. You're at the beach. You're yep. hunting. You're camping. The other thing it can do: if you have internet at your campground and you've got your unit plugged in, sure. 
I'm out in a tree stand and it's kind of cold. I'm yeah. down at the beach as hot as can be. An hour before I get to my camper, I can pull my phone out, turn my ACs on, adjust my temp. That's the, I think the most powerful thing. Get it cooler, get it warm before you get back. Yep. You it. It, you're out shopping for the day. You're out sightseeing. The dogs are home. Pull that app up. You can see what the temp is in the coach and make sure they're safe and comfortable. Now, see, we have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly Correct. under there. Yep. Yeah. So in addition to our enclosed underbelly, we've got 12 volt electric heat pads on our mm -hmm. tanks. So as you're going down the road. Yes. I'm from Indiana. Yep. That March drive from Indiana for spring break down to Florida. A lot of times you run into some funky yeah. weather. Throw those heat tank tank heaters on. Yeah. Don't worry about having water in your tanks freezing and things like That's that. That's such a nice feature. People don't understand that when you're in transit and that cold weather hits, that thing freezes and breaks. Yep. That's an issue you don't want to handle. That's a problem. So now I've always been a fan of how you guys did the end caps. Not only they completely molded all the way around, but you got the LED run-in lights, yep. the painted, uh, the road armor hitch. These are fantastic for fifth wheels because the great thing about fifth wheels you know that you're not a, a travel trailer and your truck are like this but with the fifth wheel that weight's distributed more into the bed of your truck right. so you're towing you know better and having a smoother. much yeah smoother and a much so bigger this, turning this radius. pivoting head as well takes away what they kind of call the chucking and bucking when you come yeah. to a light or you take off it locks and bangs in there this will rotate and absorb a lot of that some so rubber in there that, that absorbs it you don't have that yeah. bang when you start and stop. So it really smooths out that ride. Right. Now, if we come right here to the off-camp side, we got our command center right here, the other side of a pass-through storage. Yep. Uh, the external commands, which I keep waiting for you guys to patent that. Um, love it. External shower, winterization, city connection, tank flush, and my termination controls, as well as key TV connection, battery disconnect, and yep. solar prep. But electronic leveling, one touch. Done. Done. Set it. Walk away. Talk about convenience. I love how Chris says it's saving marriages. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. When you sure. setting up, especially if you've never done it, having electronic leveling and auto leveling, it's a must. Absolutely. It is absolutely. It's a feature that when you do get it, if you didn't have it, you're going to say, why did I not have it? Yeah. Why did I not have it? We um, want you camping, not working on it. True fit slides too. Correct. Which mm -hmm. uh, the true fit slides are important because it really minimizes the use of the components. And when you minimize stuff, you have less stuff that can break. Yep. My terminations down here. Yep. Main dumps and now upgraded suspension system, E-rated ten ply tires. Again, really. Okay. All the components. Again, we talk about a smooth ride. Towability is so important. Right. And again, that's another one of those value features that Cougar's always focused on: towability, right. storage. You've got the advanced pin box. You've got E-rated ten ply tires. Right. You've got the the matching road armor road suspension, armor suspension. That, that smooths out yeah. all those road vibrations. You know, as you're going down the road, it eats it up. It doesn't go over the walls and is constantly beating on your cabinets and things yeah. like that. So. And I'm I'm a big fan of the road armor suspension because you do get that. It doesn't. The ride is so much better. So Plus, smooth. you're already on you know 15 inch aluminum wheels with the Dexter Easy Loop axles yep. behind it, and that itself will make life easy. so much easier. Yeah, yeah, easier. But speaking of easy. Yeah. You had to bring it up. I, it, you had to bring it up. Trans <laughs> King of transitions, baby. Speaking of EZ, if you love this all-new 2021 Keystone Cougar 316 RLS and you want this one, you got to get on it right now because this is a first look, a limited time chance for you to get in on a limited number of these. Text EZRV32094. Drop me a comment. EZRV, four letters. EZRV, EZRV. Easy RV, easy RV, easy RV, easy RV. Just keep typing it until somebody says, fine, you can have it. Then give us a call, 866-853-3510. We have specialists standing by right now. If you say, I love the rear living fifth wheels, how can I get one? They're gonna walk you through, answer all those questions, go over those things that you saw. Hey, Chris and Joe talked about this, but what about this? They'll be able to answer it for you. Then they're gonna put you in touch with a finance specialist who's gonna walk you through paperwork. They're gonna mail it to you. Return envelopes already included with the postage paid. A specialist is going to show up to deliver that camper to you, give you the same walkthrough that you would get at Camping World. Then all you got to do is go camping. That sounds easy. It is super easy. That, that's what we've done. That sounds We want to make it easy because we want people to enjoy that RV life. Get out man. there and go camping. You know how great it is. Get out there and go camping. And you know how great it is in a Keystone Cougar? Get you one and find out. Trust me, you're not. You're going to send me a text message or a comment and be like, Chris was white. Chris was right for once. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It's a beautiful thing. Joe, hey, thank you so much for showing us you. this beautiful My cougar. pleasure. My pleasure. Absolutely. Don't forget, text easy RV to 32094, and we'll be right back with the Ultimate RV Show. So hang around.
Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With all plans currently 50% off, you can't afford to get stuck without it. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. So great to be back. And oh my goodness, what an amazing day this has been. And if we haven't said this enough, thank you to each and every one of you that have been watching and tuning in. And you know, we're talking about over 150 thousand people on day one it's a wednesday for goodness sakes and we're talking about people from all over the world 29 different countries ladies have been tuning in today and we want to thank each and every one of you can i shout some out right now real quick yeah, we've got yeah. uh, new zealand and ireland and japan and south korea and australia brazil thanks to our friends in the uk and of course all of our amazing family of Camping World and Gander, of course, getting ready for the Ultimate RV Show that are dialed in right now. Easy RV, 32094. They've been calling the 800 number all day at 866-853-3510, and they've been checking in and asking about show pricing, show specials, all these amazing things we've been doing at the Ultimate RV Show. I cannot get over how fun this entire event has been. So thanks to you guys at home. You know, it's been such a fun day. We've had nothing but great deals. We've had some great cameras to show you, brand new 2021 models. Such a great day. We've had ultimate giveaways. We've had ultimate show pricing. It has been just the ultimate experience at the ultimate RV show. I love the way you use ultimate. You know, it's, it's been, ultimately ultimate. I love it. 25,000 <laughs> units. And listen, I know you've been uh, tuning in from your laptops and, and your computers at home and at the office, and you've been watching from all over the world, as we've been saying. But we have got some special things. This is day one. If you didn't find the vehicle for you, trust me, we have got so many things still to show you. Four more days worth. Oh, my goodness. So you're yeah. bound We're just to find started. Something. Are you ready to do this? <laughs> Are we ready? We've been talking about this literally all day long. I'm, I'm so excited. It's our favorite part of the day. We've been waiting. Uh-oh. Are we ready? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Ladies it's and gentlemen, for... it's time for... Power Hour! Yes, Chris, Woo! Ian, take it away, guys. <laughs> you know, Ian, that's got to be one of the best parts about capping off a great historic day here at the Ultimate RV Show, having over 150,000 people join us and having Elise, Bria, and Sean up there and Morgan just running the show for us. It's like we're celebrities. <laughs> I mean, people come hunting for you, you're the big dog, I get it, so you already know how it feels. But man, you got to tell me, historic day made today. Yes, sir. 150,000 people have tuned in to see this, and we've had 25,000 units across the country. Chris, all I'm saying is we may be out of a job. With 150,000 people watching, 25,000 25, units, they could be gone. Right, well, we're, yeah, done. we're done. Sorry. We'll see Unreal. you guys we're out here. What happens. <laughs> no, I'm excited because the power hour is happening right now. Yes, sir. And we not only have deals on retail, mm -hmm. we have deals on used units, pre-owned inventory, yes, sir. and overstocked inventory, which, tell me about that. Th that's one of my favorite parts, right? So in case you guys don't know, 
we have some of the biggest inventory out there. Like we've been saying all day, we have over 25,000 pieces of inventory on the ground. And part of that, 5,000 of that is pre-owned and overstocked. When I say overstocked, what I mean, I mean, folks, these are brand new units. Never been used. Never, never been, been touched. Used. Never yes. been touched. Brand new. And you are going to save an absolute killing, and the power hour is the time to do that. It's one of my favorite parts of the night. Yep. And Chris, why don't you tell everyone how they're going to save on power hour? What do they got to do? All you got to do is so easy. Just text SAVE, S-A-V-E, to 32094. You've been texting it all day, but let me tell you, those overstocked items, that inventory, Ian said it's brand spanking new. They're beautiful, haven't been used. You're going to be able to hop in and be, wait a minute, how am I getting such a great deal on this spanking brand new RV? And, and Chris, here's one of my favorite parts, right? We're going to step in the side to the mini Winnie right Winnies. over here. This is pre-owned. And folks, this is why I'm excited about Power Hour. When we're talking about pre-owned, let's wander on over here and take a look because you're going to see exactly what kind of condition we're talking about. Here at Camping World, we give more for trades than anyone else. Guaranteed. 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 It's actually well, part of the Good Sam Assurance. About the guarantee. Yeah. So we actually have a guarantee. It's all part of the Good Sam Total Assurance Program. Brand you, new program, by brand the way. Brand new program. Yes, just starting. And the reason why we're doing it, Ultimate RV Show, we got to give you ultimate deals, including ultimate trade-in deals. We've always had great trade-in pricing, mm -hmm. but we're doing something to make it even better. Chris? Best offer or a thousand bucks cash. Boom. Hands down. Best offer, a thousand bucks cash. You got 24 hours cash in hand. You agree to the deal? Cash is in hand 24 hours. Three-day offer guarantee. We're going to give you that trade-in offer. Shop it around for three days. Try to beat it. Yep. You're not. You're absolutely yep. not. You're not. And because everything today has been about easy, we can bring the RV to you. Same thing with your trades, free appraisals, free pickup, free delivery. You can get your new unit, get rid of your other unit, not even have to leave the comfort of your couch or your camp chair. Here's the other thing, Chris, that a lot of people don't or may not know. While we give the best trades, we'll also buy your unit. Yeah. If, if, if something happened or you're done or whatever it may be, you know, maybe something came up, listen, we'll give you a top dollar for that unit. We want it. We're going to take good care of it. You'll see with this one right here, and uh, Chris, let's go and check it out. I'm telling you. Here's the thing with pre-owned inventory. Sometimes you think, like, you know, I was telling, talking about my dad's. He's got a 92 Gulfstream. Yes, sir. When people think pre-owned, that's the first thing that pops in my head. Yep. It's a 1992. No, no, no. We're talking pre-owned inventory. You get things like this. This is a 2019 Mini Winnie oh. Class C. You know these way better than me. You like the Class Cs. I'm a big fan of them. But tell me about this beauty right here. So, so here's the thing, folks. This is someone who loved to travel. And that's the beauty of when it comes to a Class C. They, they got this, as you said, a 2019, but folks, this has under 40,000 miles on it. If you're looking for a great deal, you're looking to get into a Class C, Mom, Dad, I know that's you. If you're watching yes. this, please, <laughs> right now, right now, you need to text SAVE so you can get this Mini Winnie because it's going to go quick. And folks, that's how it's done with all the pre-owned inventory we have with our overstock items. When you text SAVE, what's going to happen is we will be able to send you a link. And in that link, it will have all of our pre-owned and overstock inventory. And as I said, folks, it's over 5,000 pieces, but... As it's going to be set up where they're at. But folks, with, with the viewership we have, Chris, yeah. I don't know if it's even going to last to the weekend. It probably won't. I mean, I mean, yeah. tonight is night one. I'm yeah. curious to see, you know, when we come back on Friday or on the weekend, right. what we're looking at. Right. You and I have both been there at the dealership. When people come in, well, you know, we think we're going to come back and take a look maybe on Thursday. This is not the time for that. Not going to be here. Absolutely. With 5,000 of those items. And when you when you text SAVE to 32094 and that link sends you there, mm -hmm. it's going to be set up by your area code. Yep. What's closest to you? Best deals, best options, best trade-in values. Yep. This is a 19. This looks new. Look at, look at this. I mean, when I talk about you know our trade-ins being in top condition, this is what I mean. You know, we're gonna make sure everything is pristine in here. It's going to be as clean as possible. You know, you can. I mean, even look at the the dinette. You know, there's basically no wear to it. Like you said, it's, no. it's basically brand new. This was a very loved RV. It, it really is. And, you know, this is the great thing. We talk about this all the time, about the disconnecting and reconnecting. Mm -hmm. When you get a chance to sit down and reconnect with those loved ones, especially yes. at a price point that you're going to get this one for, it, it's it's so much worth it. You get to travel in your safety, your unit, get to reconnect with your loved ones, and go wherever you want. Don't pay for the hotel rooms. Don't pay for the airline tickets. Yes, Ian sir. has shown you so many fantastic RVs. If you're not jumping on the options to snag one that's specifically like this you see this and you say wow i do need a class e that's got a super slide with a jackknife and a, and a u-shaped dinette yeah pass through bathroom well and, and you know and, and get honestly it. <laughs> get it now get it well obviously like i say we have a, a ton of inventory on that list that the thing i really like about motorhomes is the travel 
Hmm. You know, you're gonna, it's gonna be super easy, it's comfortable. Even when this slide is closed, folks, you can still walk all the way back here. You have access to the refrigerator, access to the bathroom. And I'm telling you, Chris, our pre-owned inventory is mm -hmm. second to none, not yep. only in the amount of units we currently have, mm -hmm. but also in the condition that they're in. Yeah. You're talking about the, the, the number one dealership across the country. Yes, sir. And we got the top techs in the world, too, which one of the things, yes. our service folks do not get the plugs that they deserve, yeah. the hard work that they put in. They Very make sure true. when a unit comes in, it's it's not going to leave out unless it's right on, unless it's tip top. That's exactly so, right. It, just look at it. <laughs> Would you look, look at it? Would you just look at it? And speaking <laughs> of, I mean, the other thing I like about the Mini Winnies. Yeah. When you want your Get privacy. In there. Look at your privacy. You can section this off. Look at the bathroom in there. <laughs> yeah, let it, let it. We're going to take a quick peek at the bathroom here, Chris. Don't shut the door. Oh, no. I'm going to crash out on the bed in here. You guys talk amongst <laughs> yourselves. I mean, you can see just how clean it is, folks. This is the bathroom, and it is spotless. All right, buddy, come on out. Come on out from hiding. Some of the best pre-owned <laughs> inventory that you're going to find, not only today, but just in general. I mean, if you don't text SAVE to 32094 and get a chance to jump on one of these, it, I already bought, by the way, all of those fifth wheels you went through today, I already bought four of them. <laughs> now, granted, it was with your social and your credit cards, but perfect, I'm perfect. excited about using those things. Man. <laughs> I'm excited about it. If I would have seen this beforehand, I could have used your credit card on this. Oh, you, you know, but I mean, seriously, this is this is such a, a clean and beautiful unit, and I love that everything that we have on our list mm -hmm. in that inventory list is. And folks, as I said, there's currently, currently, I say that with emphasis because we had again had 150,000 people watch just today. There's currently 5,000 units. All those 150,000. I bet a lot of them are looking for a good deal. Yeah. And they're going to find them on that list. Yeah. On that pre owned and overstock list. So, folks, just text SAVE to 32094. That way we can send that list to you so you get a first crack at them before they're gone. And absolutely, be sure to click on the link to verify that it's there. Yeah. Be the first one to say, hey, I want to reserve this one so I can come in and take a look at it. I want to test drive a Class C. I've never driven it before. Trust me, they are easier than you think. Yeah. And when you're talking about getting out about seeing the country in the safest way possible, Class C's are great because you're taking it with you on the road. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The, you don't have to worry about reserving something, getting out, oh, honey, we want to go on a trip. You know, in a couple of weeks, all right, we need yep. to plan it out. If you got an RV, especially a Class C, self contained. What you doing at four o'clock? What do you say we hit the beach? Let's go fishing. There you go. Get up and go. I you like got that. self contained unit in here. I yes, mean, it's sir. get your unit reserved right now because that pre-owned inventory is not going to last. And, and you know, I'm actually glad you brought that up, Chris, because he brings up a great point that when you do get that list, like Chris said, there'll be a little green button on there and it will say confirm availability. And I highly, highly recommend you click on that because as I said, these are going to go quick. So you're going to want to click that button. And from there, folks, it's just like the rest of the process. It's extremely easy. We'll walk you through the process. And best of all, Chris, where are we going to deliver the RV to? We're going to bring it to either their home or their campsite. And you know, the best Boom. part about it too, there, there's no skin in the game, if you think about it. Yeah, With the absolutely. Good Sam Assurance Program, yes, sir. you get the best offer mm -hmm. for a thousand bucks in cash. That's right. You get three days to shop it. Yep. You get 24 hours cash in hand. Yep. So if you're thinking, I don't know if I want to jump yet today, mm -hmm. put your toe in the water. Yes, sir. What is, what's the hurt? If you say, oh, well, you know what? No, I'm not. I, you know what? I'm, I'm backing out. I don't really feel like I want to trade in. There's no skin off your back whatsoever. No, I, I, I agree. And, and here's the thing, right? Both of these can go together because if you're looking at the list, maybe you're upgrading, right? Yeah. If you're looking to upgrade. You're not quite ready to jump into something new. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's fine. As we said, there are some overstock that are still brand new. You brand can get on this new. list. Yeah. And with the good Sam Assurance, you can trade your in, yeah, trade your unit in. Like you say, worst case scenario, you walk out a thousand bucks richer. Yeah. If, if somebody beats it, Thousand bucks can, I mean, cash in hand. Boom. We could do a lot with a thousand bucks. Here's the other trip. thing, Chris. Here's the other thing. Right here. Yeah. Why don't you tell the people what we're standing in, what we got going on? So, look, you saw so many beautiful RVs today. You're going to get a chance to see a lot during the Ultimate RV Show, but we thought one of the things that we want to make sure that camping experience is the best that it can be is to make sure you're outfitted as best as it can be. So, we have right here retail items, everything that we have is up to 75% off during the Ultimate RV Show. No better time. If you've been thinking about, hey, I need to get a water filter, how important Holy is cow. this? It's extremely important because you don't know what the water's doing when you get to the campsite. Yes, sir. You don't know. you got to get the bio packs. These are essentials. Chris, Absolutely essential. you used those things before? Those yeah. are awesome. They those are awesome. Are if, if you guys haven't used these before, I'm telling you, 
With the, with the, uh, the deals we have going on, the bio packs, all you have to do is drop one of those in your toilet, boom, done. You don't have to try to measure it out. You yep. don't have to pour anything in. The you just throw those suckers down there. So simple and preset. easy to use. Yeah, they do such a good job with the bio packs because yes, they're easy to use. And you see them whenever you go to the campsites. People have them stuck under the sink. You know, they have them yeah. stuck oh, in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those must haves. If you got the hose, Got to have the hose caddy, or as I call it, the hose daddy. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, too, because a lot of the RVs, you know, they might not have those step over steps. They might not have solid steps. Yeah. Or right. you might need some help getting up, washing your RV, getting yep. up to the ladder, or just getting in. Absolutely. Get you the folding go steps. Trust yeah. me, these come in so handy. And it's really helpful for the kids, too. But with all these items being up to 75% off, all you got to do is text CW Deals to 32094. Mm -hmm. Once again, you're going to get a link with the retail items. Get your chair, get your cooler, get your fireplace, get your table, get your camp on, and get have your some rugs. fun. Get your rugs. Get, you got to get the rugs. You got to. You have to. You're not tracking that crap in my winning bunny <laughs> that I just spit your credit card on. That's what's happening <laughs> because it's not. <laughs> well, and, and folks, here's, here's my favorite part about this. And again, this is what I love about Power Hour because we're just saving people money. When you text CW Deals to 32094 and you get that list, you will find so many camp essentials. And for anyone that's brand new, just getting into RVing, mm -hmm. th this is like one of the best things. This is like winning the lottery. You're getting up to 75% yeah. off on stuff you were going to buy anyway. Yeah, stuff you need. Yeah. And here's the other thing, because we've been doing a lot of online shopping. Yeah. We talked about the wives having all the packages come. Oh, every, every day. It's Christmas every, at my every front freaking door. Day. Every I day. I love it, though. Yep. I love it. Bank account, don't love it. But it's 75% <laughs> off, up to 75% off. CW Deals, 32094 right now. Just go through the list. Go through the list. Pick out the stuff. Do I need it? You might not. Will it help things out? If it's going to make the camping experience that much better, it's worth that much. Absolutely. Spend the money on it. You're going to save up to 75% off, man. It, like I said, and you know, a, a new a new rug, listen, it, I have a yeah. patio mat. You know where I got it from? Camping World. Camping World. It's, yeah. it's literally on my back deck. I have my Same patio here. furniture on it. Yeah. I would have liked 75% off. On the screened in <laughs> porch in my house, we have one of these with the eating table out there. Yeah. And I got the camp chairs. I got those padded club chairs all the way around my deck because those are the absolute best thing I've ever sat in. Oh, yeah. Dude, they're so soft. Yes. So soft. You get the little bourbon in the glass, put your foot up on the cooler with the padded camp chair, fireplace is going, Chris is out for the night. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> Good it's night. Good night. Good night, sweet prince. But it's also essentials when you're talking about setting up the proper campsite. Too. Yes. You don't want to be that one that doesn't have... You know, you got the ugly grass in front of it. Get you a get you a camp mat to you cover that. You don't up. want to be the ugly campsite. You don't want to be the ugly campsite. Oh, no, no that's, <laughs> can't, can't be those guys. I've been there. People don't want to come over and hang out when you're grilling. You even offer them, hey, I'm cooking hot dogs. No, it's okay. We don't. We don't. It's, it's all right. We're, we're gonna pass yeah. today. I, I yeah. don't. I, you don't have a nice patio mat. Your area looks like grapes of wrath. We're passing. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Well, Chris, one of the things we were talking about earlier, my friend, was the overstocked inventory. Yes. I happen to have one right over here. You want to go take a look? I was, you know, I saw these guys pulling this one up, and I was like, wait a minute, isn't this going into the Ultimate RV Show new lineup? Yes, sir. We have a Bullet Crossfire. I believe this one is a 2020, good sir. Now, with 2020 Bullet, yes. Bullet was actually ahead of the game. One of the things they, they, one of the things they did when we go inside, you'll see, is very light interior. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're someone that loves the lighter interior, you want something that's new, you want a deal. Folks, you're going to want to text SAVE to 32094, and you're going to want to find this one on the list. Push confirm availability to make yes. sure it's gone, because right now, someone could be doing it. Yep. It's not going to last long. You're talking about 150,000 plus people joining us right now, which, by the way, thank you guys so much yes, for joining us. This has been one of the historic days, not only in our lives, in, in the industry. in the industry. This and has never happened. No, and you've been a part of it. So thank you so much for doing that. We are so excited to have you join us for the Ultimate RV Show. And I'm looking at a brand new 2020 Bullet Crossfire 2200. Dude, beautiful. This is brand new. It's gorgeous. So with the overstock. Yes, sir. I see that on there. Yep. I see a, a brand new one. I see the overstock one. Yes, sir. I see that price difference and I think, what happened? Why? Why, why is there a price difference? Because it's overstocked. It's been here for a hot minute and it's got to go. It's got to go. It's got to go. Yep. It's like, you know, when that in-law comes <laughs> and stays, you know what's what I'm talking about. They come and they stay, they crash on your couch. He's, hey man, I'm only gonna be here for a couple of days, you know, just passing through and then a month later, he still hadn't done laundry. <laughs> gotta go. Chris, I gotta tell you, I am probably one of the luckiest guys in the world mm -hmm. because my in-laws are actually awesome. Right. I, 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 <laughs> I, like, right. I lucked out, I hit the lotto, 
Uh, they have a, they actually have a seasonal. They have a, a Montana at a seasonal oh. lot. And we go up there and we get to hang out and the girls love it. And they have a pool and there's a river oh. and... Uh, that's absolutely yeah. beautiful. I, you know, everyone says tells in law stories, and I'm like, I actually like mine. Oh, I, I, I love mine too, but it's oh, always I know, that one I know. weird uncle oh, slash yeah. brother in law story. I mean, I've yes. never seen you yes. before. <laughs> Who don't, are you? Don't again? you live in Topeka and all of a sudden you're here in my camper, man? Get out of here. <laughs> this is a brand new bullet, man. The crossfires. I love Chris? the updated. Yeah. Chris? Yeah. Did you see? Did you watch my session earlier? I don't know what you're talking about. Did, did, did you put this here? Has it been you all day? I don't see anything over there. I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, this thing has been following me all day. I hit it. I hit it in one of my sessions, and it's here. What are you talking about? There's nothing there. Uh, the, There's nothing there. I don't know I'm what you're talking going crazy, about. I'm not going crazy, Chris. I'm not going crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. This beauty right here? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's a beautiful thing. I, I'm, losing, I'm, I'm losing it, Chris. We've been here too long. No, it's no, too no, late. No, I'm you know losing my mind. You know what it is? What's it that? is the ultimate RV show, and when somebody picks up their either pre, their overstock or their pre-owned inventory, they're going to be twirling in their dress inside their new camper and dancing because Ian Baker got it for them. I'll, I'll tell you what's going to happen, Chris. Is I am going to take this thing, Yes. and the next person yeah. that text save to 32094, yeah. I'm going to sign this, uh -huh. and I'm going to send it to him. Hang on, where's my phone? That's what's going to happen. I'm going to put a marker on it. Wait a minute. She's gone. She's not where's coming back. Someone's going to get this, and where's they're going to love can it. Can somebody bring my phone? Or better yet, Gracie, just go ahead and text it for me. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to put that on eBay with the Ian Baker <laughs> signature. That's three grand right out the gate. There's my down payment. When you're looking at camping experiences, once again, this is a slideless travel trailer. We got bunks in the back. Great yes. for kids, great for dogs. And just take a look at the space that we have here. Ian and I are hanging out, and we've been hanging out inside this camper, just having fun. You got the booth dinette right in front of the big panoramic window right here. Oh, man, play your cards. And here's, oh, let's turn the light on. Yeah. Turn the light in here. Yeah. So, so here's one of the things I like about this, too, and I kind of said this in some of my earlier sessions, with the booth dinette, mm -hmm. a lot of people you know, want a U dinette, and they're great. They make yeah. a big bed, they're awesome, but I personally like a booth. Just because you still have a lot of room, easily sit for people here in a yeah. bunkhouse when you got the kids, you want everyone wants to sit together as a family. Yeah, you know what absolutely. I mean? Yeah, it's it's a great space because you got the kitchen over there. You're gonna get get a great camp cooked meal, and if you're doing the hunting, the fishing, the hiking, yes, sir. Or or you know what, the ladies weekend getaway. They say, you know, we're going to set something up at the beach, and here's the deal. When I when I just want to get out of town, me and the girls, we want to reconnect. We want to go and have some fun. Yep. This is a great option for that. Yes. You can sleep adults there. They got cubby holes. They got power options. They got the outside kitchen. Hang out out there. Listen, Chris, I'm from northern Michigan, and a little yeah. ways up further is a, a town called Traverse City, and they yes. have beautiful wine tours. Oh. Take this little guy, you set know. It up. Got a little spot to sleep. What great winery doesn't have some land? You could probably just say, hey, we're going to come up there and, you know, <sighs> sit for a couple of days, drink your wine. It. They would exactly. love it. Absolutely Certainly. love it. Talk about a great, oh my gosh, dude, even for a couple. Oh, yeah. This travel trailer is great for a couple. Mm -hmm. You got dogs, boom. But same thing. It, this year has been one of those years that has just made me say, can I, can I just quit it? Can I just stop? And everybody's gone through the stress. Everybody's been working like crazy, going through the stress. Yep. And we have not had a chance to disconnect from that and reconnect with the loved ones and get out. That is a very true statement, my friend. It, it has been an absolute crazy year. And, you know, we we travel a lot. We work mm -hmm. a lot. And, you know, I value my vacation time because it's time I get to spend with my family for exactly that reason. And right. when I say, you know, I go up to my in-laws, I mean, that's not a, that's not a made-up story. That is 100% yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. If you're ever at River Ridge Resort, in uh, Stanwood, Michigan, <laughs> there's a good chance I'm there. And uh, shameless plug for them, you're welcome. And, uh, <laughs> and, it's a good uh, spot. Yeah, Everybody yeah, loves yeah. it. And, uh, but no, but you know, I, I'm there and it's just, it's so great. The kids are just always so happy. You know, we, yeah. we do, we get away from electronics. We get to reconnect. I get to teach my, you know, that daughter how to swim. We get to mm -hmm. ride bikes. There's so many friends in the campground in the neighborhood. Right. You know, someone across the way, they have uh, three girls, and they just take my daughter under their wing, my little five-year-old, and she gets to play with them. It's it's honestly, you know, when I talk about the camping lifestyle, mm -hmm. I have so many friends that are now getting into it, yeah. and they are so happy. See, and that's what's been so refreshing, I think, about the Ultimate RV Show for people, that, you know, a lot of people are just now discovering how great it is, how easy it is. But if you think about it, if you just take a breath, take mm -hmm. a moment, and when are we going to plan it? When are we going to have time? How can we get it done? What yep. can we do? Yep. If you have an RV, you just get up and go. 
Exactly. You just get up and go. Because they have large fresh tanks. They have yes, large gray and black tanks. Yes, sir. They have LP. They have batteries. You could just go park it in the woods for a day, reconnect, have fun, and come back. And you know what the best part is, Chris? You Tell can text me. save right now. It's right now. To 32094, and you're getting one heck of a deal. Especially friend. on this brand new 2200. <laughs> you're going to get one heck of a deal because this is overstocked inventory. <laughs> so if you're looking for pre-owned, you're looking for overstocked, you're going to get such an awesome opportunity to find one that's unique to you. And But you got to verify that it's there. you got to make sure that it's, it's going to be there when you want to go see it and want to have it picked up. So what you're telling me, Chris, is that right now I can text SAVE to 32094. Three, yes. And then I can text CW Deals. Yes. And then I can get a new to, new me, to me, whether new it's pre-owned yeah. or overstock unit. Yep. And then I can get everything I need for it. You can not only do that, but you can, once you verify that it's there, yes, sir. one of those specialists are then going to walk you through it. They're going to take you around that unit. They're going to show you the left. They're going to show you the right. They're yes. going to show you the up. They're going to show you the down. Oh. And then they're going to say, Ian, we have the thing that you want. You say you like it. You need to get it now because this is one of a kind. When do you want to take delivery of it? Do you have a trade-in? I do. Because we have the Good Sam Assurance Program going on right now. We're going to give you $1,000 thousand. if we can't beat your trade. You got three days to shop it, and you got a 24-hour guarantee, 24, cash, 24 hours cash in hand guarantee. How can you say no? <laughs> that is truly amazing, Chris. I do have to admit, uh, Ultimate RV Show definitely has a lot going on, and... I, I honestly don't, I, I don't think I can say there's ever been a better time to buy an RV. I know it sounds it's so cliche. Yeah, it's really not. It sounds cliche, but it is yeah. so absolutely true. It is. And if it's, if, if you've been thinking about taking the jump, you have that trepidation. You think, yeah. well, you know, yeah, guys, this is great. We're, uh, we're, we're looking, we might look next week. Mm -hmm. That is the wrong mindset. Yes. Because we didn't do this just because we felt, you know, hey, let's just throw a show together. This is five days packed with all things RV and camping so that you can take advantage at the best time humanly possible. We're doing this because we know how much people love RVs. We know how much people love that RV lifestyle. And now is a great time. So if you've been on the fence, it's time to get off the fence. Well, and, and here's the thing, Chris, you know, I always say, I feel like there's two big reasons people go to shows. I mean, there's lots of reasons, but mm -hmm. I feel like the two big ones are either to see what's new, see mm -hmm. what's out there, the latest and greatest, yeah, or get a good deal, or possibly both. Right. And I don't know that anywhere in the country right now, there's better deals than you are going to find right here there's not. on the Power Hour. If you, yeah. Like you said, if you have that trepidation, you're looking to get in the lifestyle, you want to kind of dip your toes in. This is truly the best way to do it. Right now is the time. Mm -hmm. There's 5,000 pieces currently today. Maybe not now. I'm sure there's not now. Right, right. We, there we've might been, not we've be been, now. We've been on for, what, 15 minutes? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. It's probably some of them are gone. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure might be they gone. are. But uh, as, of, as of right now, there's 5,000 pieces, and I'm very curious to see where that's going to be. But, folks, this truly is, like I say, the, the best mm -hmm. deal you're going to find around. And, you know, the other sign of that, because they, they might be gone. Yeah. If you have an RV and you say... I'll trade it in. Yep. I'll let you have it. Yep. We'll take it. We will absolutely take it. 100%. You don't even have to trade it in. We'll just take it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sure. I mean, you we'll come we'll, get with it. With the assurance program. Yeah. We will absolutely come get it. No one's going to beat our offer. If they do, you get a thousand bucks. Hey, Chris, did I mention I can do a lot with a thousand bucks? I can do a heck of a lot with that. <laughs> well, you just had a baby. I did. Yeah, well, I you, you did. didn't physically do it because then that was going to be a completely different show. But your wife and you had a beautiful new hey, baby. Congratulations. I, I played a part in it. You did play a part. You played a, you played a big part. <laughs> but congratulations on that. Thank and you, sir, very much. Yeah, that thousand bucks would come in handy. Yes, it would. Maybe you want to talk speaking to the Speaking of money, speaking of money. We got money? Chris. Yeah. We have money to give away. We do? I do. I have a $100 merch cert winner. Oh, right on. That's what's great about the Power Hour. I'm loving power it. Power Hour. Somebody's going to get 100 bucks. Listen, we're, we're not only having deals, <clears throat> up to 75% off on the uh, inventory there yeah. when we're taking a look at some of the accessories. Right. We have crazy deals on pre-owned. We have crazy deals on overstock. And we're giving away money. My man. I, why are we on this side of the fence? <laughs> why can't we, like be, we on be on that side there. of the That's fence? That's a better deal, right? It's the time, man. I'm losing money. All right, here we go. All are right. you ready? Who's our winner? $100 merch cert winner. 
your favorite and mine, my girl, Nancy Hyde. Hey! Congratulations, Nancy. Hope you're watching. Good job. You just won a $100 merch cert. Thanks for watching. Appreciated so very much. Yeah, dude, that's and awesome. I think that pretty much wraps it up, Chris. Well, you know, and don't forget, with the $100 merch cert, you get a chance to take that will work online with the up to 75% off of some of those retail items. So you actually just won a whole lot more you got than 100 it. bucks. So congratulations, Nancy. Yeah, and the Power Hour has been absolutely fantastic. Yes, sir. We got overstocked. We got, we got, uh, we got, uh, what? Hang on, Ian. You, you good? Hang on. Uh, wait a minute. He's doing what? He's doing what? We're giving away what? We're giving away a camper? He's right. Look at the delivery service that Whoa, we have here. What, here. what uh, literally I, I just I happened? I was about to get a pizza with some anchovies. What so, literally just happened? Well, the, the boss man radioed in. He says, you know what? We're not done. A hundred bucks merch certificate is not good enough. We are giving away another all spanking brand new Coleman Lantern 17B. Get out. We're giving away another camper. Chris, we already gave one away today. We did. That, look, uh, the boss signs the checks. Hey. The boss said, right. look, guess what? You got to do right. another one. I'm going to put you boys on camera for another oh, minute. So man. here we go. All right. Got goosebumps. Look at that. Yeah, I got love goosebumps. That. Yeah, you see it like hand delivered, Dude. too. Woo. That service with a smile. That's awesome. I love it. All right, here we go. I'm excited for you guys. Whoever this is, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for, wait a minute, can we, can we change the name? Can we just put like me and you on there? We Should we? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. congratulations. Ian, Ian Baker! Chris! Oh! <laughs> All right, congratulations on a brand new Coleman 17B, Melody Vaughn. Woo! You just won yourself a new camper. Congratulations. congratulations. Wow. Now, Chris, that's what the Ultimate RV Show is all about, man. You want to say ultimate. Listen, this is ultimate. you watched, you just got a free RV. Yeah. Congratulations, How just like that. How easy is that? Yeah, all you gotta do to get in on these deals, text SAVE 32094. You want some of the retail items, text CW Deals to 32094. You wanna get in on some of the great things that have been happening here at the Ultimate RV Show. We have five days packed with all things RV and camping, and this is just day one. So to the 150,000 plus people that have joined us today, from all of us here at Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors, and Good Sam, we are honored that you took the time to join yes. us for a historic moment, not only for us, but for the industry as well. We hope you enjoyed the first day of the ultimate RV show. Boom. Because we got four more days and we got stuff coming that's gonna blow you away. Just wait till you see days two through five. You need to get on those units so if you wanna do it. So, from all of us here, Ian Baker, I'm Chris Young. Thank you so much for joining us for Thanks, the first everyone. day at the Ultimate RV Show. We'll see you tomorrow.